Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chapman here, and in this video, we recap another 1,000 days in my hardcore Minecraft world, bringing us to 2,000 days in total. And in this 1,000 days, we were straight up busy. What is that? And since you guys liked the last one so much, here it is. The 2,000 day recap of the hardcore Minecraft world. Be sure to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe. And before we get into it, here's a little teaser. Huh? We're out of totems. Ha! Ha ha! What have I done? Ha! Ah! Look at this, it's laggy, but I don't care because it is glorious. Are you ready? Are you ready? Look it. One, two. But the only real way to find out if it's working is if we do this. Oh, this is the longest five minutes of my life. Oh, oh, oh. Does it look like that input matches that output? <laughs> Enjoy. I just spent two and a half days organizing all of my shulker boxes after a big build like this. Okay, and now it's time for us oh, to start thinking about how we're going to decorate this thing. I have the bone meal farm or the bone meal generator down there generating more in order for us to, yeah, finish the jaw and as what well. Yeah, you can see I started to try and build a wing. Doesn't work. Finish the back. Look at how much more bone meal I need for back here. So we have the bone meal generator going and for the carpet, what I'm thinking is we use, well, not for the carpet, for the floor, I'm probably gonna use these right here. So these are the coal blocks that I got from the wither skeleton farm. We're gonna have enough to put in a couple of floors. And to be honest with you, I kind of like the contrast, but we need some more colors in here. So I'm thinking gold, white, black, a little bit of black to match the carpet. So I need to set up a sheep farm, a wool farm. And I need to go to bed. And I'm thinking we do it right here underneath this thing, right in the animal pen. So the main thing that we're gonna need to build this is we are going to need our redstone boxes because we need a lot of dispensers. And I might need more than 12, but this should get us started. Excuse me, bunny rabbit, and excuse me, horsey. And now we just need to do the whole redstone part. So observers and yeah, all the fun stuff. Okay, all of our observers are in place. Now I need to just run one block. And that right there should do. Now we'll put a couple of sides on this thing and then we'll have to go grab some grass. And then all I gotta do is run a mine carter. Run some powered rails underneath. We don't have very many, so... Oh my goodness, I am out of hoppers. I have the most insane iron farm and I am out of hoppers. Okay, we'll run a double chest here. We're gonna hide this so it doesn't really matter how ugly it is. Two hoppers going into it. Redstone block to power this side. Minecart plus a hopper. Minecart with hopper. I can do that type of math. And there we go. And other than regretting my decision to put this that way, um, you suck. Yeah, I think we'll turn it around. Okay, we turn this one around so that way you can see it from the outside. And then this one will keep the same. A little bit of redstone on top, glass on this side. And now we just need to start shuffling some sheep. Oh, yeah. come on, you two. Yep, we are so close. Yep, pushy. Yep, one. Come on, white one, you can do it. Two. Okay. Start making babies. And now we just need to repeat that on the other one. We need to get the other guys in place. So here, we don't need the cows. Cows go. Get me cow. Here, sheepy. Here, sheepy. Okay. Uh, one. Here, sheepy. Okay. Uh, two. Get. Bruh. Do your thing. And now we just need to get some die. Not only die, we need shears. And we're already collecting wool. Okay, this is perfect. More shears, please. Okay, and with this all done and already collecting, now we just need to dye these guys and continue to breed them too. 
You guys not going to? Okay, we'll do the other guys. Let's grab a couple of these. Oh boy, get off of there. Black ink. Two little black sheep and we are good. Now, what color are those other two? That done, now we just, we can extend on it, but let's go check the bone meal. The permaloader is set for this, so now that way, no matter where we are, we're always gonna be collecting our bone meal. Sheep farm is done. I am just going to put a little bit of this floor in now and see if I am within range. Now it's right there. I mean, I should be within range. Now the only thing we need to do is we need to just continually breed these guys, yep, and start to focus whatever color we actually want for the wool. So this should be perfect. Now we need one more thing before we start to actually really decorate this thing. We need to head back. That portal's broken. We gotta head over here to the gold farm and we need to adjust this so that way I can get more gold a lot faster. So you can see there's still piggies stuck in here from the last time. And I need to just get all of these minecarts out. Oh. Okay, we've got all the minecart. Oh. Everything is out of the system, but I need to be able to convert this to a sweeping system. And it shouldn't be too hard because as you can see, I've already got this one extended. So we just need two more dispensers to shoot down this way. And with two more hoppers in here, we're going to have to see if this is going to be able to keep up with the system. Okay, it's been a few Minecraft days. Let's go back and see just how much we've got. Because, oh my god, that thing was like overloaded. Okay, and a few days later, we have a decent amount of gold. One, two, three, and a little bit of overflow right here. The only problem is, is the little piggies. They like to stand up there and steal my swords and make an absolute mess around here. I uh, so we only have one thing to do. I am gonna take all of this blackstone. And we're gonna take a minute to do this. So that should keep everybody contained and inside and them not dropping down there and stealing all the swords and making an absolute mess everywhere. Now I just wanna make sure that these, we don't want them dropping down on top of the wall because that's just gonna make it yeah and this farm this farm is extremely fast so fast that i'm actually going to need a proper second dispenser system set up here so right now we only have the one that is going down and in and what we're gonna need is we're actually going to need and as long as i've got my redstone on point today that should be enough in order to get it there i mean i even drew like a little picture on a piece of paper just to make sure now what we're gonna do is let's take all of this gold we need to turn it into gold blocks so not bad but we could do better okay not too bad for yeah everything is working as intended we have one last final thing to put in lava but with all of our upgrades we are 100 safe we're getting twice the amount of gold ingots from this system, which means twice the amount of items from the bartering farm. I, I am impressed. Okay, let's get our XP up to a valid number, and then let's head on out of here. And hopefully by then we've got enough crying obsidian that we can finish almost all of the horns. Okay, and after a few days here, not bad. The upgrades are actually excellent. The bartering farm, on the other hand, though, I think we need to add in a few more piglins. But we'll do that in another time. Because for now, oh yeah. We have enough grinding obsidian to get us going. And we've got enough gold to definitely keep us going for a little while, too. Okay, we're almost at six stacks. Huh? Five stacks. Shut your... Just... Uh, I don't think this amount of crying obsidian is going to do all the horns, but this is going to be enough to at least finish it. I mean, look at what day we're on. This is how long it takes to just gather some materials. But with this, we have enough now to finish the horn. Horn be uh, We gotta be careful with where we're putting it. And bingo. Crying obsidian horn. We definitely don't have enough. But that is probably gonna look really good. Look at that. Okay, now that we've got all the gold that we need in order to finish the jaw here, or the teeth, let's just see. Okay, yes. We have plenty of bone meal. Okay, plenty bone meal left with plenty more coming in. 
Let's just work on the bottom jaw and get this done because you can see it looks like I've uh, developed a bit of an underbite here for which we don't want. So now that there, that looks a little bit better. We're also missing two teeth. I'm supposed to have two teeth right here. Now I just got to mirror this on the opposite side. So that way it kind of looks like it's actually natural and normal. Hopefully I can do this. And so far it looks pretty, uh, pretty symmetrical. I'm actually surprised it was able to do that. Okay. The jaw is done. It's looking good. Uh, you could just ignore all that up there. I totally did not forget to hit record and totally did not forget to completely record a clip either. Jaw's done though. I'm no builder, but we are definitely making this right here. This we're dedicating this where this is the fairy fart corner. Okay. Yeah. You heard that correctly. Look at how small. I was expecting the sword to be about twice the size of that when it came through. Um, probably gonna have to do an upgrade to it. But before we do that, I've got a couple of things I need. Like, oh my god, you can see. I 100% need to put some more lights in here. And probably some down there, and I'm pretty sure I just looked at that Enderman. Please. But we need to add some lights in here and some other decorative stuff too as well. So I've already started to take this apart down here because what I need is I need a little bit of a proper smelter, small smelter anyways, and a proper storage area. So let's grab some furnaces and let's lay out a little bit of a... So what do we need? We need... I don't know. So that's a six furnace array setup. Kind of efficient too. Now we just need to decorate that because that looks like total trash. Wall is looking pretty good so far. We just need to add in a few more. Yeah, we need a little bit more aesthetics around here. Now to fill in that back corner, because that looks kind of ugly and I just, oh my gosh, I'm going to murder myself. Let's just make it look like there's a little bit less bone decay maybe happening around here. And that right there, that is coming along and starting to look nice. Now, if we take some wool, yeah, okay, we can make paintings. Let's see what this looks like. Ready? One, two, three. That looks so lovely up there, but that does not. Much better. And this is now starting to look a little cozy in here. What is going on with the glowstone? And not bad. Me likey. I need a little bit more decoration stuff, but yeah, it'll come. And now we just need the same thing there. But on this side, smokers and blast furnaces. Look at it. Okay, it looks nice down here. I mean, I didn't do it as efficient as the other one because I don't really smoke. <coughs> and there's a mega super smelter coming. But look at, I am, I am almost a builder, everybody. I am almost a builder. Okay, but it is so dark in here. I mean, just look it. It is so dark in here. 
So I am going to do something to brighten this place up a little bit and hopefully, hopefully, um, there are no misclicks along the way. <laughs> this is what I needed all the end rods for. Uh, wish me luck. Everything is in place. I just need to put the end crystal in and hopefully we don't get any misclicks whatsoever. I need to just leave. I have left. The end crystal is in place. Look at how bright it is down here already too. Okay, build up one, two. It's in. It's in. It's in. I didn't blow the heck out of everything. Daytime. We're on day 1049. This is insane. Look at it. It's now super bright and looks pretty fancy in here. These vines though, these vines were not a good idea. How long do vines grow? And now believe it or not, I want another set of these. One right here. Perfect. With another one on the other side. So we just got to try and get that in the exact same spot. No, I got that too low. Uh-oh. Um... Okay, that's okay. We can work with this. We can work with this. I believe all we need is a piston. And honestly, I hope I'm right about this. Otherwise, stuff is going boom, boom. Oh, <gasps> that might have been it. Okay, we did it. They're on the same plane. Did I get them side by side? It doesn't look like they're in the same. That looks wonderful looks even better from this side okay shulker box has got to go though because we're putting two giant maps right here and the other thing we need is we need some item frames because we're going to put all of our first items on this wall here if we can and i need shears as well so let's um pack out two we need some whoop, honeycomb okay we made some purple dye and now let's see Purple candles. Ooh, I like white. Ooh, I like gray. And this is what we're rolling with. So maybe we'll put like one right about there. And the rest, I just kind of want to litter right around on these tables. Much brighter and much better already. And I only got 20, so we're going to have to put 10 on each side. So a little something like that, which actually I love. And then we're going to put an armor stand right there. And now I'm going to take a bee's nest. And where should I put this? Let's put it right here by the fairy fart forest. Idiot. Oh, that hurt my brain. And oh boy, it is bright in here and it is starting to lag, which means that the, okay. And I have multiple double chests full of moss blocks and I think maybe I can put the composter back on here. These right here are already full. Oh, now we take this, go like, oh, that is near criminal. Why can you not put drip leaf inside a flower pot? That's okay, because you know what you can put inside a flower pot? Beautiful azalea bushes. It is going to look so homey and so comfy around here. Oh, that looks so good. I am in love with this mega base so far. Oh, there's some item frames there. See, this is why I got to get this storage done. I have items everywhere. Okay, Woodland Explorer map. And that right there is where the two maps are going to go. So we're going to have to duplicate the maps that we've got down over at this storage area. But so far, oh my god, I am in love with this place. And now other than getting the skeleton horse up in place and the axolotl up in place, we are pretty much good to go. But I need an insane amount of resources in order to finish this site over here. I mean, look at this. This is insane. What have I gotten myself into? Okay, I just spent literally like a whole day dilly dally and decided on what I was going to do next. I was literally going to go for a 10 hour mining spree, but I put a big hole to that. But I just realized that I need to get some villagers in here because I need a constant source of food 
And I also need to set up myself a little paper farm in here. And I have literally no plan whatsoever for this, but what we are going to do is we are going to start with just a two block gap. I'm going to step it up one like this. I'm also going to go see what that wandering trader has because I need some of those thingies, you know, the flowers that make all the nice pollen everywhere. Well, that's depressing. That's that's an expensive bow. That's an expensive bow that just went bye-bye. But I need one of those hanging azalea bushes in here so I can have all those nice little particles flying around. Okay, so let's just set this little area up here. And But I'm thinking the villagers are going to go right about here. And we're going to build them a little house. And uh, yeah, remember, I'm no builder. I'm, I'm no builder, okay? So... Okay, my little villager corner is now set up and done. We need to just add in some wood stuff, like some benches and stuff around here. But so far, so good. Now, the only thing left to do is to move the villagers. Now, I'm not going to need too many because this is just going to be for the guys with the golden carrots. But from there all the way up to there. And the fastest way to probably do this is just to rail them out right from there, I'm going to say. Look at this. We don't even have to cross any water whatsoever. I didn't even realize that this was such a straight path. Okay, I just need my rail box and 7,000 more rails. Okay, and five minutes later and like nine stacks. We're so close. Okay, we just need some powered rails and we are good to go. All my rails have power. We can run a couple along the way here just to give them a little push. Um, excuse me, you guys. Why do you have to be so annoying? They literally don't want this guy to go. They're like blocking the way, pushing him. No! We're going the other way. Why? Why? Now we just need to get him to the first powered rail, and we should have enough push to get him up all of these hills. And he's here. Let's just break. Oh, now we just need to get him over into here and get a composter for him. Don't anybody get smacked. Okay, next up is carrot man number two. We want the one that sells both pumpkins and and villager two is now in place here, buddy. I've got all the composters right here. That's what I thought. Come up here. Yes. Yes. Is this going to work first try? Please. Please just get in place without moving too much. Okay, you're in. You're linked. And you're in. Ha! Now it's just time to get this guy in place and we should be good for a little while. Okay, I'm not sure what this guy is doing. Uh, it's kind of frustrating. But with those two up there, at least we have our food set. Now all we need is just a small melon farm, some more villagers to buy some random and sell some random stuff too, and we are basically set. So let's just grab some pistons. Grass. All we need is a hoe now. And with that complete, we should see a melon shortly, and hopefully it lands right in this hopper. It took two days to get two of you guys in there. I'm not doing anybody else right now. Let me go to bed. What do you mean? And with those guys done and our little melon farm done, what we can do now is we can add, ooh, we can grab some melons. We can also grab blue here and let's just see. I don't know, we might have to put in some sort of barrier for him to keep him kind of safe because I, I don't know. I don't really know if he's to be trusted. All right. That's your home, Blue. But I think that I have a feeling that's what you're going to do is end up crawling up on top of these walls. And that's what we don't want. So we're going to avoid that by putting in some walls. What are you up to? 
Is this a good thing? Should we allow this? I think what I'll do is just maybe remove the lily pad so that way he doesn't fall down on top of them and get injured that way. Maybe we'll do it like that. Purple on top of the white. That looks kind of good. I'm just so scared that he can somehow kill himself from the one. Ugh. See, it looks like he could lay in there. There, I put up a barrier just in case. So if he does go too high, he can't escape up onto the rocks, walk out, and then somehow die. Hopefully, he's just going to stay in the water. I mean, please stay in the water. It is so hard and so rare to get you guys know. But oh my goodness, look at it. It's getting dark again. It takes so long just to do a little bit of stuff. And would you look at that? We got some melons in here too, which means the melon farm is already... These came from the other one. They didn't come from the main one. But with the food taken care of for now, we're going to put a halt on getting the rest of the villagers in place at the moment. Because what I need to focus on is a small little section over there that's just as cute as this. That's going to be for some storage to keep all of the rare items and the good items. And a couple of simple sugarcane farms. So that way we got all our paper that we need and quite possibly maybe even turning one of these horns into a custom creeper farm. That washes the creepers down, drops them all in, and then we'll have both gunpowder and paper up here waiting. And then we've also got... Hey, that's not fair. And then we should be good and set for the essentials around here. And so far, it's looking pretty fantastic. From the outside, it looks good. I still need to decorate on the inside there, but I'm, I've got some plans. And when we fly in here, everything is so bright and so... And then the next Wonder Days, what are you guys thinking? Full, full, legit trading hall down here with every single trade on the second floor. That's what I'm thinking. Because I am already out a very expensive bow. I don't want to talk about it. I'm just going to get to building this corner right now so that I can just get my mind off it right now. <laughs> I need to go and raid myself a geode. I need to go and tear a geode apart and bring back every single thing that I can from it. Look at how magical it looks. I mean, it's not that magical. We need a little bit more magical going on in here. Like, for instance, look it. I've got myself some, what are they called? Spore blossoms? I've got some spore blossoms. Look at how magical it is in here. And look what else we got. We got ourselves an amethyst tree. It does it's not finished yet. We need to put the shards on and that stem. That, uh, I mean, this whole thing is just weak. It was a good effort, but it definitely needs some refining. And look at, we also have ourselves a little axolotl friend in here. Hi, bud. All right, but with us all done and everything in place, we've got our villagers, we've got our mini sugarcane farm. Look it, let's go see. It's working, it's working. And, 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 and. But so far, everything's looking very, very nice in here and I love it, I love it. Okay, we need to add in another chandelier though. For now, what I'm gonna do though is I need to kind of extend this down because if you guys remember, I have a plan here to turn this into a farm. Oh, I thought I was going to have enough. I don't even, honestly, I don't even know what day it is. We're going to have to see what day it is here. Now I need to take all of these slabs. I turned all my quartz into slabs. I don't know if it was a good idea. And we need to come down and underneath here. And you can see, I've already started this floor. Now I'm going to finish it. And half the floor is finished. I thought it was a mistake turning all of those into slabs, but apparently. Now what I need to do is I... I don't want to go any further with it because I might actually drop it down one more level with some stairs. But this is it so far. And I, to be honest with you, I kind of want to decorate it with some prismarine too. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No time for that on this episode though. I wonder if this tree, I wonder if all it really needs are some branches. I mean, look at how nice that thing looks now with just adding in a little bit of that. I just need to go get some amethyst shards now. I believe my shard farm is over here. 
That should be good enough for the tree. We've got all different sizes. Okay, I need to remember to go back and set up a permaloader at that thing because it is completely out of shards. Okay, but now, ha! Yahoo! Yeah! Chow, ching, ju. And I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I just hate how dark it is up here. So maybe we should go and oh my goodness. Look at that. That is fantastic. Now what I'm going to do to light that up a little bit before we have to go back and get some more end rods. Oh, 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 oh. And hello, sir. We're back in the mini block game. Flower azalea plus a thing. You. Hey, sir. You, sir. Don't go anywhere, please. And then all we have to do is just hit this. <gasps> wow. Mini blocks. Oh, this is so awesome. Look at they're back, doers. They're back. Mini blocks are back. Mini blocks are back on the crazy Chapman Minecraft series. I mean, look at how lovely those things are. And now what I'm thinking we do for this in order to light it up a little bit, let's just grab some moss. <laughs> and that looks like trash. <laughs> that looks like trash. <laughs> okay, um, looks like we're going back to the end. Okay, to the end. Okay, nearly two stacks should be good. I am out of here. That was just chaos. Emeralds for some glass. And now we should be able to make some boom booms. <laughs> Look it. What is going on here? I need my bow back. Because this bad boy is dead in five shots. For this next chandelier, what we're going to do is we're going to add in some extra colors to it. We're going to try and make it a little bit bigger, but I don't know. Um... I just need some builder blocks in order to get up there and make a platform. Platform is a check. Now we just need to kind of run a whole bunch of these. And now we just need a single piece of obsidian. Oh, that's going to look so good. And hopefully I got this right. One, two, three, four, five, six, eleven. Okay, now let's just not die. Oh. And now to try and remove absolutely everything without blowing myself up because this is this is the scariest part We did it Chandelier number two is in place and thank goodness I got it centered too. look at everything so far is centered All right with that done though now what I got to do is I need to do a big cleanup because all these shulker boxes are just a mess Let's add a shard to the wall just for now Maybe some powder and a crystal. Hey, okay, look at what day it is. <laughs> and look at how many empty shulker boxes that I have. I mean, it's insane. It's, it's literally crazy. But with everything all done and all complete, well, I mean, it's not done, but it's getting there. But with everything all sorted out and looking good, uh, let's just put everything back in order. Let's go to bed. And now let's head over to the wizard skeleton farm because I need so much bone meal. I need so much bone meal. This is, I mean, this is okay, but it's not cut. So I gotta head over this direction. I've got to drop this shulker box in here, activate it. And while that does its thing, I, yeah, we're going farming some bone. Because believe it or not, this was only about, I don't know, maybe 9,000 of the 13,000 bone meal that we needed for this. Okay, we're gonna have to do some magic to try and hide all of this in the backside here. But anyways, we gotta go back to the Willow Skeleton Farm. I need some bones. And who left the gold farm running? Yeah, I... Born in a barn? Oh, oh, oh. Redstone box number one. We need some hoppers. Now we've got even more chests. And we are good to go. Okay, I'm gonna do a few days AFK just sitting here chopping away. And then what we're gonna do, we are gonna think about turning this into an AFK farm. So adding in a dog and then a permaloader in here and doing this so that way I don't ever have to come back here. We could just send all of these bones back to the overworld and then just go collect them somewhere. That would be fantastic. That may not even be possible. I don't know. I'll see you guys in a few days. Okay, and there we go. 1100 days. 
I decided to spend the rest of the time at the Wither Skeleton Farm getting as much bone that I absolutely could from it. And I I, I shot a bunch of fancy clips and um, the only thing left to do is load these all up the shulk box here. I have no idea what happened to the audio, so here I am right now. But we have done it. So we officially should have enough bone now in order to turn into the bone blocks that we need in order to finish the back of the skull. We can also finish the lower jaw of the skull too and this lower section here and start working on the next big project. I think I mentioned something about it in this episode. I'm not sure, but we did it. 1100 days. Yep. Okay, we are... Hey, hi, welcome back. Yeah, hi. Uh, we are starting here. Um, Bruh. Yeah, it's day 105. I just spent two days taking screenshots and then I spent another two days going around and collecting pretty much all the wood that I can and some amethyst too as well because this is the stuff that we are going to use to decorate all down here. But the first thing I need to do here is I need to get finished on this floor. Now right here kind of looks like it's not going to be low enough. So what I'm going to have to do is I don't have very much quartz left so we're just going to have to kind of place... I don't know, we're gonna have to try and be sparing with this. Because that's all I got. Whatever you see there in the thing. Okay, actually, and that's more than I thought because I gotta turn all these to slabs. Okay, I've gotta hit this. I've gotta hit this. I've gotta hit this. I hit it! Okay, now we just need to lower down all of this floor. I'm gonna drop this down one more like so and then this front section, this will be for something and all of this back section back here, this will be all for our villager trading hall. Time for me to just get this floor done though. Okay, we've gotten this far, um, only to realize that I should probably finish the jaw in the outside of the skull because all of this is supposed to connect up together and I kind of don't really want to mess up the placement of anything. I don't think I have a choice at this point. Okay, and just that shulker box turned into that much bone. Oh you mean nothing to me anymore. No. Useless. Okay, uh, <laughs> Took so long to get here. But all of these shulker boxes here full of bone turns into almost three. That's crazy. It's also crazy how long that took. Uh, but time for me to get back into builder mode because I, I have to finish this skull. I hope this is going to be enough. I have, I have literally spent, I don't even know. And now what I need to do is this section right underneath here, this whole backside, this is going to be for all of the villagers. We shall see. I, I'm still deciding. But I do know for sure that this section right here, this is going to be a little museum for some of the rare mobs that we can find. I mean, we've got three of them already over there, but we're going to do some little displays. And they'll go a little something like this. So this is where we are going to drop these mobs in place. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if I should maybe switch the mobs over to this side and put the storage on that side because there's so much more room. Yeah, we'll put the rare mobs on that side and this side will stay. Well, yeah, we'll do storage on this side. Oh, I'm, an in I'm a little bit of an intellectual now. <laughs> All right, but that is sort of the theme and the decor that is going to go on down here. But so far, so good. I just need to set up my little micro storage section now. Nice. But look at all the room we have for activities down here. Okay, but I am burning daylight here. I need to get back to storage section. Storage section. I'm in the middle of building something and look at- I know you wanna kill me. I know you do. Can you just please hold on though, sir? I'm busy. What happened to my glass? Are you having a good time? Please come here. Gotcha. Okay, so that, that's kind of- ah! Well, we got him. That's kind of what I'm going for. So I want to try to find and get 
as many of these like rare mobs that spawn with crazy crazy enchanted things here but this is kind of what we're going for okay i gotta get back to putting the floor in look at i jumped ahead we're just we're getting all a lot of the bulk stuff out of the way so i could have fun for the remaining 50 days probably um yeah i'm gonna go pluck all these arrows out and then get back to the floor see ya hello there i want this cleric i want this cleric Oh, you trapped yourself, bud. There you go. We got a cleric. Okay, but the floor is looking fantastic. But the roof is not. So I'm going to have to go get some more quartz because I am completely out of quartz. There is none left. Look at that guy. Now what I need to do is uh, I screwed all of this up right here. I want this to go down. I want it to go down. And I put it up. But the main thing that I'm going to need for this is quite literally more quartz. I am all out of quartz. And it is dark down here. Oh, but I do got a little bit here at the gold farm. But it only turned into that. And I don't have... Um... I hear villagers. How do I hear villagers in the nether? What? I'm trying to get a hold of you. Well, okay. I forgot I got the perma loader. Home sweet home. Nice and safe too. Now what I'm going to do is I need to remove some of this stuff so that way I can, yeah. Okay, we're going to try and drop this down one more layer. Ooh, ooh. I only got one. Two. There we go. There we go. And wait till you guys see what I got planned here. <laughs> I'm completely winging this. It is dark and gloomy down here. I know it's close to Halloween, but we don't have to... It doesn't have to be this scary down here. Somebody's gonna come along and blow up all my hard work. And I'll be devastated. Not really, but... It will be painful. Enjoy. Imagine that turned into a wither. Imagine that turned into a moss wither. How terrifying would that be? But here's the panda throne. It's not quite done yet. It's almost there. We need to put a small little, uh, what is it called? A river or a pond right here with a small little bridge to go across. And other than it being like nearly pitch black down here, it looks good. It looks good. We just need quartz. We need quartz to brighten everything up. Now we can take the rest of the bone and we can actually wrap it in and just kind of bring it down around the backside. And then we are pretty much done. I mean, we're not almost done, but yeah, we are so close. Look at, we're starting to wrap it around the backside, which means we are so close. And ultimately, I'm probably just going to leave this. Ah! You bastard. Turns out we need more lights in here. Hmm. Okay, so we got the storage done anyways for, yeah, a lot of the bulk stuff that we could actually use. We've already got one guy in the Hall of Fame that we just need to enclose in some glass and get some other guys here. We've got the throne. Now I need to start getting the villagers in place because that was actually the whole plan. So we need our guys in order to sell some stuff to, and then we need our guys in order to buy some stuff from. These are literally the worst trading. These are the worst. These are the worst trading hall designs. These are the worst. These are absolutely 100% the worst trading hall designs in the history of Minecraft. What? We are going to be curing all of the villagers first or bringing over as many from over there that is already cured because. Okay, whatever. I changed up the design a little bit. Okay, I haven't done that side yet, but she's Now all the villagers are going to go on a little cubbies along this wall here. And it's going to be pretty simple in order to just kind of set it up and lay it out. And now, from somewhere around here, I've just basically got around the skull. Over to about there. Yes, sir. A little something like that. We need to now finish the floor and we are good. What just for- I was just going to look for a shulker box that had some calcite in it. I left it somewhere. 
Okay, maybe these aren't a good idea. Maybe they're not a good idea at all. What's the damage? You ruined everything! You know what? I didn't like the look of it anyways. Jerk. I guess I'm just gonna call that box of calcite a write-off. So now this is what we have. We're gonna just work in a bunch of villagers in here. But this side over here, this is the side that I'm more excited about now because I'm gonna make this look like a library. And this is where all the librarians are gonna go where we're gonna buy everything from. So that we can finally, we need to rebuild a bow. My poor expensive bow. Okay, this right here, this is the starting section for the villager trading hall. So we can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll put a couple of pods somewhere around here with a couple more villagers. And then over there, we're going to have even more. Might even build some sort of little like hut or shack to build like, I don't know. But oh boy, it's looking good. We got our throne, which has been blown up. Stupid skellies. Oh, what do you got? Knockback? But right now, right now, all I need to do, put some torches down. Now what we want to do is we want to remove this sign so that way we stop killing any of the villagers that come around here. And then we need to connect it up to that rail right there in order to send the villagers over. So I need rails. And I have two splash potions of weakness so I should be able to get a good number of these guys cured down before I have to actually make some more. So let's just go get some apples. Okay, 29. 29 should do, but I am going to make some more. Oh, I almost got a stack. Okay, once I get all of this set up, this is going to be amazing because we are going to go and maximize all the farms. And I am pretty much going to be eating golden apples for the rest of my days. Okay, villager one. He's good to go. Villager 2. Okay, cross your fingers. We got all five of them. Okay, now let's do five more, and this, this is going to be a lot less painful than I thought. Okay, and other than this guy messing up the flow a little bit, here's our next five. So we got to hit the splash potion right in the center. I feel like I could get a whole bunch with just one. Didn't I do nine or something on this guy? Mm, yoink. And while we wait for those guys, let's just go and get a little bit more redstone since we have enough gold. What the f Okay, everything is set. Let's just get our villagers in. Nice. Everybody has turned too as well. This is awesome. Okay, so far everything's working as intended. And villager one is in place. Now we just basically need to go down the list. I mean, you can see we got sharpness four. So, I mean, do we really need sharpness five? We'll all decide. Fortune three. Mending infinity. So the big question is really just let's get all the key guys first and then we'll work later on. And you, sir, you're first. Wow. Garbage. Garbage again. Oh, ooh. we're going to start with the good stuff first. You just have to say that you're fine. <laughs> There is Silk Touch locked in. There's number two in place. I've just got to go and remove his works. Oh, wait, I already did. Now for number three. Beautiful. Well, hello there, sir. I noticed you escaped, and you created a little chaos for me when I was trying to make my villagers over there. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 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 
Hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. What you got for us, bud? Nothing. Okay, thanks. Ooh, punch two. Let's go for something a little more rare and difficult. <gasps> Efficiency five for twelve. See you, bud. There he is. This is pretty much automated. All I've got to do now is just wait for the one guy to come back and over. And boop. Convert the rail over to the next one. Give this guy his lectern. And then we are smooth sailing. Okay. On to number four. I am never going to hit that. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. I can hit it. I can hit it. <laughs> no, I can't. Okay. Well, this is going to be fun. All right. We managed to get everybody in place. And we've got a pretty good lineup going too as well. So we need to see this guy here. He is still undecided. But we definitely don't need Sweeping Edge 2. Because we have Silk Touch, Efficiency 5, Power, Unbreaking 3, Punch 2. That's for the bow. Sweeping Edge 3, Protection 4. Look at that. Protection 4 for 1. Feather Falling 4. And then we have the guys that we had before. So we've got Fortune 3 with our Sharpness 4 too, which, yeah. Mending, Respiration, Punch, and Infinity. We need to figure out where the mobs are spawning in this and put some light sources there because these guys just keep getting attacked. I am their savior. Ooh, ooh flame. We can do flame. But for now, I need to go get some emeralds. Woo! But Nilly, we definitely need you in there. A lot of you guys may not know, but yeah, this is Nilly. She is still alive. Um, I am pretty much a murderer, so she has not been coming along on very many adventures. I'm literally too scared to risk her. And next, we've got to move in this guy. I know, Mr. Boderman, you are, yeah. And you. No! You need to go into the museum as well. But first, I need a bow. Somebody please give me a bow. I have no anvils. Didn't I make like 100 anvils at one point in time? There they are. There they are. 36 levels for power five. Okay. Huh? Well, we're doing this from scratch. We now have a fresh bow. It's also nighttime again. Okay, is everybody safe? Everybody safe? I am out of spider eyes. Well, to start, we've got unbreaking three and punch two. So let's grab a power five. An infinity book. And now, let's see. Now we should be able to build our bow. So first, we'll do unbreaking three. And then it looks like punch two is longer. So we're going to do punch two. Then we'll do power five. And finish off with the infinity. Now I need to give this sucker a name. And if I think, I have no idea if I'm spelling this right. I th I'm pretty sure that's it. And we are ready. Am I missing anything? Um, I don't think so. Come here. Yes, we will have a bow battle. Take that. I can't see nothing down here. Can you guys see anything? I can't see nothing. I'm out of here. Oh, hello, sir. Exit the building. I see you. Ha! Get back. Okay, well, now that we've got all of these guys in place here, it's time for us to start working on the opposite side because we are quickly running out of days. So now what I'm going to do, yeah, we got to set up some sort of small, small blacksmith shop thingy right here. I mean, we can set up a proper giant full villager trading hall, you know, later on somewhere else. But as for right now, this is pretty much going to do for us to be able to redo our armor and complete. I mean, you can what see the armor isn't even complete yet. What the, is that? The leggings don't even have unbreaking on them. None of this is complete. None of this is complete. So now this has got us covered. Okay, but now what I gotta do, yeah, we need to build a little blacksmith shop, get the guys over here, and figure out what we're gonna do with the back of this thing. And both of you guys are selling for one, so could you just please get in there? Yep, over this direction. Nope, wrong way, sir. Yep, okay, move this guy along too, and now we just need the third guy that we had in here. Get moving. Get moving, you're all going over. You guys are all too close. Please, step away. Thank you. Okay, every workstation has been removed. Now all of these guys should be 
No, he's coming back. Why are you coming back? Unacceptable behavior, sir. You're not even standing in your minecart. You are half drunk. Continue your way in, please. Why? Oh. Can you move over? Oh, boy. He's on his own little roller coaster ride. There you go. Shuffle butt, boys. Let's go. Get back. Having fun. Now let's focus on. I need to do something to kind of brighten it up and make it look a little bit more stylish in here. I mean, I also still need more quartz for the roof. I should name this 100 episode the Quartz Saga. Deep slate or quartz? Deep slate or quartz? Um. We're doing deep slate. We're doing it at a deep slate. Why is that beacon not activated? Okay, let's start out with a half stack of polished. Then we need some tile. Look it. How are you standing right beside a torch? I don't even understand this. Oh. So far, it looks like a seahorse. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. See? I'm not a builder. I'm not a builder. That's what you get right there, okay? I actually really don't want it out of deep slate, though. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want it out of deep slate. So let's go get some quartz. 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 Okay, something happened. Um, I wasn't recording. We're down to one totem in the box. We're down to one totem. At the rate I'm dying, I'm gonna need a raid farm. Quartz. 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 1,000. Holy, 1,081. Okay. And look it. I definitely need more. I definitely need more piglins. Because I am 110% certain that I could have farmed twice as much as this. And the amount of time that I have been sitting here. Let's just go back to the base. I totally could have farmed twice as much as this in half that time. Alright, let's see if I got these centered. It looks like I did. Okay, yay. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, It may or may not have happened again. So, uh, yeah. Definitely gonna need a raid farm now. I am reckless. Aha! I seen it. Did you guys see it? I seen it. I know where you guys are spawning. But I left so much stuff over at the gold farm. Okay, now starting from right about, um, here. Let's see if we can give this place a little bit of a stylish roof. And I'm, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm in a new office and it smells. And bammo. Okay, it is actually starting to look... I mean, we gotta get more quartz to finish that side, but it is starting to look pretty fancy down here. Next thing that we need to do before we start to rebuild this corner from our little incident. Huh? We need to get our little Enderman pal. We need to get our little Enderman pal over here. And let's run a path up for this guy and get him over. Okay, the minecart is in. Please just be gentle to me, sir. Oh, how much damage is he gonna? Eh, I think he'll be all right. Okay, and so far he is off. Oh yeah, he's in a boat. He's not even gonna need anything. We just need to complete the rail in order to get him in place. Um, we'll take a different route. Move your butt over. He's gonna be here any second. And he's here. Um, what is happening right now? Uh, sir, uh, stop what you were doing. Um, okay. Are you ever going to stop? It's literally exactly where I wanted him. I, he's one block lower, but I literally wanted him right there. So let's do, oh, wrong way. Wow. What? What just happened? What just happened? And why? Okay, we need to get this guy back in his boat. But I need to drop an item. Or two. Okay, the boat is mine. 
What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Will you quit giving me and you a hard time over here? Fine, I'll just put you in place myself. Okay, and he's in place. He looks rather comfortable. He also needs a name. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go grab Nilly. Yeah, we're going to a pretty cool spot. Okay, you're gonna like it. You could see it from here. Yeah, over that way. Yeah, but hey, 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 no chewing the walls. No chewing the walls, okay? Thanks. Yes, this is it. This is it. This is the place. You like the tree? I know, it's a, it's a miracle. And if you come over this way, if you come over this way, come here and sit. Good dog. We'll build you a nice doggy bed over there, okay? But first, I need to go get some quartz. See? Just one patch. We're gonna have so much quartz in no time. This is just three patches of quartz block. Ugh. Okay, no joke, it's been like 10 minutes and look at this. We've already matched what we got. Uh-oh! I'll take some of that, too. Look at another three! Okay, the goal was to basically fill up the inventory in like an hour. We're literally almost already there in just 20 minutes. But I am just going until I can't hold any more quartz in my in- Oh, Blackstone. Ah! I am no longer picking up any quartz. Let's see what this all turns into. Not bad, not bad for 25 minutes worth of work. Okay, let's um... I managed to find 24 of you in that amount of time. Where are you? Oh boy, run for your life. How long is it gonna take me to get a thousand? Oh my god, 1300 blocks back. Okay, forget this. Forget this. We're out of totems. Uh oh. Okay, well, I have a, I have a plan for this. I have a plan for this. Where is it? There it is. Where is a dude with a flag? You're not a flag guy. I'm looking for your friend with a banner. Is he around? Why did it take so long for you to show up, sir? I've been asking for you. Okay, um... Village? Village? Everybody run for your life! Although I will protect you. I must get to the tower. And, oh, what the heck happened there? Can anybody please tell me what just happened there? Must turn it to daytime before the raid comes. Okay, daytime has been established. I'll help you, Mr. Golem. Oh, I didn't mean to. Get this guy out of here. You're out! A Ravager head! We've got a Ravager head! Yes, everybody come to me. Oh, that's the guy we're looking for. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I need this. Get away from me. There's a Ravager coming! Please leave me alone, sir. I need that totem. I need it. Get away from me. What am I getting rid of here? Flint? That? I don't need any glow. I do not need saddles. We have it, we have it, we have it. Okay. Safety! Get away! That's it! Okay. Ah! I think this might be last wave. Get away from- No, they killed the villager. Look at how fast he's running. Get away from me. Oh, he dropped his head too. Drop your head. Extra totem. And now it says there's two remaining. Where the heck could they be? Well, wherever this guy went, he just made things incredibly awkward. Are you part of the raid? I take that as a no, but look at... Roar! Shut up. Sacrifices must be made. 
Oh, I hear you. How did you make it all the way down here, buddy? Oh, there's still another wave coming. It's just me and this guy down here, and he's trapped in a cage, so... I'm going to assume everything is fine. Okay, that was close. That was really close. That was too close. I want one of these Vex heads, though. Okay, that's another totem. Okay, we may have lost every single villager in this village, but you know what? Whoop! Look at Vindicator, unemployed, three Ravagers, an angry bunny, an angry bunny, an angry bunny, an evoker. And we're back up to four totems. Not too shabby. Okay, here, creepers. Okay, and home sweet home. Yeah. Okay, and I don't know if that's where all the heads are going to stay, but now that we have our totems, it is officially time for us to finish this roof. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, I might have actually got the roof symmetrical. This is dangerous. Now it's time for us to go around and adjust all of these lights. So we need to get all of these torches out from the middle of the floor. And now let's take some shroomies and we'll put these in the ground. And then if it's possible, where's my white wolf? And the fact that I came back and there was no mobs here is absolutely just perfect. But now since we're slowly running out of time, I mean, we're slowly closing in on 1200 days, I should say. Let's repair this that was, yeah, hopefully no more sneak attacks. So let's start rebuilding a little something like that. And now an easy way for us to brighten up this corner. Check this out. Torch. With a moss carpet on top. Oh, we're going to have to make some more. We only got two left. Boy, that's where I want it. Very, very lovely. Let's just hope no skellies come along and ruin my day anymore. Why are they all on the left side, though? Look at you! Looks like we need to wrap that side in. Just a few more blocks to be symmetrical with that side. But I'm leaving the backs open. I am going to leave the backs open so I can see the sunrise. Okay, awesome. The only thing that we're missing now is the, uh, yeah, the wither that we had there before. The, the, the moss wither. I got a little bit of a different plan for over there. That is looking mighty fine though already. Now let's try and get these, these guys over and into place over there. I need some temporary blocks. I need some temporary blocks. I need more temporary blocks. Need more temporary blocks. You'll be all right. But you, what has happened to you? Why is he being so awkward? What just... Where did he go? Where are you going? Why is this a thing right now? You'll live. But your buddy, he might be lost forever. Alright, we have two so far. Let's go grab some fences. And I am just hanging on to these totems. Yes, I am not putting them away. I am a complete disaster this episode. Okay, you guys even have a, a gate. It's a it's a poor gate for now, but you guys have a gate. And as long as you guys cannot escape, I will go get your workstations. They are inspecting the back of his head. And they are all set up. I just have no idea. I have no idea if these are the right workstations for these guys. I feel like they need the other ones. And now the real question is, do we get this guy? Oh my gosh, I hear them. I hear them. Oh, and it happened. Of course you did. Well, you're staying like that for a little bit there, fella. Sorry. Okay, and with the few remaining days that we have left for this 1200 days, I think it is time for us to give us some beacon power. The only problem is, is I have literally, I have no idea where I'm going to put them. I have no idea where I'm going to put the beacons. So let's grab some iron. Where is my iron? Now let's position a couple of beacons so that way I can have some speed and some regen around here. Ain't nobody said they gotta be full beacons. Okay, a little reconfiguration here of the horn. Woohoo, let's go see. Good enough. Let's, uh, <laughs> I wonder if it's even gonna reach the bottom. That's the real question. Never mind, no we don't. The beacon's range is so weak. Okay, that plan did not work. 
but it looks fantastic, so we're gonna just leave it there, okay? Well, since that didn't work, we're gonna put it here. This was the original plan for this big giant area up here anyways, so. And there's some resistance and some regeneration too as well. So now we just need to go put a dummy beacon on this side in order to balance everything out. And oh, it's looking fancy around here. Oh, she's looking good. She is looking good. And look at that way, it looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, it looks great looking that way. But then you look this direction and it's like, where's your roof? For now, it's time to actually decorate this place and spruce it up a little bit. Okay, we said we were gonna do something here and now I am going to do it because it looks boring. Oh, hi, Endra. Why would I put it in? This is how crazy I can be sometimes. Okay, now, now I need to find some, I need some water. Ooh, there's a spider right in front of me. And I've got two days to try and put this in. Uh, Hey, you! Angry. I've got two days to put something together here and I am not a builder. I mean, I could barely, I could barely swim. I could barely swim, let alone build. Okay, but ability to swim or not. I have filled up one layer of a pool. Okay, not too shabby. Now we can just put like, I don't know, not looking too bad so far. Uh, yoink. Oh. oh. That's what I thought. That is an easy jump. If I bone meal this, is it gonna turn into a big drip leaf? No! Okay, we need a wandering trader to come by. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now a touch of bone meal here. With a little touch of bone meal over on this side. And the throne is starting to look... <laughs> the throne is starting to look really nice. Okay, now on the last day, we have something that we need to do. Where is it? Where is it? Look at it. Hmm. The old shield of invincibility. Did I spell that right? Invincible. Yeah, let's snaggle up these things too as well, Wara. They are ours. And now one of the last things we need in order to add into here. Oh, I did that wrong. I'm an idiot. Dragon's egg. I am firing the wrong fireworks. Okay, I like that better. I like that a lot better. And now for the dragon's egg. The dragon's egg we need... I need a little bit of deep slate. And now from somewhere around here, I am going to build it up. Chain, chain, and chain on top. All right, and as long as I've done everything symmetrical, I clearly didn't. Now we're gonna take my last, oh. That was supposed to be the end rod. But you know what? Maybe we'll just do that. That actually looks pretty, that actually looks pretty good. Now we'll just do one big giant dragon head on this side. And look at it down here. I love it. I also love all of you guys. But that's 1200 days. I'm gonna use the rest of today to take my 1 million screenshots that I like to take. Anyways, hello again. Yes, welcome back. I didn't spend too long taking screenshots. Okay, two, two, yeah, 1201. We're good. We have, yes, look at how far we've come. This is amazing. Last episode, I was a little bit of a mess. I was a little bit of a disaster. Yeah, we went through quite a bit of totems. We're out of totems. Now that we've got all this done over here, and we've got our bow too as well. Now I think it's time we need to, I need to add in one thing down here. And well, that's the armor I'm wearing right now. We're gonna add this into the zoo. So what I need to do is I need to prepare myself because we're gonna make the best armor. This is cheese. This is absolute cheese. But we do have the books that we need in order to upgrade and make ourselves absolutely, like there's our unbreaking. I don't even have that on my boots. Look at this. So what we need to do is we need to prepare ourselves in order to get, yeah, we need to get some of these guys here. And we are going to retire this armor and make some of the best armor that we absolutely can. And well, the first thing that we're going to need for this is, oh gee, oh, oh gosh, here we go. I'm dead. Nope. And the first thing that we're going to need for this is we're going to need some diamonds. And I could just very much use the armor that we have in here. So this is all the armor that we picked up from the end. But I want the freshest diamonds for the best armor that we can get. So I've put together a shulker box here that has all of the iron blocks that we're going to need for this. We have a bunch of torches. I've got my ender chest too, so we need more. We got more. We got more torches if I need them. Okay, Mr. Melon Man. 
One guy couldn't even buy all my melons? That's lame. Now give me some more bamboo. And now since I just ran out of fireworks, let's just see here for a quick second. Nice. Even one sugarcane farm is so productive. Okay, but with all of this, our chest, we've got our iron for the things. Let's go get ourselves some fresh diamonds. Look at it. Uh... Let's grab a couple of beacons and bring these along with us. And let's go get ourselves some nice, fresh diamonds. Over to the mine shafts. And a lot of you guys keep on asking, I'm probably going to update this world. We're probably going to try and update this world to 1.18. That's why I'm trying to keep everything right here for now. Like, we might even be saying goodbye to the Trident Farm, if it's possible for us to update the world. Diamond time. Beacon is set. Let's just put on our haste to... And you can see I have mined out everything around this beacon already, so I've taken all of the diamonds out of here, all the emeralds still stand. So I need to go down here and I need to set myself up another beacon and get this going. I'm also excited for this because we're going to get lots of deep slate. Alright, the beacon is set, now we just need to take the coordinates. So now we just got to go back up and dig our way back down. Okay, beacon is activated. Now we just need our pick pick so that way we're not collecting deep slate. And I have so much stone that I do not... I don't even care. Okay, inventory is prepped. Now let's just go find our diamonds. I hear lava this way though. We're off to a terrible start already. Ooh, and there's some diamonds. Okay, this is the first set so far. Let's just see what we got from... 15. We're almost there. What chunk is this? One. Go away, scary noises. I'm not ready for Halloween yet. Oh, there's the second set right here. Let's see what we get from this. 29. We're almost there. Deep Slate, just get out of the way. You're slowing everything down. Oh, no. What are you doing? Oh, and there, oh my goodness, what? There's some more. Okay, 36, we've got 36. Which way is the beacon? Let's just see, here's the chunk border. Let's just see if we can quickly find a few more. Not gold. Forty-eight diamonds. I just need to get my way around this lava and back to now that we've got our diamonds, let's just head back. Chunk border's off. And let's go see what the furnace is doing here because I have put all of the ancient debris. 23 ancient debris. One. Okay, now we'll make some gold ingots. And just like that, we've got five netherite ingots. Perfect. Okay, we need helmet, leggings, boots, and a chest plate that's never going to be used. And with this, now... Oh, this is exciting. Helmet. Leggings. There's the boots. And a chest plate. This is... Okay. Now, my only question is, is in that little mining session, did I get enough? Uh, 20 emeralds is probably not going to be enough. But this might be... And now it's time. Now we can start to put together the best armor. Okay, I gotta do... I want these all be longest to shortest. Kind of like this is here on the bow. But we should have enough, and believe it or not, there is a strategy in order to do this the cheapest. But first, we just need to go about buying. What is this guy doing? Listen, you're scaring. You're scaring everybody. Don't do it. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a nice light blue shulker box. We're going to set it up right here, and I'm just going to buy all of the books that I need. First up is the helmet. So we are going to need unbreaking three. Definitely a protection four. Mending. I believe we're going to have to put a couple of these together in order to get it up there. A little something like that. And now the only thing the helmet needs is Aqua Affinity. Uh, I'm trying to level some of these guys up, but... I don't want to burn through all my emeralds doing that. And he just gave me Bane. <laughs> he just gave me Bane. Okay, we've almost got everybody leveled up. And he gives us an Efficiency 5. We don't need Efficiency 5, pal. No, thank you, sir. Thorns. Should we do thorns? No, I want aqua affinity. Oh, well, this guy keeps giving me a bunch of water ones. Let's go. Aqua affinity. Wow. 
And there it is. Aqua Affinity for one. Give us Depth Strider 3. No. Nope. Multi shot. Okay, now let's work on the boots. I need to go grab a Soul Speed 3. And let's cycle one of these guys until we get Depth Strider. And then we're going to add him in. Wow. Okay, we'll put these two Depth Striders together that we just got. And bingo, we've got ourselves a Depth Strider 3. We don't even need a villager. That took way too long. But now we've got our Depth Strider. And I didn't have any soul speeds here, so it looks like we're going over to the gold farm. We're going to feed these little piglins here some ingots. Let's activate the gold farm and let's see if these little piggies are going to give us some soul speed. What are you doing down there? I see one. Oh, it's only a soul speed one. There's another one. We have three so far. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, we just got one that had soul speed two on it. That means we can put these two together. So two single soul speeds make a soul speed two. Two soul speed twos make a soul speed three. So now we have depth strider, soul speed three. Now let's go back to the overworld and get the other enchantments that we need that should just be able to get right from the villagers. We are almost there. And then we can start to stack these things. Okay, we need feather protection, unbreaking, and mending. So we'll grab some more emeralds from all of these guys. We'll grab ourselves another unbreaking book. One more protection four. There is our feather falling. And now we just need a mending. So now we just need to do the leggings. So I'll sell a few books to these guys. And all we need for the leggings is some protection. Definitely some mending. And then we need our unbreaking. And the armor is pretty much going to be the same as the leggings, so we're just going to leave that till afterwards. But now here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the helmet, and the first thing that we're going to do for the helmet is we are going to combine respiration plus unbreaking, and we're going to get that. Then we're going to do the same thing with the protection and the affinity. That's going to be for a total of two. We are going to combine these two books for 14, slap them on the helmet, and add in some mending. And that right there, that is our helmet all done. First things first though, is I need a smooth stone slab. And bingo, we have an armor stand. Let's slap this sucker ripping and let's retire the old bucket. Retired. Okay, let's insert this thing right onto the skull. Oh, it fits so, it fits so snug. I feel so protected. I hate the torches. Ugh. Get out of here. Okay, now we're going to do the boots. And the boots, we, I, there is a very, there's a very specific way to do these in order for it to be absolutely like, like really, really cheap and for it to not be too expensive. But we're not doing that. I'm going to stack these so that way they're exactly like the helmet from longest to shortest. So I'm going to go feather falling. Well, let's just go to the anvil and we are going to go feather falling plus depth strider. Soul speed plus unbreaking. We'll add these two to the boots. We'll add these ones to the boots. Combine these two. And look at that. Those boots are absolutely insane. These are going to be the comfiest boots. Is that how you spell moccasins? You know, those really comfy sandals that like the more you wear them, the comfier they get. I don't know. Time to retire these trash pieces of garbage though. He's building a skyscraper in front of him. Boots are retired. Time to slip on these moccasins. Nice. No! And for the leggings, same thing. I'm sure there's a very specific way in order to get these. But that's how I'm doing it. And we're also down another anvil. Now it's time to retire these pieces of junk. What? They don't even have them breaking on them. Okay, and last but not least, Freedom 1. Let's go for one last flight with Freedom 1 on the sunset. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at this place. Okay, let us grab a fresh elytra from the box. We have to rush back. My light sources are terrible. My villagers. My poor villagers. Everybody's safe. And honestly, I wish I could find that chest plate, the one that I used to battle the wither. I have no idea where I put it. We need to grab ourselves a mending book and an unbreaking. We'll combine these books, we'll put them on the elytra, and there we go. Freedom 2. Oh, I fly so fast. Retired. 
Now let's just finish up the chest plate here. So we need to get some protection. Unbreaking and then some more mending. Bingo. Okay, and with all four of these and the protection and the moccasins having their feather falling on them. Whoa, check this out. We need to turn it to daytime though. I need some temporary blocks. Let's go out this direction and let's go up. Okay, that is 60 blocks. <laughs> this is 60 blocks. We have protection four on all four of them. We've got our feather falling. No problem. Look, I didn't even break a sweat. One hundred blocks. Place your bets, folks. Place your bets. Does he live? Or does he burn another totem? Oh! A hundred blocks! Wow! Hello there. Not even a scratch! You don't scare me. Don't mind me. Just having a nice hot tub here. It's actually quite nice. I heard it's good for the pores. Look at him. He's <laughs> tickling my toes through my moccasins. <laughs> oh, excuse me, lava. Just trying to get through here. Don't mind me. Just lighting up a ravine with my brand new super armor. Feels good, boys. Thanks for the massage. Woohoo! Well, we shouldn't burn through too many totems now. And there we go. We'll just put that there for safekeeping, keeping so that way I don't lose it like I did the last one. But I am officially pretty much unkillable. Feels good too. Feels good to have all of this stuff. Nothing can protect me from myself though. So yeah, always be ready. Okay, my panda brethren. What? Um, ever since I blew up the emerald generator, uh, yeah. Grinding at the iron farm has been a, it's been a mess in order to get my emeralds. I mean, if you guys are not aware, I have an insane underground iron farm and it is amazing. But, um, we're at a point in this game where I definitely do not want to be grinding for emeralds. Not in the way that I have been doing it anyways. So, uh, yeah. We have a list. We have a, we have a list of stuff to do today. I need so much glass. Uh. And I need about as much sticks as I can get my hands on. I think it's sticks, right? Sticks is what you need in order to make a fence. It is. And I also need a whole bunch of walls. Um, so we're bringing the cobble with us. And now the glass, I have two ways that I could get the glass. I could buy it from these guys, which is going to require me to grind for some emeralds, which I do not want to do. I do not want to do. And I need... Hold on. I need an easier way to get up from here. Uh oh, what have I done? That looks terrible. That looks terrible. Hang on. Okay, that is much better, but it is still missing something. That might be it right there. Actually, you know what? It's still... Oh, I got an idea. Did you see how close I just came to blowing up everything? Woo! There we go. Looking fancy. Okay, and since we just had a creeper creep up on us, let's just go in around and take some lanterns. Okay, and that right there, that should do just fine. Okay, and I'm really, I'm really starting to like this place. Okay, with this, at least we have a quick way up now. I think maybe I should do a better one right in the middle of the floor. That is for later though, because I right now need to grab all of, we need to get all of these materials together because we have, we have quite a list. Ooh, 
Ooh, and look at this little guy, everybody. Almost fully enchanted. Almost fully enchanted. This guy's getting named Squirrely for now. Bah! There you go. Squirrely. Okay, I just spent a few days getting everything together and look at... Look at who we got. Are you guys ready for this? Where'd your chicken go? Okay, well, you can come down here. He was on a chicken jockey. This is so sad. Or his chicken, I should say. That's lame. Okay, but we have everything prepped and ready. You can see my inventory is just a mess right now. The only thing I'm missing is if we go into the redstone, I need more slime. I am definitely going to need more slime for this. So we need to find ourselves a swamp. And the other thing we need to do is we need to go back to the nether because... Haha, this is why... This is why I created... Oh, I got so busy my coffee's cold. This is why we created the nether hub. Um, we need one of the farthest ones. If we go all the way this way... I'm super excited. No, this one is the ice. So you can see I put the ice on the portal. That one's for the ice fields. Or is that one for the ice fields? What have I done here? If we go this way and we go through this portal, hopefully... No, it's the jungle. And we have to get out of here fast. I have 3D leaves on and it's gonna break the game. I can already feel- Fatality. And by 3D leaves, I meant 3D vines. It is catastrophic for me to go to a jungle. Okay, well maybe we will try this one then. Cross your fingers, cross your fingers. Okay, well, I have no idea where we are, but... Is that lava still flowing? I am in ungenerated territory, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see if this is going to give us a... Whoop. Let's see what this one has. Oh, just a golden. Okay, and this might be my favorite part in Minecraft so far. Coral reef everywhere with an ugly swamp right in the center. What is this? Oh, ocean monument. Okay, we should be coming up here to it soon. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Surrounded by all ocean, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, still, and not a single mob in sight. This is going to be the safest nap I've ever taken. Let us prepare. Now this, yeah, you guys know it. This is going to be the new farming district, but this is for a different video. For now, what I need is, I need, where's the sun? Which way is it moving? It is setting that way. So we are going to build our emerald generator right about here, about dead center on the island. Okay, so I've marked that. Now I just need to go and set myself up. I need a small little area to work from. And then we need to get going. This is a big project. This could take us the remaining... Woo! The remaining of the 100 days. Bed. Night lights, because I'm scared of the dark. And let's get set up here, so that way I can... Three, four, five... And that many stacks of glass should probably be enough. <laughs> and there we go. We are now officially cooking glass. That's probably going to be way more than enough. Bay. Oh, I missed it. And with that all set, okay, we have this. But with that set, and look at how much glass we have already, this is amazing. It is officially time for us to start putting together this mega, mega emerald generator. Okay, this thing, this thing is going to follow the same principles that was discovered by, I think it's Ray. I think it's Ray. Ray's works, right? Where you can stack the raids on top of each other. Um, there's another raid farm that I was going to build, but after testing it in a uh, test world, it's a little bit too insane. It's a little too insane. And the first thing we need to do is we need to get our positioning down. One, two, three, four, five, two. What? And the mechanics of this farm are pretty much insane. They're insane. So let's just hope and pray that I get this correct because this is nuts. 
And this very first location, this is very crucial. It is already nighttime. Now, there is a lot of fancy wizardry going on here. I mean, and then it's just a bunch of redstone. So what we need to do is we need to get all of that kind of prepped and ready first before we do anything. And then we've got to find a village to bring some villagers over. But first, we have three really crucial, really... Oh, I missed it. And the first thing is we need to get three really crucial uh, locations set. One of them being a composter right here. Another one being another composter right here. Then we need a dirt path right here. Look at how high up we are. Oh, I didn't bring it with me. But we need a fence gate right here. We need a fence gate right here. Okay, and with those positions all set, now what we need to do is from... Where am I? Right there. We need to come over one, two, I think it's two, up three, and this is where some soul soil is going to be, so that's obviously going to be an elevator. We need some villagers to stand here, same thing on the other composter, and then we need to do some more funky redstone. Yay, but okay, all of our glass seems, okay, yes, all our glass is smelted. And other than needing some pressure plates and a little bit more, well, it is nighttime. Let's go see if we can get some more slime. Because I really need it. I really need it. What is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't even look at it. I'm about to throw up. And there's a village right here. This is, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I'm almost out of fireworks. I'm almost out of fireworks. I've just been flying around. Okay, nighttime is almost over and I haven't found a swan because I've been staring at the double thing for so long. And I just had to keep making fireworks. Of course I find one and it's daytime. Whatever. Okay, well back to, uh, yeah. Back to whatever for now. Look at the size of this swamp. And it's much closer. Okay, well, since our slime mission was a complete disappointment, let's, um... I have a lot of shoots to build. Just straight up building, straight up into the air. So you know what I'm doing? It's almost nighttime and the shoot is almost done. The shoot is almost done. Where's jump boost when you need it? there okay the shoot is done let's um i need space to go get slime okay a little bit more gambu and let's go we gotta go quick the night has already started it's a half moon uh yeah there's slime on that moon which way am i this way i wish the harder you press w key the faster you flew we're here swamp oh and there's a big giant slime already let's go hi Please come here. Ow, don't kill me. No, be nice to me. Be gentle. Did you guys see what I just picked up? <gasps> Look at me! This is the cutest. Hold on. I am terrified. I need to keep my armor on. Get away. Oh, there's a couple of big ones. They're being extremely mean, though. So we'll do the old lily pad trick. Oh, no, we won't. We'll do the safe trick of just beating them all up from underwater. Dolphin, get away from me! Look at that pile of slime. I'm not dying. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is not fine. 
Everything is perfectly fine. Oh, Why is there an army of spiders after me? Look at this guy. He's just bringing me a gift. That's one of mine. Thank you. Okay, back to the crafting table. 19 slime blocks. We have 31 in total. I uh, don't think. Well, looks like we're going to be doing that a couple more times. Eh. Okay, back to building. I'm about halfway done. I'm about halfway done doing all the structure. And then it's redstone time, baby. The fun stuff. Okay, we're coming here because for one, I need, I need some lava. You guys leave me alone. I just need some lava. Some lava. And what I need without getting too lost is I need to find, I need some unburnable wood. So I'm going to go in a straight direction. Right there. Okay, that should do. Let's go back and make some fence gates. That is plenty. Okay, but look at we uh yeah, I decided to do a whole bunch of the redstone right away. Whoa. Wow. And we just about lost a lot of our redstone. I don't even know what day we're on. We're on. I told you this was going to take nearly 100 days. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I was building this. You can see we have gotten quite a bit done. We've gotten quite a bit done. One of those like lo-fi playlists came on and uh, yeah. I am just chilling. Okay. But I have no idea if this is going to work. I have no idea if this is going to work. We have come this far and I have not. I have no idea. We followed the same mechanics as Ray's work, so we have the two villagers down there, and then we have the shoot and then everything else up here is just pretty much a mess. But yeah, hopefully we don't need, um, fresh villagers for this, but we're just gonna try this. Everybody cross your fingers. Okay, but you can see, look at, woo! Okay, yeah, and then we have a way down too. Look at this. Everything is so amazing. Okay, but I have a list of things that we have to do before we actually call this complete. I know it looks done, but it is not. I need 64 blocks in this hopper up here. Okay, never mind. That one is good. Um, this one down here, though, this one needs 57 blocks, I am pretty sure. So let's just go and see if this has it. Okay, 57 is there. We'll let this do its thing. You villagers, you better be the right ones. You better. I'm falling to my death. I mean, if you're not, we'll just quickly make a villager breeder down here somewhere and then breed these guys to get the two that we need. I mean, that's not even the tough part, though. The tough part is we need villagers up here for hero of the village so I need to park villagers right about there behind where I am going to stand so that way they can throw us hero of the village and uh yeah we get about I'm into the storage system here so I think this is going to be fine now like I said I need to go get some cakes in order to put on top of those hoppers right there we got to go get some bad omen and we need to run this farm and we need to test it and we need to cross our fingers because I swear if this doesn't work I'm going to cry if it doesn't work I'm literally gonna cry I'm going to cry see I was going to set up a mini breeder and uh, yeah, or just uh, cr cross your fingers. Is there a farmer around here? Are you a farmer? You are not a farmer, but you are selling leather pants with knees. Bruh. Okay. A little bit of inventory management. There is, there was a, uh, there was a family of sheep that had to be sacrificed for some banners. Ignore that. And I bet you it's probably just going to be cheaper for us to go back. And I only say that because there is a portal right here. And I'm almost certain that if I go this way, oh, 
We need to be extremely careful. <laughs> we need to be extremely careful. Can you please come over here and give me some XP? <gasps> no! Whatever, his head is gone. Okay, first things first. You two, good sirs, are you selling? You are selling cakes. I will need all of your... I have no melons. Spike. Okay, but you see this grind? Do you see this boring, boring grind that I'm doing right now for emeralds? This is why we're doing this. What? Cakes are not stackable. Cakes are not stackable. I repeat, cakes are an unstackable item. And my inventory is filled with stackable items. Oh my gosh. No, I was just coming to buy cakes from you. And you have been turned. Okay, two shulker boxes full of cakes will probably do. So let's head back and let's just see. Nether portals are absolutely amazing. Okay, cakes have been in place. Nobody take a bite out of anything. And now, oh, is the thing, hang on. I didn't test if it moves the cake. No, okay, we are perfect. Okay, I'm going to go refill my coffee. I'll be right back and then we are going to get Bad Omen. Ruh, I nearly spilled every drop on the way back. I nearly spilled every drop on the way back. Let's go find a pillager outpost. Absolutely no. Whoop! I almost flew by. I wonder how many I flew by. I wonder how many I flew by. Hello? Could you bring your captain along, please? El Capitan. Knock, knock, knock. Are you home? Not you guys. We need your banner friends. Your banner friend again, please. Hello. Um, sirs, it's getting nighttime and I didn't bring a bed. Could you please drop your banners? Ha! Stole your bed. Oh, banner buddy, I see you. Bad omen. Bad omen, we have it. Um, yo! Bad omen too, we have. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Bad Omen 3, we now have... Okay, and all of you? Yep. Good luck. Good, good luck. Get him. Get him. Yeah, send him flying. Look at the yeet. 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 You guys are absolutely getting wrecked by this guy. Yes. Yes, I'm the one with Bad Omen and you are the one- Oh my god. You better run, because he's mad. You've locked him up for too long. He has no care for your life any- Oh my god, he- Yep. Well played, good sir. Okay, goofiness aside. Uh, it's the moment of truth. It is the moment of truth. I don't expect this thing to just literally turn on and run the very first time. Oh, I love these types of villages where they're in the water. No! I am so stupid. I am so st I am so st I am so stupid. Well, we're going back to the island anyways because I am out of fireworks. Okay, well, back again we go. Oh my gosh. I honestly can't believe I just did that. Okay, good sirs, I am back. I am back, good sirs. Can you please show me a banner guy? Okay. Banner guy one down. Right into the middle of it. Okay, we've got Bad Omen 2 again. I see a banner guy. Get out of there, banner guy. Okay, Bad Omen 3. Let's go back again and avoid every single village on the way. Let's get high and avoid the beauty of all these villages. All right, I should be able to land here. Um, the only problem is, is I can't get too close to that guy right there. See him? Now, I need to go, I need to find some string. We need some string because I have a I have a couple of things I need to do. I lied, the list is not done. Now! Come here, you army of spiders. Seven string will do. Let's make a dispenser. I'm over here acting like this thing isn't gonna work. Like I'm not actually that good at redstone. I'm pretty good at redstone. I have a feeling this is gonna work, so I'm gonna want this thing to run like a normal farm. Okay, and hopefully, let's just hope that I can land up here and we do not start 
we don't start it. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, we landed here. First thing I need to make is I need to make a dispenser, not a dropper. So I need, what is it, a bow? And a bow allows us to make a dispenser? Okay. Do you think I could sleep in the bed? Do you think I could sleep in the bed? Wow. Okay, so apparently we can walk around up here and do whatever we need to with Bad Omen. And the raid won't start. This is, this is news to me. Okay, now the one thing that I need to do is I need to put in a dispenser right there. And we're going to put a lava bucket in there, but I need to set up a little bit of redstone for this first. So let's grab some redstone dust. And I need a single redstone torch. Okay, and this requires a solid block here, another one beside the dispenser, and then we need to run some redstone dust. Now, off of this redstone dust, we need that. No. Redstone torch right here. Perfect. We need that set up right there, and now we should be able to put a bucket of lava in here. But we need to do it before... Um. Hold on. Okay, there. Now we need a bucket of lava in here so that way it dispenses every time that trap door fires. And another thing that I was thinking about that I'm not quite confident with is this little setup right here. So that's what we're going to do with the honey blocks. And now this right here, I have a feeling that, um, yeah, we might have a little bit of springage here. And as well, I want to set up a system under here that allows us to dispense all of the items that we do get from the hero of the village. So we need to go and grab two more droppers. This is actually really amazing that we can work around up here with the Bad Omen 3. Because I got myself a little worried that I may have jumped ahead, and I think I did. So I need an observer facing in like so. And then we need to just match that down here with the piston and the observer, which is backwards. And what this should allow us to do now is completely close this in. I just about fell and started the raid. Then we need a single piece of redstone dust right like that. And remember all the glass that we had? This is it. We have 42 left. Amazing. Now we'll adjust and put the lever here. And that should... Okay, let's do that again. That right there. That should activate everything. Now all I need to do is park the villagers right here with the hero of the village, run a hopper underneath them, around to those dispensers, and we can add them into the item sorter here, which also needs finished. But we're gonna worry about that later. Okay, and I'm not gonna lie. Um... Anytime I randomly change redstone like that on the fly, it never works out. So what I'm doing is I am grabbing that pressure plate and I am putting it right there right where it was redstone 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 and we're gonna leave it like that for now so that way i don't know we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it the way it was because um yeah like i said i know i just said i'm good at redstone but my on the fly changes never ever work out okay now last but not least i need one more piece of grass so we're gonna go way out let's even just go to this one go away lava we're getting rid of the cake and making way for another boop, path block. And now everything seems fancy. So here's what we're going to do. I am testing the system. Now, if I hit this, this is what, oh boy. Perfect. That is what should happen right there. We want all the stuff to slide down nice and slow, get pushed along. What is happening? Whatever, I guess a little loss is okay. Let me just think about it for a minute. Um, Looks like we have everything. When we go in here, the upper activates, right? Yes, it does. One final check of the pit to make sure everything is good. No, I forgot my glass panes. Look at this. I forgot glass panes in these corners. Ravagers would have been able to fall down there and uh, yeah. Everything looks good down there. Well, it might be time. It might be time to see if our raid farm... Am I out of fireworks? Nope. I think it's time to see if this thing is going to work. What are we on? 1,261? Wow. 
Okay, everybody. Cross your fingers. Let's see if this sucker works. Farm is on. We're standing in place. We've got our bad omen three, and let's just see if this is gonna work. Hopefully, I don't have to go to the pillager outpost anymore. Raid is activated. We should start to get pushed up right at the R. If not, I've screwed. Oh. Okay. And now we should get a bunch of raid calls. Listen for them. Oh! Um, I'm pretty sure it's working. I'm actually a little speechless. I usually have something to say. I don't really have anything to say right now because... Now, the only thing that I don't want to do is I don't want to wait too long before hitting these guys. And I definitely want to make sure that I have enough time left to kill all of the raid members. <gasps> Which I think I did. Okay, we should get pushed up at the R again. Let's see, let's see. Perfect. I have no idea how we get Hero of the Village from this, though. Okay, here comes some more raid members. And already we have Bad Omen again. And wow. Okay, somehow we ended up with Hero of the Village. I have no idea. I am going to add in a few more blocks. Hopefully there's no Vexes flying around right now because I waited for that raid to build up and I don't think there is. But okay, we have Hero of the Village. I should have got, I should have got the other villagers in place. We could be getting all of the items from the Hero of the Village right now if... Where did I go? I just put the other villagers in place. I'm just gonna sit here and farm emeralds until the phantoms show up. Um, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I've already I've already peaked. I've already peaked and this is insane This is insane. Are you guys ready? Are you ready here? Let me just start from like back here Okay, one emerald Two emeralds 12 emeralds Oh my goodness, and then we have this chest that chest the chest above it has already begun too and my inventory Oh my goodness I need a chest. I need to put a chest right there. Okay, well, since our emerald problem has been taken care of, um, I guess we could say officially that the emerald farm, the raid farm, whatever you want to call it, is a success. It is a success. I cannot believe it. But now it is time for us. We need to shift gears here. I need more chests. I need more hoppers. We need to absolutely finish this storage system here. So without getting too close to the village over there, Let's just go and grab some acacia wood. This is so much easier with mega spruce trees. I highly doubt that this is going to be enough, but we shall see. Okay, we got that far. We're definitely going to have to put in or go chop down some more trees. But now let's sort out all of these. Okay, we have everything figured out here for where it's going to go, including, if we go down here, all of the heads. But I need a few stacks of wood before we can complete this item sorter system, so we need to go... I need myself a spruce forest. Okay, two stacks plus 14, that might be, that might be enough. Half of them are for hoppers, remember, so... <gasps> Wait a second. I brought leather with me. Ooh, this is exciting. I just need more sticks. Ooh, I had 24 chests in there. Ooh, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot what I came down here for though. It was iron. I have zero iron down here. Now that we've got the iron here, uh, let's just start making some hoppers. We don't want to make too many. I think a stack might do. A stack, I don't know. Everybody cross your fingers because I do not want to spend any more time farming more wood. Yes. Okay, now we just need to put down our item frames. Not there. Okay, everything is all sorted out and looking good. So we've got four for the emeralds. 
Uh, yeah, you can see. Now I've just got to clean all of this mess up. Okay, that only took two days, but everything is now cleaned up and ready to go. So we have all of these upper chests here that were full. These were all... And now they're not, but look at all the totems we have, okay? And the emeralds. Okay, what day is it? I need more glass. Glass has been acquired. We have lighting. We have access to the switch as we're coming in. And there, we are set. Okay, we can now go in here. Hey, we can go in here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to bed. We're gonna slide our way in here. And what do we got? We got three days. I am just going to farm and farm and farm and farm. Last wave before we check. Last wave. System off. All right, now I've been trying to literally suck up every single emerald from that system. <laughs> As you can see by my inventory. <laughs> but look at that. I think we have finally solved our emerald problem. Yep, I'm still here. Oh, okay. Now that we literally have, I've got like, um, let's see, where, which one is it? Two whole boxes of totems. Look it. I'm rich. I am rich. I need a cow. Duh, excuse me, miss. Miss. Thank you. Amazing. Okay, now that we have our raid farm, emerald farm, completely done, now what we need to do is we need to set up a farm that is going to complement this very, very well. And it's actually one of my favorite farms. So we need to find... So we need to go back to the pillager outpost. I have already cleaned up and everything. Look, I am Mr. Responsible today. I have cleaned up already. But if we go back this way and we go over to our pillager outpost farm... There's that stupid village I wasted a raid on. We need to turn this pillager outpost into a bad omen farm. I was gonna use the island. Well, maybe we still could, actually. Let's go see. Where is it? It is thousands of blocks away. I have the coordinates for the other portal written down. And if we just do the math and we go here to 194, that right there is where hopefully the pillager outpost is. Okay, ugliest portal in the world, but... It's made. Let's just see where this brings us. I haven't set the other portal up, so it should be somewhere around. Oh, look at that look. And wait. <laughs> you're welcome. Yep, you're welcome. Actually, you know what? This one is going to be much better than the other one. We have a lot less ground to clear, but it's hard to tell. So first things first. Ah! ah! Okay, with that all cleared out, now we just need to go back and get our ender chest because I am a goof. Oh my gosh, and all of my... Oh my goodness. I left everything there. Now what we can do is we can take some of this dirt that we got, get rid of all of this, and we need to start to flatten this terrain out. 
Okay, and that's plenty of what we need for this farm. So now I just got to fill in the rest of this junk as well. I hear you. Please stop. Okay, and this is technically all the area that we're going to need in order to build this farm. So I've kind of terraformed this down to make it look like it was natural. And then this, the same thing. I've kind of left this the way it is. Oh, it's a bad omen guy. I actually can't kill this guy because we have to go back to the base and get some materials. So you guys are burning. Well, I guess you didn't need to burn. Okay, but a little bit more dirt in here. A little more dirt here on the outside edges. And from the center of this farm, I only need 10 blocks. So one, two, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, and since now we're out of dirt, I guess what we're going to say is that'll do for now. That will do. But with our ground and everything all sorted out now, now what we need to do is I need to go back and I need to get some materials. Oh, yeah, all of this stuff can stay here for now. And the main thing that I'm going to need is I am going to need some space, boys. I'm going to need some space. Can you just back off, please, just a little bit? I need some magma blocks and I need some glass. So we are definitely going to have to bring along our emeralds, block of emeralds. And let's go. Excuse me, cow. This isn't really quite the spot for you. Boop. Okay, hello, boys. I am back for some glass. Okay, my inventory was a disaster, but let's just see. I don't need much. I only need eight stacks of glass. Which was as easy as that. And now what we need to do is we need to grab some magma blocks. Now, somewhere I should have stacks of this already hold on creeper check creeper check okay there's a little bit and as for the bulk stuff the glass and the magma that's about it i just need two stacks of walls and oh baby we are farming i should probably get rid of these things out of the air just so that way i don't accidentally fly into them and maybe pop a totem I mean, I know I'm rich on totem, you guys, but we don't need any accidents around here, okay? The point of hardcore is to not die. I just want to get some sleep. Okay, I'm just double checking to make sure that I got everything. The only thing we're going to need really is to grab some kelp, but the ocean is right there. And other than a piece of where is it? Where is it? Soul sand. All we need are some signs and some trap doors and we are good to go. Look at this guy trying to steal stuff from me. Get out of here. Where are you guys suddenly coming from? Okay, there's our signs. Now we just need our trap doors. Bingo. And with all of that, oh my goodness, you guys are being so annoying. With all of that, we are ready and set to go. I just need to... Oh, I am creating a barrier. Yeah, how's that feel? How's that feel? Yeah, how's that feel? Okay, barrier has been made. I am protected. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to go around and I am going to put all of the magma blocks in place that I have. Okay, with our magma in place, now it's just time for us to do the tunnels. Now this is going to be pretty easy. So one, two, three. I believe it's four we've got to go down. And then we just need to make this so that way water can flow all the way down. So we need to go this direction. And then do the same thing for this tunnel right here. We need to go down four blocks deep. In one to the side here. Down. And then we need to connect this up where everything should connect up anyways to the next tunnel. We're going to see. There it is. Hello. So I just need to adjust these to make sure I got them down to the right depth. One, two, three. And now for the next ones. These ones over here, these ones are going to be the same thing. But as you can see, towards the outside. So right here, this is where the center of the farm is. This is where we are going to need to put down our piece of soul sand. And then on the back side, we need to make sure that we have two little holes like this. So that way all of the guys can get sucked and pulled in. And now the rest of this is as simple as one, two, three, four. 
some slabs on top. And now we just need a water bucket right there to push towards this corner. And we should be able to collect everybody, build our chute, and send them on the way up. I think I just set this up easier than the one that I did in the tutorial. This looks a lot easier than the one in the tutorial. My own tutorial too, which you guys hate me for because of the jump cuts. I'm so sorry. I'll redo it and delete the video even though it's a popular one and gets lots of views. I'll delete it. Okay, I'm gonna put a torch down here so that way nothing spawns. Another one here. And the only thing left to do is put water. Um... Ah! Okay, now I have to do the same thing that I have to do for pretty much all my farms. Boys, come on. I need to take the coordinates of the lowest point right here, 74. And I am going to build a chute up to 194, which is 120 blocks above this mess right here. I have to go down there and get some more glass. I have to go down and get one more stack of glass. I'm not even gonna risk it. Despawn, boys. Okay, we gotta go despawn them one more time because I'm a goof and I forgot water. I forgot my water. You think we can grab it? You think we can grab it? Miss your shots, everybody! Miss your shots! Everybody miss their shots! Ice! That was insane. Sign. Water. Now I just need that to go down and we need to go get some kelp and go to bed. Now let's just go grab a couple stacks of kelp. And then we can start farming these guys. Well, I need two iron golems in place, but then we can start farming these guys. I am already losing my voice and I have barely. Okay, one piece. We just need 900 more to go. Bing bong. And now we can just break that and we officially have ourselves an elevator. Now, above all of these right here, we need to put down some walls. And what these are going to allow us to do is these are going to end up funneling all of the pillagers around. Now we just need our trap doors down and inside these pits right here. Okay, we are set. Ow! Okay, now what we need to do is we need to tear down this whole entire lower section here. Because we need to get some iron golems in place. So we're gonna need some buckets. Look at how fast time flies. One more water source. And another one there, and we should be set. We can adjust those afterwards, but now what we need is we need a section right there. And that is where we gotta drop an iron golem. We actually have to do that on all four sides. And bingo, he is in place. Now to just repeat that on all four sides. No! No, I screwed that up. All right, but that should do. We have all four golems in place and ready to go. These guys are going to be the ones that attract everybody into the farm. I have a few water placements left, so we're going to close this off. One of them being up here. I mean, there should be one in every pit, really. And let's just see what this flow looks like. So we want it to come down and stop either just before... Yeah, so we don't want that right there. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to put another sign on this side. And that's going to ensure that everybody that comes down is going to just fall into this pit. Get sucked in and we don't want to go up yet. And a little bit of an adjustment on this one here. So we need to push this out one. Have the water stop. Ice block. Water. 
that is eight blocks long and everything matches up perfectly into this section. This is amazing. One last rally of killing these guys here and I just need some fence gates, but I have no wood left. Fence gates have been made. Now we just need to increase the water flow in this little area here. So that way it pushes all the way out to the outside here. All right, the farm is officially done. Wow. So we have iron golems, check. The chute, check. Um, water in here, check. Make sure all our trap doors are closed down, check. Remove the protective barrier. Yeah, can I do it before I run out of HP? I did it. Wall is removed, check. Let's just go around now and we want to make sure that we slab all of this up here. We don't want any of this to be spawnable. I'd rather just slab it than remove it. I hate it when you run out and you only need two more. And we are, <laughs> we are set. Look at that thing. Now all we need to do is we just need to go up here and we need to see if the thing is even going to work. Oh, and here they come. And so far, it looks like it's working flawlessly. I love it. Each Sometimes they take a good smack on the way up too, which is great. Okay, and so far, it is working, and I like it. The only thing is, we need to increase the rates. Um, it should be working a lot faster than this. Problem is, is we can't really go up any higher. We're already 120 blocks above the farm. So what we need to do... <laughs> that's right. We need to risk it. We need to risk it. We're going for it. Why didn't my thing go? Hang on. My space bar. I have broken another space bar. Yeah, my space bar. Something's wrong with my space bar. Okay, and that is much better already. We don't have any... We got some. Under the trees. But let's just go to bed, make this daytime, and see how this thing runs in the day. Pretty efficient. But there, you can see, we already have a banner guy sitting here, so that means that we officially have our bad omen farm. Already, I can tell you that I want to convert this to a one-hit kill, because this is extremely annoying. We've already got bad omen 4. Let's just see how high this can go. Bad omen 5. Can we get more than bad omen 5? Here he comes. Hello, banner guy. Oh, we've got one in there. No, we can only get as high as Bad Omen 5. Yes, I can already tell you this needs to be a one hit kill farm. This is annoying. Why did I build it like this with like a six foot draw? An infant could fall from there and not even break an ankle. Whatever. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to go down. Thank you. No, get away from me. <laughs> okay, and now I just need a lever. Please work, spacebar. Lever. And perfect, we can just get rid of all of the junk. Get rid of all of it. Where is it going? I have no idea. Let's just see if it's all landing down there. <laughs> and it is. Okay, we'll solve that. We will solve that. Hang on. We can solve this problem. How do I have no lava? All I need is the one. Which is going to be the source one, I bet you. Okay, we are set. Look at how bootleg that is. We get enough of these flags and pillager heads from the raid farm, so we are literally discarding everything, including the potential for... But there, now anytime we need to go get some more emeralds, all we got to do is make a quick pit stop here. Uh, let's set up a portal. And let's just see if this actually takes us back. I mean, the other one is right there. It should link. It does link. But there's... Why is there pillagers in here? Okay, and it's a little bit like a makeshift treehouse up here. But for all this farm is for, I actually don't mind at all. 
So now anytime that we are going to need some emeralds, well, all we have to do is make a quick pit stop here, go back through, fly out this direction. So there's the portal behind us. This is the portal that leads us over to the raid farm. Go through this portal, fly up here, and we are farming emeralds. And now before I do go down, I actually have one more thing that I do want to do. And that is to stop leaving all of my redstone and everything in other locations. Hold on. Daytime. Okay, but since I've got these the kelp sitting around from what we just did, let's start thinking about getting these villagers up here in place. I dropped a redstone box, but I don't want to start the raid. Whatever. We're starting the raid. I dropped both my redstone boxes. Okay, well, I guess that's how the raid farm works. Ah! Oh, there's vexes. Ow, you have a flame sword? I can't even describe to you what is happening right now. But there's like... Stuff is happening right now. And I don't know why. Stop burning. Everything just stop what you were doing. We have fire. We have water coming down everywhere. We have fish in columns. I feel like I have destroyed redstone. I have destroyed redstone. Have I destroyed any redstone down here? I don't know. All I know is I have a piece of redstone dust. I have a piece of redstone dust. Where did it come from? This is terrifying. This, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. <laughs> they are escaping. This is terrifying. <laughs> what is happening? I'm literally just about to look at all the vexes. Look at all the vexes after me. Look at all the vexes. I don't even know what to do about this. Are they going to despawn or are they going to be there forever? It looks like they're going to be here forever. This is lame. <laughs> this is literally lame. Burnable wood was a terrible idea. <laughs> Burnable wood was a terrible idea, everybody. Why did you not tell me this? Why was this not expressed in the comments? I'm just waiting for you to notice me. Can you notice me? Okay, so yeah, hi. Um, Those of you that are new here, yeah, uh, hi. My name is Chapman and I am a bit of a disaster. Okay, get used to it. Welcome to the chaos. Why are you even hanging around in there still? Okay, now it would appear as though that I have some repairs to do. It's amazing what one water source block can do. Okay, repairs have been made. Redstone replaced and I don't have any more in my inventory, so that means it's all back in the... I still have a piece of redstone dust on me. One piece of redstone dust. Mm. I found it! Okay. We're back to normal. Everything's fine. Everybody, everything's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Villagers! Coming through, Sand. Here's one villager in place. We just need to build a chute and get one more guy. 
All we need is one more guy because we can just breed the two in place and just have them continuously drop more. Yeah, you guys get it? Oh! And you have a bed. Sorry, bud. But we are on our way. And now we got two things that we need to do. One, go to bed. And now what we need to do is I need to go down here. Well, say goodbye to some more redstone. It wiped out everything. Well, the hoppers are in place at least. Okay, now, well, there's one more thing that we need up here. Let me go get it. Here, Moo Moo. There you are. Oh, I just realized I can't even get you over there because if I do, it's going to activate the farm. Fine, just give me some milk now. Lame. Come on, cow. <laughs> and there she is. My moo girl. But all of this is just eating up so much time. So now what I'm going to do... Um, redstone. I have to go fix some redstone. That's right. Fix three more repeaters down here. And that should be all the fixing that we need to do. But as for now, we are good. So let's just go down here. And we're going to run this one more time to make sure I didn't screw anything up. So let's rip back this way. There he is. Let's grab some bad omen. It looks like all of the redstone down there is finished. Okay, and let's do one last run at one of the most satisfying farms that I have ever built. Oh my gosh! Did you just see what I almost did? I need a grass block. Because without it, I wouldn't have been able to make a dirt path and we would have died there for sure. Oh, and another thing we're also going to need. I need some lava. Just one source of lava. All of this is taking so much time. And now I am just going to sit here. We're going to test this. We need to test this and make sure that it's working. Okay, the upper is working. Let's just hope the lower is working. Let's hope I got all this redstone back in its normal spot. Okay, she's working. I'm also insanely wealthy. Like, insanely, insanely wealthy. And as you can see by this, I don't know if it's in the time lapse or not. I might have hit the stop button before I did this. I have torn everything down. We have torn absolutely everything down. We have all the walls in place. We've got our little floating lady down there. Yes, hello. Farm is off. I have disabled these guys for now because, uh, <laughs> let me go show you. We are quite literally full already. This one's full too. And then, like, the out... We are full. We are literally full. I'm gonna need to set up those item sorters, the single item sorters, to get rid of the saddles. Because, yeah. I, I don't know what I'm gonna need 90 saddles for. Ugh. I only got four skeleton horses. But I need one thing here. It's 1,300 days, by the way. My goodness, guys. There, sand. Cacti. A trash can. Okay, but that is it. That is it. 
we're at 1301 and i'm insanely rich and pretty much unkillable no i didn't die i just took it out of my inventory when i was refilling them all in here but we're at 1301 Double tridents for double ocean monuments. Okay, 1300 has come and 1300 is gone. I can't believe we spent nearly 100 days building this amazing, amazing farm. But now it is time. Yeah, you can see we're at the tail end of the day already. It's time for us to get away from the raid farm, get away from the emeralds, and start working on something else. But first, look at five durability. I nearly died getting back here. I nearly, I nearly died getting back here. Okay, bamboo, elytra's back to normal. We have one thing that we need to do. Those two ocean monuments that we got, that we found that are side by side, um, we need to go clear those out. And by clear those out, I mean literally we need to take all of the water out from the inside of them. And then we need to decide what we're gonna do with the outside of it, but this one, we are gonna be raiding both of those ocean monuments. And hopefully what we're gonna get from it, hopefully we get a couple of guardian heads out of this, but first thing that I'm gonna need, we've got the trident. But let's go back over this way and we'll go to the trident farm. Because there's two things that I'm going to need from here. We are going to need to grab some <gasps> Nautilus shells. And we need a spare trident too as well. This is one of my favorite things to do. Other than completely raiding and burning down woodland mansions, this is my second like? favorite thing to do. It looks absolutely beautiful in there. But we need two tridents and we also need to get our hands on a conduit. And I'm going to be honest, I don't even think I have a heart of the sea. And if I do, I'm going to have no idea. I'm going to have no idea where it is. Maybe it'll be around here. Nope. Oh, did you see that angle? Oh, I'm getting better and better at this, even though I took a week off. Okay, I see no... Do you guys see a heart of the sea in here? I see no heart of the sea. So I'm not going to look for it. Here's what we're going to do. I need a bed. And now we need the ocean. Where is the ocean from over here? Ocean. Sunken ship. Oh, <gasps> nice. Look at all the emeralds. Okay, let's just see. We've got our buried treasure map. Wow, this one's literally right here. X marks the spot. There it is. Look at the diamonds. Look at the diamonds. And now with that, we are set. We can even do it right here. The conduit. Amazing. Okay, and with that, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the shortcut. We've got far so many farms everywhere, I have no idea. This is going to be a nightmare updating to 1.18. We need to go back and see the villagers because we need to get this trident. Not this one. We need this one here. We need to get this one all decked out and ready to go. Okay, now we're not going to need much for this. This one we're actually going to need. We just need Riptide. I don't know if anybody has Riptide here, though. Sweeping. Punch. Oh, this guy is Riptide. Um, we're going to need to put... And now what we can do is we can put these two together, and then we can put these two together. Uh-oh. And then we combine these two, and that should be enough to get us some... Wrong one. Riptide. Now we just need some unbreaking and some mending. There is our unbreaking. There's our mending guy. And just like that, we are ready. Look at that. Double tridents. Double tridents. This is my favorite thing. Okay, now what we need? Um, I think I already have it in the box. Yep. We just need our armor and... I mean, I made a bunch of name tags. So we could bring some axolotls along with us. And now the only thing left to do is we just need to prepare ourselves because this could get a little intense. Um, I have some iron. Yeah, we have iron. I'm pretty sure we need hose in order to get some of that sponge. But let's go. You. Hey, you. Angry. Now, the only thing that I'm wondering is that maybe I should, um, should we breed a mini army of axolotls for this? 
I don't know. Hello there, double monuments. Want to see what else is crazy around this area? Because it's all tweaked out. There's a ship inside one of the things. Wow. Isn't that crazy? But as you can see, I pretty much got everything out here sprawled out. And I've even built a little platform. Because this right here, this is pretty much going to be ground zero. Maybe that island too. I'm not sure if that island's going to be in it. But this is pretty much going to be ground zero for what we've got going on here. Okay, but first things first. Eeny, meeny, miny, or mo. Um, I lied. First things first is this. We need to go underneath here. We need to get in this thing. And we need to go boop, boop, boop. And do I have no room? Why did I bring all this moss with me? And only one bucket of milk. Uh-oh. Okay, good enough for me. Now what we need to do is we need to turn all these blocks that we just got and we need to do, um, how is it? It's one, two, corner. I'm dying. But now that we've got some prismarine, let's go back this way and let's get properly set up and ready for this. Now what we need to do is we need to grab our armor. We've got both tridents, all of our iron hose. Okay, let's go down and finish. Let's finish getting this conduit together. Okay, he got us. We can't screw this up. I screwed it up. Conduit is in place. Come back to me. There's our first casualty. Now, though, that we've got the conduit all set up, let's see. That's right, conduit power is constantly regening. Ah! I honestly think the only thing left to do now is to just engage. So we are going in. Hello! No. You better run. I seen a big tail. Did you see that big tail? I think I just seen that big tail. Okay, we are up a level. We are up a level. Oh, and there is the main room. I don't know if I want to go in the main room yet. Oh, I see sponge. I see sponge. I mean, I don't even know if these guys can honestly hurt me. But we see sponge. Okay, this is exactly what we are coming here for. The only thing is we need to get rid of these guys. So I think step one is to get rid of this and then... Okay, not bad. 30. Is there more though? That is the question. And there is... Right in the room beside it, which is the most random thing. Is there any through here? Nope. Oh, he got me. Okay, we've got one more. We've got one more left. One more milk. Let's see if we can find another sponge room in here. Or potentially one of the big guys. I mean, there's just so much going on in this thing. It makes no much, it makes no sense. There's so many cuts and half corners. Isn't there like gold or something in the center of that thing right there? Yeah, this place is weird. I thought there was, I found it. I was going to say, I thought there was a room with like a big guy in it. That was absolutely terrifying. And I have found it. You die. The real question is, can these guys even hurt me? Because I have my God armor on. And it honestly doesn't seem like they can. No, I mean... It kind of hurts. And I probably should retreat and eat something. But this guy's actually fairly easy. Take that. You got sponge for me? You've got sponge for me. And I seen it. There it is. The Elder Guardian head. Okay, but now that that guy's dead, um, let's just go around and see. These guys can't even touch me. Let's go around and see if we can find any more. Let's go see if we can find any more sponge whatsoever. Or better yet, the gold. Where's the gold? There's the gold. Eight pieces of gold. That's not too bad. But I don't know 
Yeah, see, how do I get up and into that room right there? Let's see how long it takes. Well, so far, the first part of our mission, unsuccessful. We didn't even get everybody out of there. You can see them in that room, but I can't find them. Okay, so here is plan B on how we're going to raid these things. Since we can't find out where this guy is, let's just, um... We're doing it the old-fashioned way. I need my armor on. Hang on. Whoop. Hi. Ha! Now, the real question is, do you have any sponge up and around you, sir? It does not appear that you do. But do you have any more friends left? Because I just got hit with the annoyingness of you guys. You do. I can see him. And there he is. Get him. Ah. You. We need you out of here. All of these guys are so annoying. We may have to actually breed an axolotl army. I can't even speak and say the word. Eat it. Okay, we've got the big guy down. Sponge. Head. That's three Elder Guardians. The real question is, is that all of them? Because I have no idea. All I know is I came very close to burning a totem there, and that was terrifying. Okay, well, that is one ocean monument clear of all of the big guys. I mean, we got three of the heads, and I don't see any more tails floating around there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on this one. But before we do that, let's head back. Let's go back to the nether and dry this sponge. And let's see if we can potentially instant sponge. That might be one of the least satisfying sounds. But we have dry sponge. Now what we're going to do is we are actually going to use this sponge to try and clear out and drain out the second monument while we go through it. And you know what else I should do, too? We should make a portal. That was too much of a pain. But we need to set up a portal here. And we need to put it above the nether roof, too. But for now, what we need to do is we need a little bit more milk. Mama cow over here is going to be pretty much dry. And let's see just how much we can drain out of one of these things with just the sponge that we have. Try to get to the top middle. There he is. Do I have elytra? Get my elytra off. Gotcha. Okay, that's one down, but let's just start with his room. Ooh. And he's pretty much bled dry. What do we need for down here, I wonder? Well, not bad. Okay, we've got 40, 53 left. Let's see what we can get done. I mean, so far, we're pretty much killing it. I honestly thought it would take a lot more to get this thing cleared out. But it looks like we really don't need that much. As long as you do them strategically. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I could maybe brute force my way into drowning this place out. But it doesn't look like it. And I just wasted so many sponges. And I'm continuing to waste more. I'm out of sponges. But we actually cleared quite a bit of them. I'm pretty surprised, actually. No, you brat! Well, this is going to be a long way out. Psych! Freedom. Okay, well, since we got that far, let's just kind of, like, hover around here for a second. And let's see if we can find out where one of the big guys is. Let's go in from underneath and see... No, see, this is where we are. Let's go to the other end. I'm at the other end. <gasps> and there he is. I am tired of you. Can you please leave me in peace? Thank you. 
Now the real question is, is that actually the last one? Okay, well, so far I see nobody. I see nobody, but you want to know what else I see is no sponge. I literally see no sponge. I am breaking down every wall. I see gold, though. Okay, well, with what looks like all of the guardians out of here, let's just get all of the sponge. Because it's now officially time for us to start claiming some territory here. And really, the less of these guys, the better. So what I need now is I need some flint and steel. That way we can go to the nether and we can start drying some more sponge a little bit more quickly. Okay, sponge is dry. Let's just go. And let's just see how long it takes for us to clear this area out. Well, not bad. We officially have the upper and and a lower down here. Yeah, how do you feel? How do you feel? Okay, well, it turns out we are going to need a lot of sponges. So here's what we're going to do. We are giving up on draining these things by the sponges. And we're doing it. We're doing it. Word has it. This requires a lot of sand. It requires a lot of sand. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Look at it, it says it, oh, okay. We are here, 1.18. I am so excited for this. I've made a backup of the world. Let's just see what happens. I'm pretty sure I'm all the way out at the double thing and I don't want you guys to see it yet. <gasps> Nobody look! Look at the size of some of these mountains. I hope my farms are okay. I hope all of my farms are perfectly fine. I'm heading back to the main base. Okay, everything's a little uh, slow to load. But it's all here. Everything's here. Even the villagers. Oh, I can't zoom in because of Optifine. Okay, but we are back. We have officially updated to Minecraft 1.18. I can't zoom in. Editing. Everything seems to be here. Everything seems to be fine. Um, the frames absolutely do not. I hate the fact that the totem is so high. Give me a second here. Oh god, what have we done? What was that? My bad, what? Resource packs, installed and good to go. Now I just need to go and get some Optifine because I cannot zoom and I am not editing all of these zooms. Does it load or does it crash? I think it's gonna crash, boys. Ah! What is happening? Okay, first things first, world is loading in lightning fast and I already know it's installed because we have a shader on. Uh, this is a 1.17 shader and it is compatible with 1.18 Minecraft. And look at, ready? I don't have to edit. Oh my goodness, but look at how beautiful this place looks over here. I don't think I've had this shader on over here in a while. Man, I need to upgrade this place. Okay, we gotta get the double ocean monument gone, but first, let's go explore. Um, all that's going to be, we need to go this way. Because all of this has been, actually, I don't know. Okay, I've been flying for a little bit, and you, I, can, I keep finding areas like this. Where there is just random terracotta and red sand on top. And I don't quite understand it. It has got to be one of the strangest things, and I have just found a village underneath the map. What? What? This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. What a thing to stumble across. I might actually... This gives me a great idea to add in something over by the zoo, and I seen him. Did you see him? Get a... I don't have a bow right now, and I don't want to talk about it. I wonder if this pokes through the top... No. There's terracotta in the way. What do you got? Absolutely nothing. Man, but these guys are stacked. Stacked right full of stuff. Oh. <gasps> and what? Is this what I think? Oh my god. Hold up. Okay, I made a tweet. Um, do I have any tor- I have one torch. I can't believe we found a fossil! How deep does it go, I wonder? It's huge. It's a huge one. I don't know why I'm so pumped about this, but I am. This is absolutely amazing. Okay, we are going to come back to this. Um, because I want to see what else is in these caves. It's just more terracotta that goes to the surface. Oh, wait. What's over this way? Uh-oh. Okay, well, other than the threat of constant danger, which, um... 
Okay, but I can help with this. And apparently we don't need to light up so much because of the way torches work now. So that should literally be enough. Okay, but so far we have found a fossil. It's a fossil. An underground village, which I just absolutely am in love with. I am in love with the idea of this. Not only does it have an underground part, it's literally sitting right on a coral reef. And look at the size of this reef. This is amazing. We have a jungle. We have a monument. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys straight up right now. Uh, when we are all done with everything, the zoo, the double monuments, this is gonna be home sweet home. There's even a jungle. We even have a jungle, which means pandas. But yeah, this is definitely gonna be home sweet home. This is where we are going to build a proper, proper mega base. Okay, we need to get back to exploring though. Like right there. That is supposed to be where, look at them everywhere. There are supposed to be, if you see these on the surface, I think these are where you're supposed to find the lush. Is it the lush caves? Are they called the lush caves? So far, nothing. But then again, there's more dirt. <clears throat> what is this? <clears throat> I see lights down there. No lushness yet, though, but we do. <laughs> I lied. Okay, never mind. It's just these stupid things. Okay, well, let's keep going down. I hear water. I am already at Y level 7, which is kind of crazy. We are into... Okay. Wait a minute. This means that minus 2. We are past bedrock. I hear water. Oh, I see water. So the rumors are true. Hold on. A lush cave, everybody. And we've even got an axolotl down here. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. It goes all the way up and around. Look at this place. It goes all the way like up and around. Why can't I collect those? Do I need shears? I probably need shears, but wow, look at how amazing this place is. Okay, so far, 10 out of 10. I wasn't expecting to find all of this. Oh, and I don't even need the data pack anymore. We can actually... Thank you, give it to me. We can actually just have these ourselves. And what are we going down and into here? Um, let's take it slow. That is why. <gasps> Look at this place. Look at this place. Um, Creeper, just back off for a second. Music disc? Nope. This is insane. We've got lava. We've got lushness. I mean, like, this is actually kind of great. Please don't. I just want to survive. Okay, this is this has now turned into a completely different game. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, broken disc. Wow. Look at how deep it goes. We're going for a fly. The area is so big that you can literally... Here's a mine shaft. This just keeps getting more and more insane. I have found the biggest lush cave. And we just have tropical fish falling out of caves from above us. Okay, well, let's go back down into this lush cave since it was so beautiful. And let's go for a fly. What an amazing feeling it is to be able to actually go for a flight underneath the ground. Like, look at all of this insanity. I don't even remember where I came from. This is so ginormous. Like, look at this. Look at this. I am back to where I came from. This is amazing. Okay, this is, pr this is the greatest update, I think. But look at this. Do I even have fireworks left? I do one stack, so I can't do this forever. Okay, but enough of this, because I am going to run out of fireworks. And I only have one totem. But I have not found any diamonds yet. Why have I not found any diamonds yet? Okay, all I can say is the underground flying experience down here is... What is that noise? It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, 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 chill. Stop it. Stop it. 
Okay, well, so far the experience on the Richter scale has been like a, a 30 out of 10. Um, how am I going to get back to the top without killing myself? We made it. Okay. Lush trees in the desert, especially when there's multiple of them around, lead to an amazing experience. Everybody remember that? There's a pillager outpost and a buried... Why is this buried? Is it trying to hide something good? Let's go see. I'm in. What are you trying to hide? Emeralds. Protection four. I'll take it. Frostwalker one. I'll take it. A random golden apple. I will take that as well. Okay, well, so far, mission success. I have no idea where I am, though. See, there's a bunch of that random terracotta again. Okay, but now let's go back and... I know, you guys are dying for me to dig up that... I know. Next video, we'll skip the ocean monument for a little bit. But now let's head back to the main base because there are a bunch of brand new achievements now as well. But I'm pretty sure I have a feeling that that music disc is going to be a hard one because that is a 3% chance. Um, and after reading, it means we're going to have to go from stronghold to stronghold to why is there random pieces of terracotta everywhere? Look, that's like a toilet. That one looks like a toilet down there. I have to glide 2,000 blocks. I have one firework left. We can do it. We didn't do it. And I don't have anything on me. We're running this one out. But we're so close. We almost made it. And as you can see here, we actually have a new achievement. And I'm pretty sure one of them includes that one right there. So we're going to need to find a Meadows and a Jute Box. And we need to get the Star Trader one. Now, the easiest thing to do would be to build a water thing all the way up to build limit. But I think what we'll do is we'll take these guys up with a flying machine because that seems to be the less of the headache kind of maneuver. Now, what we need to do is we need to find one of my beacon holes. Okay, there's one. Yep, here's one right there. We got two in a row. Let's go and tear this one down and then let's dig down, go all the way down to the bottom of the world and get this achievement. Oh, we have stumbled into a lush cave right below the beacons. Literally right below the beacon. Okay, well, since death is clearly more obvious, let's go two by two. Now, does it have to be like bottom of the world bedrock? Because I really don't want to have to redig that hole all the way down. Well, there is only one way to find out. I just made a bucket. Where's the hole? Okay, to the lush cave. Oh, and there is bedrock. Now, like I said, I wonder. If this is even possible. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're all the way down. We did it. There's the caves and cliffs advancement. I am drowning. Okay, well that one, that one was easy enough. I can't fly without Elytra, dummy. Okay, next up we need to go and get some redstone. So I need two observers. No, I need, um, whatever. I need a bunch of sticky pistons and a bunch of observers. This version of Minecraft with Optifine is running at over 500 frames per second at times. Okay, I gotta keep my back turned. I don't want you guys to see it. Okay, there is the hub. Look at the gold farm. All right, now we need two villagers. And a flying machine. And a boat. Oh, I didn't make that one, you guys. Boat. Okay, slime block. Sticky piston. Slime block. Sticky piston? No, hold on. Because I got to get them on top of it. Slime block. Sticky slime block sticky observer that's where his face is right yep and now i need something for them to sit on that'll do boat no nope. boat okay these guys can just go and now we need to get this guy nope you're not going the right way i already have paper on me Yes, yes. In the boat. Okay, and now we need two. Um, 
You're doing paper as well. Let's do you. Yes. Go, 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 go. Turn. I'll save you. He's in there. Close the gate. Okay, we have paper. We have two villagers. I'm stuck to the ground. I also forgot the top observer, but we are set. Up we go! Oh, I am so glad I didn't hit the outside of the roof there. Okay, let's just see how long this takes us to get to the top, because the new top is like 320. I have so much terraforming to do around this place, and I just keep throwing myself into these massive, massive projects that takes me away from this area. I need to stop. Oh my goodness, how much higher are we gonna go? Hey, boys. We're there. Okay, I'm at 320. Star Trader! That's right, your boy. Okay, these two are definitely... Here, let's trade with this guy as well. There we go. These guys are staying up here. They're staying up there. Woo! Look at how close I came. Okay, ground is filled in. We have villagers escaping by the dozens, which we do not want. I don't even know how this is happening. But that's okay, because they are all getting into a villager trading hall anyways, very, very soon. Um, what's left? What is left? Oh yeah, we need to go find the music disc. Okay, I need to find some structures. Um, sorry. Strongholds. Okay, now the first stronghold is supposed to be somewhere around here. I am so far out. 2,700 blocks. Probably not a good idea to dig straight down anymore since these caves are so extreme. Okay, nothing yet. I'm starting to not believe these chunk finder things. <gasps> I see something. Oh my god, it's a... I see a spawner. And already they're just... Go away! That's fine. Disabled. Name tag. Golden apple. Why do I have so much stuff in my inventory right now? But no disc yet. Okay, let's not get distracted. <gasps> I am not distracted. We are here. Okay, just as I was not having any faith in the chunk finders, we have found ourselves a stronghold. Let's go take a quick look around and see if we can find any chests. Okay, no chests yet. That's where I came from. <gasps> Here's one. And the portal. We found another end portal. Get out of here. Amazing. I didn't bring any eyes with me, but I don't even need it anyway. <gasps> Diamonds. No disc, though. Um, Maybe this way? Want to know what's sad? Is it that it took, like, literally... It took, like, three minutes to find that end portal. And when you're looking for it, it takes, like, 12 hours. Another chest. Apples? Okay, so far, nothing here. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> no disc. Okay, I can't find any other one, so let's get out of here and try to find or locate the next stronghold. Okay, to the next stronghold. Okay, now this next one is supposed to be... Yeah, it's supposed to be around here somewhere. Let's just see if we can find it, maybe by going through one of these here. Doesn't look like it. Actually, this all looks just so terrifying. What was that? Nothing. Doesn't look like anything. I might have to go back to the surface and try to dig straight down. Because I am pretty much at bedrock and I do not see it. I have found a massive open area. Oh, 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 oh. And it has brought us to what looks like a fortress. I actually highly doubt that there's even going to be anything in here. <gasps> Nothing. It is all so dark. <gasps> Nothing. Wait! There it is! There it is! Okay. We have found it. I was not expecting that, but we have found it. Now all I need to do is I get, I gotta be able to, I gotta learn how to walk up the stairs, for one. I gotta get back to the surface. Actually, why do I have to get back to the surface? No, wait. We need to find a meadow. I'm 
corkscrewing my way back to the top. I don't even care. Oh, I see sand. I see daylight. Where's a meadow? Isn't like the meadow the middle part of a mountain? Yeah. <laughs> I see a mountain. Am I going to run into a giant ice patch? I think so. What is this? Oh, come on, this should be a meadow. It's technically in between two mountains. Whatever, that's what you get. Get out of here. I've got a better idea. Never mind, I ain't stopping it now. See you on the next episode. Love you guys. Peace. Okay, now for this one, we are going to need... I'm going to need so many leaves. I have to chop down so many leaves. So I need some empty shulker boxes. What do we do have down here? Nothing. No, I got all of my bone meal boxes down here. Okay, yeah, we have some empty shulker boxes. There's my blaze rods. I am a complete disaster right now. I have to go around and collect all of my shulker boxes and put them in one spot. We are on 1367. Can you believe this? I know. Halfway through 1400 days and I had to stop a mega project. But for this next project, I need so many leaves. Okay, but I got my shulker boxes. Okay, and with all that sorted out, now what we need to do is we need to make a whole bunch of hose. I need to get a little bit more. I may need to get a whole bunch of grass. What is that? Because I've got to finish filling all of this stuff in. And then we are going to build a giant gardens right here. We're going to start the terraforming around this place because, yeah, I am nowhere near complete any of this. Just give me some hose, please. Hey. All right, hose have been acquired. Now we need to go and find some leaves. I need the bright leaves, too. Like birch leaves or oak leaves. Which ones are brighter? Oh, birch are disgusting, actually. We don't want birch. They look like the food my ex-girlfriend used to make. We're going for oak. Never mind, we're going for dark oak. Yeah, we're doing dark oak. This stuff looks fresh and delicious, like a fresh salad. Why do I still have Elder Guardian heads on me? This is... I just want to finish the ocean monument. Wait, I forgot the most important thing on my hose. Silk touch. Whoop. Bop. I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. Woo, look at that. All of it just keeps falling to the ground. Might as well do this from ground level. Okay, my inventory is full. Ugh. And I don't know how many hoes we have gone through. But this is satisfying. Except for when the hoe breaks. It's like when you're pulling on a rope and then all of a sudden it snaps and you get that jerk. Okay, I almost have a full shulker box. I'm not gonna lie, I don't need six shulker boxes full of leaves. I don't know why I brought those all. That was a weird flex. Last hoe left. This is an expensive pile of leaves. Oh! Okay, making sure I'm not ma Oh! Oh, wait, oh, I'm up here now. Okay, I don't think I'm missing any birch leaves, please. That should honestly do. Okay, but now let's collect and let's go back and let's start to map out this area for this big old beautiful gardens that we're going to make. I think we're going to have to maybe fill in some of this water right here. Yeah, we're going to have to fill in some of that water. Probably burn down a lot of these trees too. Oh, and while I'm here... Maybe we should add in... Let's take the Elder Guardian's heads and let's put them right, like... There. Much better. And now what we need to do is we need to go and collect some more... I need some more lushness, so that means we're going back down into the lush caves. I'm bringing a whole bunch of shears with me. Now, where was that hole where I did that challenge? I need to find it. Pretty sure it was like right here. Okay, here's where the beacon is. Where's the lushness? Here it is. Okay, and let's see. Hmm? 
I don't understand. So wait, do I not even need... Do I not even need all these shears? Do I just gotta collect the berries? Is that it? Really? Well, okay then. I'll take some of you. And some more of you. Boop, bop, bing. Well, that should be easy enough because now I can at least grow some more. Okay, let's go hunting for a little bit of diamonds. Never mind, because here they are right there. Really? Just one though? Ooh, what's through here? Nothing. Okay. I am looking for some more diamonds. Or better yet, if you have it, sir, that really rare coal block. Ow! I got stuck on something. I don't even know what it was. Okay, well, since I can't really grab anything else, I might as well just grab a little bit more of these little mini ones. I think get out of here. What is going on? Okay, well, that was a little bit of a silly waste of time going down there. But for now, I need a whole bunch of dirt. Not a whole bunch, probably just a couple of stacks of dirt, but... And now I've got to go and start to fill in all of this. This is no problem, though. Why am I holding glow berries instead of my totem? What is going on? Wait, I only got halfway done and I'm out of dirt? This is not good. We gotta go collect some dirt. First, though, I, uh... We're gonna have to make a trip to the gold farm. I should probably set up some sort of furnace XP farm in my world in order to mend my tools. Swing! Oh, I didn't turn it on. There we go. Can you believe that we have gone from 400 levels all the way down to 11 just by making some armor? Okay, in the gold farm, uh, the gold farm seems a lot slower in 1.18. I don't know what that has to do with, like, the build heights and all of this. Because this is atrociously slow. Like, insanely slow. I used to be able to swipe like this and there would be a constant flow. But I'm running out. Yeah, this thing is insanely slow. What has 1.18 done to the farms? Whatever. Dig Dig's been mended. Let's go. Let's go dig up some dirt. Might as well do it from right here, too, because all of this land is going to get flattened or terraformed. So I'm starting right here. No, stop it. The creeper's hiss seems to be a lot quieter in 1.18 as well. Dirt has been acquired. Those are a couple of clean headshots by that skeleton. And here, let's go. 70% done. And we're still almost running out of dirt again. I'm starting to believe I might need multiple shulker boxes of leaves for this project I have going. We're going to see. Okay, and that is the pond all filled in and ready. I might have to do a little bit more over there. I only have 60 dirt left. Well, let me just see. Nope, we're gonna have to fill in a whole bunch of that too as well. More dirt! Now we just gotta get rid of all of this sand to make it look uniform. Okay, there's one half all filled in as the sun sets. Amazing. Now we just need to fill in all of our creeper holes here. Okay, that's number three. Three down. <laughs> that's number four and now I just need all of the rest of the dirt to fill in that patch right there no <gasps> a spider's head okay well let's mow this down a little bit and we'll use all of us uh oh yeah I can't hit anything why is there two of you Okay, I'm going to fill all of this in right now. Got to be careful that I don't accidentally look at that Enderman over there. I accidentally looked at him. We're just going to stay looking at him. Mm -hmm. No, why did you do that? Oh, you think you're slick? You're not slick. Where's my bed? Don't even bother coming up now. 
I got it, son. We're so close. This is taking forever. Only a few more blocks left, and then finally... And we're done. We're done. Look at this. Look at this. I finally have... Why can't I fly? I'm flying now. I finally have a massive... No, I have to fill in all my holes from the sugar cane. I missed it. Holy... <laughs> it's time for me to start putting on my painter's hat, because look at the canvas. Just call me Chap Castle. Shut up. No. Whoever, shut your mouth. No. Okay, we have the gardens all set and ready. Pretty much. We have a little bit of the layout done anyways. Um, I just need to make some statues for in between here. Hopefully, I made the areas big enough because if you guys remember, do you guys remember when I burnt down the Woodland Mansion? That's right. We have all four of the nice wool statues that we can actually put down in here. Um, the only problem is, is like I said, I don't know if I even made, like the cat is huge. I think the cat might need this size of an area just for its rear end. But this, we need to make this a little bit more lush. And then I need to go and find my, my deep slate shulker box. So that way I could start to build some stairs. So I need to start to wall all of this up. But for now, I have one thing I need to do. I need to get some water. Oh yeah, and look at, look at, look at, look at. I got a zombie weaponsmith head. He tried to attack me in the night, so I beheaded him. That's right. Respect my authority. Okay, one bucket, two bucket. And the other thing that we're gonna need, I mean, you can see my shovel is almost dead from having to put down all of those path blocks. Even that looks so small. Oh my gosh, I thought this thing was massive. Look at how small that looks compared to everything else. Don't worry, we are gonna be doing some more out this way and out the other way too as well. But for now, I need one thing. Where's my silk touch? We're finally gonna do it. Ooh, I already got one. Never mind. <laughs> I just need some levels. But I don't want to have to fly all the way. Please, boys, just go to work. Please, I don't want to fly all the way over to the end. Or even the nether. I know it's right there. Just please go to work. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, we made it to level. Finally. Silk touch. Now what I want to do is I want to collect a whole bunch of this. The clay. This is such a nice looking block. No. Please go away. There's so much death lurking. Oh, did you see that? Okay, now what I'm going to do, because this is such a beautiful block. I don't know, should I line the whole thing? Okay, we are going to do this. Right there. Now I need, where did I put all my leaves? Now I'm going to run a row of bushes over top. Just right here in the middle, and then let's go get, let's put some stuff away. Got our buckets. Let's just grab some water. Let's even do it from right here. Where? Oh my god! Okay, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. I was about to say where, and then he was literally just right there. And now we just fill. I don't know why I needed 700 buckets of water. Look at this guy. Boing. Whoa. Okay, the fact that that was open on the bottom was messing with me so bad. Oh, I hate water. Nice. Oh, let's look at that. that was, let's be, be. Oh, I love it how that is loading. I, I love it. Okay, looking good. I'm, I was like trying to think of what I'm missing and what's missing in this. I'm missing my bushy leaves texture pack. We'll worry about that in a little bit. Because now I got to do this side over here. And there, now we have two of the pools done. 
Now I'm just gonna take some of my remaining leaves and I'm just gonna frame this out right to about uh, there. Okay, those two corners are framed out for what we're going to build on the next two sides. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to go around and I need to start to build. What do we need? Okay, so let's maybe do, hmm. Well, for one, I need to spend some more time at the gold farm. And uh, yeah, refill my gold beacon. I promise you the diamond one's not like that. She's thick. She's thick all the way through, boys. But now it's time for us to make this look a little bit more lush. Uh, let's go see. Where's our little statues? I've been using up a quite a bit of the wool, but whatever. And this tree is in a terrible spot, so it's got to go. And what do I have here for... Let's see. These are all the things that are from the Woodland Mansion. But there's only three. It's going to be kind of cheese to put three when I have four sections here. But you know what there is four of? There's four beacons. Let's make, let's do this. Look at how many diamonds are here. This is insane. It just keeps going. It just, it, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. Okay, that's all of them. Look at how much diamonds that is. Oh dear god, I'm gonna take all those down when I have haste. Okay, now I need ten spots. One, two, one, 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 two, three, four, five. Okay, it looks like all this is getting backed up. And there's four beacons. Do we do six? What do you guys think? Do you think, oh my god, already? Really? Don't even come over here. Okay, give me a little bit of speed. Give me some resistance and some regen. Strength and regen. Okay, now to do the same thing to this one. Maybe we're gonna have it. I highly doubt it. We might have to take a trip to the gold farm. Hmm. Okay, actually, we're pretty close. I'm not cheesing it. We're going to the gold farm. Okay, and that's probably... That's probably gonna be enough. Stop it, get your dirty toes off my- With 22 to spare, turn it to daytime. Okay, now we'll grab some emeralds. I still have to finish the wool on the back of the gold one, but don't worry. And this is where the emerald one's gonna go. Bingo. And now we're just missing one beacon. One beacon. We can get it though. Okay, this is what we're doing for now. Okay, shut up. Okay, beacons are in place. Ooh, it's starting to look nice and colorful around here. Look at that view. Look at that view. Okay, now I just have to go around and I have to finish collecting, <laughs> connecting all of these paths. So close. <laughs> oh, I forgot this path. What are we at? 37. Okay, all of the front section so far, so this is going to be the entrance, is good to go. Now what I need to do is I need to make one more, how much fireworks? I am running dangerously low on fireworks without having to make, I, I'm like out of sugarcane and everything too. Now let's take what's left, this is all, this is all the deep slate that we have left. Hopefully it's enough for what I have planned. And now starting from right about, and from somewhere, I don't know, look what I've started already. From somewhere here, we are going to take a turn. Okay, and other than having to, like I said, change every single wall out to deep slate, that's where we're going to start, and let's start to kind of wrap this around and make this look kind of, uh, this is so, this is, this is much needed right here. One durability left. Okay, looking good. Now we just do the other side. <laughs> Okay, that looks a lot more fancy and neat and clean. Okay, now I need a whole bunch of spruce fences if I have them. Where are they? Nope. Nope. No spruce. Okay, spruce fences. And now let's put something together here that I think will make this place look a little bit more lush and beautiful. 
And now, how do these glowberries work? Hmm? Can I just hang them from anything? Oh. Really? I don't know if I made that thing tall enough now. Meh, looks good enough. Hmm. And look at we've already got some berries growing on them. That's kind of cool. I'm not even done the vineyard yet. Okay, we grabbed some glowberry decor to kind of line this place up here. Now we're gonna add in a little bit of glowberry decor, just kind of sitting around here. We're gonna need a little bit of bone meal. Hmm. Here they are. A little bit of azalea to make this place look a little more colorful. Okay, now we'll buy some lanterns from these guys. And wait a minute. I don't even have to light this place up. The glowberries will do it on its own. That is actually fantastic. That is fantastic. Okay, and other than needing some things from the Guardian Farm in order to light this place up and make it look a little bit more colorful. There we go. Our entrance is finally done. Um, I gotta put a farm over here, so. But there it is. This is how this place looks at nighttime right now. It is absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to blend this into the next two things that I have planned here, too. You guys are gonna love it. Are you guys ready for this, though? Look at this place at nighttime with the shader on. I need to do so much more lighting up in here. We have a nice flat entrance all the way in to the Mega Zoo now. That's right. All the way in. I need to just add in one farm on this side. Maybe a little bit more into the water here. But yes. I know I haven't tore it down yet. You guys said not to tear it down. I'm not going to tear it down. We'll leave it there. Okay, but with the vineyard done and everything looking nice and pretty. I mean, shaders are off now. Here's what we're going to set up right here in order to have a little bit of fun with this place and start to actually make it look. Whoa. Does this look like a lily pad? Does that look like a lily pad? Okay, and there's our Kermit the Frog, all encased in kryptonite, just sitting there having a good old time. Now, on this side, I don't know what to do. Um, uh, maybe we should do... I wish you could cut these down into stairs. And then for this side, let's set something up silly and fun like we did on the other side over there. <laughs> and there we go. Blech. I'm not gonna lie, though. That is completely tacky and looks like absolute poop. Much better. It's like the axolotl's frozen in kryptonite now, too. There, he's on a lily pad. That was... Why did that take a whole Minecraft day to do? Okay, looking really, really fancy around here. Now the only thing left to do is put that farm in there, and then I have something fancy going right here and right there. Now I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna grab some bone meal, because I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's grab some azalea bushes and let's count one, two, right there. <gasps> Beautiful. Ten gap azalea. And there we go. We've done a little bit of touch-ups on the outside in order to make it look a little more... Oh, I already like that a lot. Shader time. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. I can't see. Oh, gosh. It is looking absolutely beautiful in there. Beautiful. Okay, but there we go. The lush garden is officially done and looking absolutely fantastic. Look at what day it is. I am going to spend the next five days just touching this place up a little bit and making it look absolutely more beautiful. Fifteen hundred days. This adventure began back when I found a double ocean monument side by side. And ever since then, I committed to draining them, and it has been well over a month since my last legitimate, I mean legitimate hardcore Minecraft video. I, I even stopped to build a lush garden just to try and give you guys some filler episodes in between. This was taking so long. 
But we are back. And on this episode, I finally begin draining the ocean monument, survive 1,500 days, and almost die in the process. <laughs> Aye. Okay, first things first. We need to outline a couple of ocean monuments. That means we need some sand. Desert. I have 26 left durability on Freedom 2, and look at the shovel. Gold farm. Okay, there we go. Everything is repaired. And I can already tell you this is going to be super, super annoying. Super annoying. Please go away. One, two. Okay, that's one, two. I'm dead. And that is 56 right there. Okay, and just like that, we have three sides now with 56 on it. Um... Man, these guys are so annoying. Go away. Now to just repeat that on this side. What is that? One, two, three, four. You guys are all so annoying. Please stop. This is going to be a nightmare. Okay, but we've got one done. You know what? Good enough, we can work with that, and we can build a circle around that too as well. So now I'm just gonna grow and grab a whole bunch of dirt right here. Okay, we've got some dirt. Um, wish me luck on trying to get these two. I need two half circles. Uh, I need to concentrate. I need, I need to 110% concentrate. Okay, circles, math, not my strong suit. So I need to concentrate. Everybody, wish me luck. Okay, you guys just seen you guys just seen how long it took me to get that done. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be a nightmare. This is gonna be a nightmare. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Nobody say a word. Nobody say a word. I will adjust it. I will adjust it so that it looks a little more family friendly. I don't want to hear it. This is all going to be emptied out right here too. So you guys can all just chill out family friendly content. Okay, but now, now I have the fun task of oh, everybody. This thing is going to be gigantic. I'm going to be here for hours. I may have said this is coming out on whatever day. It'll definitely be the next day. Okay, but time for me to find a new time-lapse music. And, uh, yeah. We gotta go around. Oh, you know what? I just had an epiphany. Minus 823. Look at how close that brings us to the Wither Skeleton Farm. Bingo! Okay, we never have to go for that long, long journey again. Don't run out of sand now, please. I'm not even checking the inventory. Almost there. So close. Hours of my life. And we're done. Not really, but we definitely do 110%. Oh my gosh. That is going to be so much water to take out of here. And I mean so much. How much sand? We have two stacks of sand left. After literally six trips to the desert to go and grab sand. Okay, now the only thing that I am going to need, I know for sure, milk. 
And the reason why I say that is because we are going to go and grab as many. <laughs> Look at how big it is. Mama, are you dry yet? I don't even know if this is Mama. Because her child has grown up into a full-grown adult cow by now. Let's go find some more sponge. We're in. Leave me alone. Hello there. I see a big guy. I see a roof. I see some sponge, but I didn't bring a hoe with me. Ah! On to the next one. I think it's this way. Yes, there it is. I see sponge. Can you move out of the hole, please? What do I have? I have one milk left. We gotta try and get this with one milk. No! Cows! Okay, now the real question is, how much can I actually get done with just a couple of stacks? That or putting them in furnace. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But let's just see what one sponge is gonna do. Bruh. Nothing! Okay, we have our moss. Let's just make it daytime. And I'm just gonna try something here because I really, I honestly do not wanna have to do that thing where, I don't wanna have to do that thing where I make all of these columns. I don't wanna do that. Okay, well, that way is not gonna work because that is just gonna take way too long. Um, okay, whatever, we'll commit to it. I'll go get the freaking sand. Never mind, I got a gravel mountain right here, literally. There's me. Here's the gravel mountain. I'm so sad I did not see this before. Okay, gravel. Gravel is mine. My goodness, we're gonna have to go back to the gold farm another like nine times. This is ridiculous. And I almost guarantee I'm gonna clear this whole mountaintop off too. But now it is time. <laughs> Say goodbye to another, uh, uh, I don't even know, 10, 12, 13, maybe 14 hours. I don't know, but it is gonna be Okay, that was a nightmare. Let's see. Thirty left and the hole is barely even touched. Well, that is two stacks of sponge. Nearly two stacks of sponge. And we didn't even clear the whole thing. Oh and that took like 20 minutes. That took like 20 minutes. Um, 20, 40, 60. So this is an hour. This is two hours. Each of these is going to be like 10 hours plus to drain. Um... Okay, and we have, I know it's been, it's been so long, we've got the Patrick totem, but look at, 
We've done it. We've drained it. It has taken me nearly a hundred days to drain this. Yes, we stopped to explore and we stopped to build a lush garden, but still absolutely ridiculous. And I am literally out of fireworks. I am out of golden bamboo. I am out of everything. The only thing I'm not out of is a giant hole. I'm not out of a giant hole. I have a giant. Oh, is that a slime? We can build a slime farm in here. Yep, we could definitely build a slime farm somewhere down here. Okay, well, I don't want to deal with these guys right now because there's one thing that I want to try and do before I drain that other side, okay? I, I am planning on draining the other side, but I watched all of Trailer Park. I watched the entire series of the Trailer Park Boys while doing just this, like, center core part here. It was insane. Okay, but I have something that I need to do. I need to, for one, I need to get some fireworks. I need to get some... All my chests, literally almost every chest is full of gravel. Like every chest. We've used 160, we've used almost 170,000 worth of sand. Oh my goodness. And 20 grand worth of sand. Okay, I need fireworks. And then we need to try something here. Is this going to work? Really? And I know. I was gone a while, Nilly. Enjoy that. Go to work, boys. Whoa. Finally, we can get rid of this. I've been eating bread so long. I am no longer a peasant. Okay, now we gotta go. Oh gosh, that was the worst throw. Now we need some gunpowder. Just give me some gunpowder, please. Four stacks will do. Okay, let's re-up on some fireworks here. Uh, we need to go up. Beautiful. Okay, and with those two things all back to normal, now what we are going to need is we need a whole bunch of obsidian, which I don't even know, honestly, if I even have obsidian at this point. It doesn't look like I have any obsidian. This entire section here is all nether stuff. You know what is in here, though? Look it. Look it, 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 look it. Ta-da! I don't know, are these rare? I have no idea. I feel like I haven't played the game in like a month. Doesn't matter, I don't have any obsidian. Mm, no, I'm not gonna steal it from there. Okay, well, let's see what we got here at the gold farm. 19. I need to set up an obsidian farm. This is... Okay, I grabbed some extra. We've got three stacks and a bit of obsidian. That should be way more than enough to build this guardian farm. Now let's... Oh, hello, trident farm. Okay, now what we need to grab is we need to go down and we need some soul soil. The one with the face. Did I say soil? I meant sand. I meant the sand. I meant the sand. And I think eight stacks is going to be... I think that's going to be plenty. So now let's head back, and I can't believe it, finally. It's been so long, and we're actually going to have a guardian farm. I actually don't think I've ever built... I don't think I've laid a single prismarine block in this world, actually. Fear the night. Okay, another than needing a few more items. Oh, 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 oh look at oh glass. We got my... Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I need a place to put all the sponge. But everything is so full of gravel and sand. There. Now what we need to do is we need to go down here. I know it is probably extremely difficult for you guys to see right now. I'm so sorry. Okay, now I just need to grab my conduit. And there! Everybody should be able to see just fine now. Now what we're gonna do is I need to take some of my soul sand that we have here and we need to try and turn the front of this farm into a little bit of a bubble elevator. So we are going to run... This is the stuff that goes up, right? Yes, it is. And I'm gonna run a bubble elevator like that all the way to the surface. Look at how beautiful that is. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip a row and I'm gonna do the same thing. Ow! Like that. And I am going to run two... Um, no, I'm going to run four of those. Oh, dolphin, settle down. Settle down, dolphin. Dolphin. 
Dolphin. Dolphin. Dolphin. I'm going down, boys. I'm going down. This is difficult. Yo. Dolphin. Dolphin, no. I've just tried to... Oh, gosh. Where's this dolphin? Okay, there's my four bubble columns. Now I am going to take one. And I'm going to leave a two block gap. We're going to see. Woohoo. <laughs> we might have to turn particles off. We're down to 40 frames. Okay, not bad. I'm actually going to do that on the opposite row too as well. Oh, please stop. But on this one, two block gap? Yeah. Okay, me likey. I like that a lot. And now let's do something similar, but on this row. So where does that one end up? Oh gosh. Hopefully that'll be enough to capture everybody. If not, I've got enough in order to do more. Can you just bugger off? And now what I'm going to do is let's take a little bit of glass. Fear of the night. Okay, now let's take some glass. I think I have some left. And actually, let's just cook some more. And now we're going to use that glass in order to build like a little container along the backside. So let's not remove this kelp. Let's use this kelp. And let's build some sort of glass wall around the outside of our little bubble column here and see what we can make out of this. <laughs> One more and I was losing. I was going to lose. Them. Okay, bubble wall is complete. I'm going to make a one higher on the backside, actually. <laughs> okay, it looks like it's working. It looks like it's working. <laughs> but I might need to make like some invisibility potions or something because this is getting a little chaotic. And now what I think I'm going to do though is I am going to run a row of water. This is going to be hard to do too. This is going to be a pain in the butt to do. Along the backside here. Oh, <laughs> did you see him just uh, spring up? Yeah, this is going to be a little tough. So here is what we're going to do. Um, I shouldn't use those. Hold on. I should have done the soul sand afterwards. Okay, now's my chance. I need to run a row like that across the entire thing. Why would I use soul sand here? I have no idea. Okay, we have it under control now. But we need to... Just run a nice platform like this across the entire backside or the bottom side, I should say, here. One level above the bubbles. And I'm only doing this because these guys are a little bit chaotic. And the bubbles are a little chaotic too as well. But this is so that I can do this. I need to run a row of water all across this backside. That might have been the most annoying thing ever, but the floor... The floor is in, but we are going to have to remove it. I should have done the soul sand last. Okay, now we need to break this portal up into like, I don't know, three different pieces here. Looks pretty equal to me. Okay, portals are a check. Now I'm going to go along and I am going to finish all of my water streams here. All my water streams are to check, and now I need to take the coordinates. Let's just take the coordinates of the center pillar right here. And we need to divide that. We need to go to the nether, and we need to divide that by eight. And the new portal is going to be right here, but it is going to be... Maybe that high in the sky. I don't know if it should be that high. We're going to do it that high anyway. So it is going to be right here, but what... Direction. I gotta see which direction I gotta face it. And everybody's gonna come through this portal facing the south. So I need one portal here with just a short runway. There, we want it to be like that. And this should bring us, hopefully, 
That's right. Pretty much dead center on the portal here. Okay, we need a little bit more glass. And now we need to remove this portal down here. And we're now gonna have to set up a different portal in order to come back and forwards because the portal... Yeah, this is gonna be used for the farm. And actually, I'm only going to make this too wide. So like that, right there. Now what I need is I need to grab... Okay, I have one cobweb. Do I have another? No. Okay, I need one more. But now what I need to do is I need to set up a portal for me. Like way up there. Way, way up. Now I've done some math here. <laughs> and the math says that I need to be... Right about here. And exactly this high up. Oh boy, I've already screwed up. I don't want to die. So this right here, these two blocks, these are my standing spots. Okay, we're going to decorate this afterwards once I get a little bit more of the good blocks. But now what I'm going to do is I need to go... I don't even know. I'm just going to say 28. And this is where we need a portal with a back wall on it. And now we need to build a chute down to where we are going to be standing 28 blocks below it. Okay, we are pretty much set and ready. I know it is so, it is so ugly. But I need the Prismarine in order to build with the Prismarine, so you live with it for now. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is not a dolphin's head. This is not a dolphin's head at all. Okay, a couple of honey blocks there. Um, I do need cobwebs, but you know what? I think we can live without them. Okay, but so far, that is it. That is all I am doing for this farm. <laughs> and I expect this thing to be pretty insane. Now I need to go and find myself. I need a mine shaft. I need a mine shaft. Where's a mine shaft? I see lights. Is there a mine shaft down here? <gasps> there is a mine shaft down here. And we've got some dripstone too. Interesting. But this is what we need. Do I need silk touch? No, I don't even need, okay. I need a whole bunch of these. Oh, it's so dark down here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Remember these guys? I don't like you guys, but I do need your spider eyes, so I'll take them. How far down is that spawner? Get. Okay, well, it looks like I found all, literally all of the cobwebs that I am ever going to need, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to raid this place. Where's all the mine cards, though? It's literally, like, no mine cards. Hmm. Not the good diamonds, though. I wanted these type of diamonds. Okay, well, I have one torch left, so I am out of here. Because I have more than enough cobwebs for what I need. Oh, which way is my way out? Okay, so underneath here, what I need is I need to land this. Is I need three cobwebs like that. Oh, hang on, hang on. We're doing that. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, and three at the bottom right here. Now let's go over and what do we got left? Okay, um... I gotta light this portal. Delete this portal down here. Grab my hoe and then let's just go and start to see. I... <laughs> Almost killed. Almost killed. Hopefully I don't have to place down any water, but I might have to place down some water. We're going to see. No, I'm floating on top here. It looks like it's working. Now what we need to do is we need just need blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to wait. <laughs> oh my God. 
It's working. Okay, there's just a lot of stuff coming through there. Well, it is definitely working um, better than I expected it to. That's for sure. Okay, I have extended the platform this much in order to see if this is going to work a little bit better. They were literally coming through in like the thousands. It was insane. Okay, but I'm not a gas. I'm, I'm not a glass. I don't want them to escape. So we're doing that. Let's just see if it works a little bit better. Okay, there's one. There's like three. There's a whole bunch. Okay, extending the platform may have done it. Uh, the only thing is, is I need some splash potions because I am not... I'm not doing that. Idiot. Oh, and I've already ruined everything. Okay, this is ins Okay. But this is insane. They're not even spawning down there anymore. I have so many here. Um... Okay, I need some mushrooms, some sugar, and some nether wart. Alright, for one, I know there's lots of sugar. Oh, a beacon. We should set up a beacon over there. Give me the sugar. Give me some spider eyes. Gunpowder. And some mushrooms. Okay, and with all of those mushrooms, I should be able to make... Yes. A stack of fermented spider eyes. Now we just need a little bit of nether wart. I'm gonna have to replant some of this. And we are ready. We should be able to make a whole bunch now. So we've got the spider eyes, the fermented spider eyes, and the nether wart. We've got all the water bottles over there that we need. We are officially set. I just need to grab a little bit more fireworks. Is that another slime? We How many slime chugs are down there? I'm gonna have to look that up. It looks like we've got like three or four slime chugs down there. Okay, we got a couple pieces of soul sand. All the stuff we need in order to make the potions. Let's throw three in here with a single nether wart. Now I just need, I think it's glowstone dust. And there's our damage twos. Now we just need to add some gunpowder. And we're going to have some splash potions. And we can do that again one more time. Okay, let's just see. I'm going to back up here. Yeet! I was expecting more to die. What's going on here? Oh, that's better. Not bad. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. I threw it at the... Okay, well, not bad. I think I need to add in a little bit more room for some... For some extra ones there so they don't take so much cramming damage and die. But with that all done, do I have my iron? I have some iron. I was going to say let's set up a beacon, but let's just do that in a little bit. So now what we need to do is we need to set up the chest for all of this stuff. But you can see, we are spitting those items out into some cobwebs. Now what we need to do is we need to go down and we need to set up the item sorter for down here. Because this is where all of the items are going to come in. And you can see, because we are dropping them straight down from cobweb to cobweb. Yeah, we're pretty much never going to lose an item. So now what I need to do is I need to just run three hoppers that go straight down. So we're going to have the items fall right down into that section right there. That way we can kind of seclude it and make it look pretty from the outside. Oh, I missed my... So it'll be like that. Now we just need to go and make sure that all of this... Well, we're in here together, are we? Okay, chests are in place. We've got our hopper layout done too as well. Now we just need to do... A little bit of redstone. Why am I using iron? Okay, that is all set up and ready to go. A small little work area to work from. The backside's all closed off. We have access to all of these chests. The only thing I need now is more wood in order to make some hoppers. Hello, Steve. Okay, hoppers are in check. Everything is in place back here. And other than the fact that this thing is ridiculously expensive when you do try to use splash potions and it's painful to use. I mean, oh, ow, it's not that bad. So I'm just going to make a few more potions here and then we're going to head back. We are going to grab ourselves. What is it? We need a little bit more iron. Hey, that way we can build a beacon because I'm sure it's not bad once everything does 
I once there's regen involved. Look at that thing though. Okay, but well, let's see. Oh, that's the way to do it. Nice. That shuts him up real quick. Okay, it's working flawless. Now let's just go down and make sure that all of our items are actually landing in the thing where they need to be. Okay, nice. Items are falling and they're landing right in where they need to. Real question is, are they ending up down here in the chest? Oh my goodness, yes they are. More lanterns. Need more prismarine walls. I just made, I don't think I've ever made prismarine walls. But there we go. Okay, we are going, oh, I don't want that there. I want it here. This is where the items fall in. Right to there. Not bad. I just need to go and set myself up a beacon so that I can stand here comfortably and just farm. Because this thing actually, this thing is raining in so many that... I, I don't know what's better, this or the Enderman XP farm. Look at that. This one's just a little expensive if you want to use potions, but I mean, whoo, that is so satisfying. What have I done? What have I done? Get out of here! Ow! Ah! Why? What have I done? Ooh, I like that setup a little better. Look at that right in there. Okay, there's some iron. Get out of there. Get out of there. I need more room. Okay, that right there is enough for a beacon. Now we just need to grab a beacon itself. I'm pretty sure I got some left, right? We've used so many beacons. I had a hundred. I had more than a hundred. I have seven. I have seven beacons left from a hundred. I probably should stop using them as just light decorations. Okay, I have to go get four more beacons. Three more beacons. There's no way that beacon just sits so perfectly in there and uh, we are not going to put two more in there. There's no way. Okay, first beacon's in place. We're going to get a little bit of resistance too. Oh, it helps if I put my iron in there. This one will give us some strength. And we'll do some haste too, just for the, just for the whatevers. Okay, beacon is in set. We've got all of our lights. And now the real question. Can I die just sitting here chopping these guys? It looks like I could if I go a little too crazy on it. But I'm not going to go a little too crazy on it, so... But not bad. Farm seems to be working like a charm. Now it is time for me to decorate, because look at all... How do you make dark prismarine? Ew, really? Whatever, because look it! We can finally, finally start decorating with some prismarine. <laughs> Look at this. Look it. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a that's an auto brewer right there. It is just brewing potions for me. 
and is just brewing non-stop potions for me. Nice. Huh! Murdered him. Now look it. Like I said, over here we have um oh my god, I only have three. How many's left? 14. I had like 52 and I have 14. Well, I have more. I have more, but this right here, everybody, this is an auto brewer. So I set this up in order to get me my instant damage potions. And the thing literally works flawlessly. I mean, let's just watch this for a second. It's going to go nether ward, spider eye, fermented spider eye, glowstone, uh, gunpowder, and then back to nether ward. Watch this. Is that not awesome? And then look at, watch this, watch this, watch this. Another nether war, and it drops them down into the thing. It is amazing. Hang on, I gotta let my cat in. Okay, and what else does this thing do? Pretty awesome, isn't it? Okay, now what else do we gotta show you? Oh no, nighttime is coming. We have our portal set up, so we can go around and circle. I am gonna put a house around this thing. I just need to... Kind of get back into like builder mode here, you know, I'm not that I'm not the best builder So when I'm out of builder mode ah! There's a slime chunk literally right underneath the corner of that right there. There has to be okay But and look at what we've done in here. I have built a shrine for the sponge and the gravel yeah. So we put most of the gravel here. We have a shulker box up there. There's another chest buried Ta-da! So much gravel and most importantly I built a thing a shrine for the sponge we wouldn't be here without it. I might make a video on the fastest way to drain an ocean monument because I went from 22 minutes to do one long side all the way down to seven minutes just by devising a strategy. It was insane. I also went from using like two stacks in one thing down to like a half a stack per row too. So it was, yeah, I am very efficient. But look, one chest. Oh my God, it's still coming in. Yep, the second ones are filling up. Look at this. And if we check this chest back here, look at, look at all of the guardian heads we have. <laughs> We're going to cover that entire thing in heads. And that is the nether half of it. Look at that. That is insane. Okay, you can't miss that portal. <laughs> yeah, you definitely cannot miss... You can't miss that portal. But there it is. There is the guardian farm. I can't believe we actually have one. It's been... Now check this out. This is what I want to do next. We need to grab... I have a whole bunch already. We need to grab a bunch of... Look at my inventory. All of this. We need all of my prismarine that I have so far. And basically what I'm going to do is I am going to take a line of prismarine and I am going to mirror this whole entire circle right oh here. I have no idea how long this is going to take. Okay, now that the lower circle down there is all complete, for the upper, what I want to do is we are going to be decorating the upper, but what I want, I want to do, let's see, pretty much that right there. And hopefully what that is going to allow us to do is instead of having to put an entire glass wall around this, and now here is the plan. Let's see. Let's see if this is going to work. That is exactly what I wanted. So I am going to go around and I am going to do every other one. Well, let's see what happens when we do two. Oh, maybe. Nope, it pushes it out one further. So we are going to have to do every other one and then come back <laughs> and do every other one. But I also need to get the ring in place too. So let's do that first. I need like six or seven stacks of these ones. Okay, our prismarine rings are done. Now it's time for me to just go to bed. And now I can start going every other one. One. Two.
let's try something here. We'll go one block. Yeah, we'll go one block up. And is that even a square? That is a square. And I'm getting a good look at what one of them looks like right now. And what I need to do is I need to go find something that is orange. I need like orange. I need sand. I need to find an orange sand desert. Or do we do acacia logs? Hmm. Okay, actually, we're going to try and see what we can do with a couple of stacks of acacia logs. They are pretty. Let's see. Pretty close. Pretty close to the color. Let's see. There it is, and I love it. I think I should swap all that out though with copper, maybe, or even red sand. I have to now mirror this on this side. Oh. And there they are. Those are the two guardians, the guardians of the guardian farm. I am definitely swapping all of that out though for probably copper, for probably copper. It seems like the only logical choice because even that looks without shaders, it looks even worse. Okay, and not bad. I thought they would maybe be too big, but actually they're not. They look pretty all right there. But now what I need to do is I am going to go and re up on some fireworks. We have literally gone through. I don't know how many fireworks were in here, but we have gone through all of them. I have three left. That is, that is insane. That is insane. That is insane. Fireworks have been acquired and we also grabbed a few other things over at the house too. So we've got some maps, some glow frames, some item frames, and then look at what I grabbed from in here. The rest of the fireworks that we had at the fire from, yeah, you guys know what I mean. So I brought along some fireworks, but first what we need to do before we create anything is I need to Oh, it is almost dead center. Oh, that is amazing. It is almost dead center on the map. Okay, map one. So this one right here, this is going to be the center. I mean, it might as well be the center one, right? And there's the other half. Oh God, look at that half compared to that half. Not bad, not bad. Everything except for that right there. Whatever is going on right there. Okay, we've even captured the island now, but we need to... Okay, that map is full. Now we need to do the ones right behind us. So that's one. Okay, and now let's just do these three up here, and that should make for a pretty good... That makes for a pretty good map, a 3x3 three three map. So that's it. We need to find a location to put it, though. Where am I going to put this? There's the map. The map is in place. We just need to frame it so that it actually looks a little bit better than that because that looks like so much trash. But there it is. Map is all symmetrical and looking, looking pretty good in there. Other than this one row. I should probably shuffle that one row over. Whatever. Okay, there we go. We've cleaned up the entrance now a little bit too as well in here. We were, I was going to drop this down and give it some more chests, but you know, they seem to be good. These seem to be good for now. But now I need to figure out something to do with these fireworks and I'm not sure what. I mean, we could expand the storage and maybe even move the storage to somewhere else. And maybe have fireworks shoot out of maybe the eyes of these guys here once everything does start to get full. I mean, that's kind of a... that there's an idea. But now what I want to do is I really don't care for the fish. I mean, I understand that I could probably just sell it. But I mean, I have the emerald generator, so I'm not really too concerned. So the fish are gonna go. And I want to turn these ones into just extra overflow chests. And we're gonna do that because I really, I really don't need the fish at all. Okay, but we only have 10 days left and I have just pretty much spent half of this day um, saying one thing and then going back on it and saying another thing because I have no idea what I want to do. But one thing that I do know is I need to make this convertible from back and forwards from, you know, killing to non-killing. Um, and I actually think the easiest way to do that is maybe put a little bit of lava right up there. But this is where it gets a little, this is where it gets a little ugly trying to do stuff like this. 
We need to do that. And I did put a lava bucket with dispenser right here, but it that one just absolutely stops them from taking fall damage as they come down. So what I think we do is we put it right, right up there. So as they come right through the uh, thing. Okay, our red, oh boy. Redstone has been done. I ran a bunch of different configurations and that's the cleanest and not uh, least ugly one that I could build. Now let's just, let's just do a test. That button right there is what I got to hit. Okay, that button needs to be swapped out for a lever. Ah! Oh, burn. Okay, we've killed off everybody and it looks like they are all eventually burning to death. And I can't tell if I see any alive guys in there. I really can't tell. The flow is steady though. The flow is just so steady. We may have actually made this thing fully automatic. I can't believe it. Oh, this is fantastic. All right, well, good enough for me. Now I need to, I need to sort out one issue. I forgot my redstone. Um, that right there. <laughs> yeah. We need added six more things into the atom sorter. This is not big enough. And will you quit climbing all over my scaffolding, please? Thank you. So I'm thinking I turn this whole section right here. This right here. I think we turn this whole section into an item sorter. What do you think? I agree. And the storage is done. So now you can see we have two chests for pretty much everything that is here. A double chest for everything and even the heads. We even added the heads in here. So we've got all three types of fish. We've got an overflow box for if anything else comes through here. These are just for me to store any, you know, pre-made blocks like these if I would like to. But that is it. That is the storage all done. This is, I want to do a little bit more in here. I mean, iron bars, really? <laughs> and let me tell you. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have so many shulker boxes that I have to clean and empty out and resort. It's insane. Also insane how annoying Mr. Slime is over here. And that is how long it's been since I've slept. The deep divers are coming after me. Get away from me. I'm literally 17 feet underground, underwater. You guys are flying. How? Look at all of the gravel. Look at all the gravel I took out of here. And then here. Okay, this is how many shulker boxes I'm going to have to clean and empty out because these are all just randomly full of random stuff. But I have to clean all of these because I have a plan for the next 100 days. But with those boxes now cleaning, now what we can do is we can come to the back of the storage system here. I know, look at this, right? And you can see, this is why all this stuff is just collecting at the end of these chests because I have not set them up. So what we're going to do is we are going to take out all of these organics and we are replacing them. Okay, those are all sorted. So now what we have is we have a spot for the prismarine, but it is nighttime again. I can't believe it. It is nighttime again. That took all day. Ooh! But now I just have to clean these. Look at them. Look how many shulker boxes I've cleaned already. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. <laughs> we have so many empty shulker boxes. But other than that, right as we are about to get raided by some ugly pillagers. 1500 days, 1500 days on this hardcore Minecraft world. But there we go. Life is all back to normal. All back to normal. We have all of our, everything is cleaned. We have all of our main shulker boxes back in place. We just need to re-up on our redstone. We're running a little low on repeaters here. And our golden bamboo. We are completely, <laughs> we're completely out of our gamboo. But that is going to do it. We have made it 1,500 days. And pretty much all of it was spent here building this incredible contraption. Look at the ball. How come time skips so fast when you're going through the nether? What's going on here? But that's it. We're at the tail end of 1,500. Remember, we started this in the early 1,300s. We're now at 15. But 
100% worth it. Now, for this next 100 days, we're back here at the main base. I know, the skull. Because what I discovered while doing all of that work over at the Ocean Monument, ugh, I need materials. I normally have a farming district set up by now, and I have no farming district set up, and I... I'm upset. So here's the plan. Somewhere around here, we need to set up a farming zone, a farming district, but it needs to be for all the passive farms, like the iron farms. Or the lava farm. Melons. Sugarcane. I need a farming district for all the essentials. Because for real, I am absolutely tired of running out of fireworks. And, and, oh no. running out of wood. Running out of wood for chess is a nightmare. So we need to set up a farming district around here. But the first thing that we also need to do, we need to head back here. I know, I just came from here. And many of you guys suggested that I put an armor stand here and smack the armor stand so that that is genius. I don't even know why I forgot about that little trick. That is. But what I need to do is I need to grab myself a map. I need a cartography table now. And here's what I'm doing. I'm going to duplicate these maps right here. I think this is how you do it. Ta -da. It is. All right, that map has been duplicated. I thought I made that a four by. I am so bad at math. Now we just need to go to the raid farm over here and grab some more. Look at all the saddles. Why am I not burning these? It's too bad you can't make a block of sugar. Or can you? Okay. We've got our sticks. We've got plenty of sticks. Now we just need leather. Gold farm. Okay, item frames are checked. Now we just need... I don't have very many of these. Oh, I don't want to use them all up, but you know what? Whatever. We have two left. We need a farm for those guys, too. Map one is a check. We might have to find a different location for that, though. But so far, it looks... It looks good. Now I have to address one problem that I have, and that is... Wood. I am tired of going back and forwards, just dropping down random trees to go get some wood. Even doing like the whole spruce thing here, I am over this. I am completely over this. And I have plans to expand the storage because this is nowhere near enough for all the items that I have. So we need chests. So we're gonna we're gonna fix this wood problem right now. The only problem is is I don't know where I want to put my farming my farming zone. I could put it over there in spawn chunks, but that is way that is way over there. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to put it, like, right here. This is going to be the farming zone. That way it's an easy, nice, straight shoot over to the item. Okay. Yep, so I'm thinking right there. That's where the farming district and the farming zone is going to be. Only problem is, I've got to clear some land. So that means I'm going to need a beacon. And this iron farm is not keeping up anymore. What has happened to it? Do we have an iron golem wandering around somewhere? Wait a minute, and what's down here? What did I put down here? Oh my god, I forgot that I had a copper farm down here! I forgot that I made a drowned farm here out of a spawner and for good reason too. Look at how slow this is. I am glad that I forgot about this thing. They're not sleeping in their beds. Okay, well, looks like we're going to be doing another iron farm too. All right. Time for me to get clearing. Okay, quick pit stop over here at the desert because we need, we need some sand.
Now we can grab a few stacks of gunpowder. Oh. oh. Yes, sir. Okay, I just need flint and steel. Okay, guys, and you might, you too, you might want to get out of there. And flip. Oh my god, he lived! Where are they? Where are they? I know you're mad. Good horsey. This horse is now the guardian of the farming district. Okay, well that's half as much now that I have to remove at least. No, <laughs> it's all despawning. It's all D. It's all despawning. I didn't make it in time. The area is officially clear. Uh, like most things though, I'm pretty sure I have underestimated the amount of room I'm gonna need. Now, first up on the list for the farms, we need to build a simple wood farm. A tree farm. Because I, I mean, you can see them. I am done with this spruce wood crap. It honestly looks like somebody just went to the bathroom. It really does. Okay, I need some redstone. A few dispensers, and what else do I need? And now really quickly, we need to go over here somewhere. And is there any bees? I see bees. Yes, come on. I need all of you at home, please. Burn. Now, while I'm working here, all I need to do is we are going to go chest, hopper, grass. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's how it goes. Dispenser with our bees right there. I hear them. Now we just need some water bottles. And I think, I think, I don't know. Whatever, if they go up there, they go up there, because I only need them for ha, this next farm that we're building. And this thing's gonna be insane. So we'll just let that run. Now we need to grab every single little bit of slime that we have, which is actually a lot. And I am just gonna build a small little tree farm that's gonna go right here. Okay. Like I said, I have a feeling I greatly underestimated the amount of room I'm gonna need for all of this. But right here, this little section, this area is going to solve our wood problem. Now what I need is I need all of my... <laughs> I need like 300 pistons. Not literally, but pretty much literally. And that should probably do. And now the real question. How many repeaters? I have... I have 12 repeaters left. I'm gonna go do some searching. I gotta have more repeaters. Do you see any repeaters in these overflow chests? Are there any repeaters in here? No repeaters. None. One repeater. Alright, it looks like I'm making a hundred million repeaters. Which isn't so bad because I just need stone torches. That's all that made. Okay, we're also gonna need... I think it's a stack and a little bit of slime. And this is all the slime balls we have. Hopefully it's gonna be enough. 24. Actually, I only need 40, so we're good with that. One thing we might not be good on is... And now the builder blocks. Um... I'm not gonna lie, I think we're gonna use Prismarine. It might look a little weird over there, but I, I don't even care. I'm, I'm building with Prismarine. We spent all that time. Okay, that is plenty of Prismarine, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hello. Good 
Goodbye. Oh, there's like three slime chunks under here. More. Give me more, please. And now one last thing we are going to need. I don't even know if we have it. More crying obsidian and more obsidian. <laughs> we don't. This is why I said we need to set up an obsidian farm. What is going on here? <laughs> okay, we're getting a boatload of materials stacked up here. But other than the honey blocks, we're good to go. Let's grab some stone and let's start building a tree farm. Oh, uh, where's my stone? Hello there. Okay, so starting from over here, what we need to do is we need to go. I think it's like one, two, three, four sapling and then like one, two, three, four sapling and then like ha <laughs> psych. <laughs> this is a tree farm. This thing should be 100% self-sustainable too. Nope. Only problem is, is I'm not quite finished yet. We have to finish the TNT thing over here. And oh my God, look at, look at what day it is. I've had to make three trips to the Prismarine farm just to get enough Prismarine in order to do this. And then to do this, I had to build a honey farm. And I think... What is that? I may have gotten a little carried away. It works so well that I have to put a rail system in place. But like, look at it, and I just cleared this. And I just cleared this. But I don't know if you got seen by the time lapse. We had a visitor, and we've got honey block mini blocks. And mini beehives, too. But yes, honey farm. Honey farm. Wood farm. Wood farm isn't even done. And realistically, in order to finish this, I need the wood farm because I need the wood in order to make chests, in order to make hoppers. And I need like 90 hoppers for that section over there. It's insane. First things first, though. Meh. Where is a coral reef? I need a coral reef. Even if it's just a mini one. And what the heck is this? What has happened to this ocean monument? It has literally carved itself. This is strange. I have found a coral reef. This took forever. And the smallest mushroom island. What? Okay, we've got some fans. Now, how many we got? We got six. And two other weird ones. And I see a lot of bamboo. Let's cross our fingers and hope maybe there's a panda in here somewhere. Nope, no pandas. But look at this neat little village. It's like a jungle village. But it's also a desert. <gasps> what? Look at that. What else was in here? Oh, just crap. Found our uh, anti golden apple. Look at what else we found. Just one though. What are we getting rid of? I came for coral fans, and look at all those. Look at enchanted apple. This apple. Deep slate diamond ore. <gasps> More deep slate diamond ore. And we're out of here. I've spent way too long. Remember, all I came for was fans. All I needed was a coral fan. I'm 6,000 blocks away from home. What the? Everybody cross your fingers. Nothing. Look at this one. Look at how this one's decorated. This is neat. Oh, nothing. A couple days later, but we are back and we have our fan with some other stuff too. 
Now all I need though is detector rail, mine cart, and now I'm pretty sure we just need to go fan, wait for it to dry. Detector rail with our mine cart. Okay, and we're, we're triggered. We are armed and dangerous. That, that thing is terrifying. And before I go raining TNT everywhere, I'm just gonna increase it using these. What did I do? But with that all set and ready, I have now... Oh, that's how it works. Why isn't the TNT blowing though? What did I break? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's my long timings. That's all. Okay, we can fix that. I just need fireworks. And everything's working. And we're already getting logs in the system. Oh, there's some of my... Where'd that piston come from? I don't know, but it's taken 50 days to get here, so... I'm just gonna farm logs. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have- we have logs. Woo! Logs. But now I've gotta get the moss farm going, because that already used up, let's see. That used up almost eight stacks of bone meal. So, yeah. We need the bone meal farm going, but that's gonna be pretty easy. I just need some moss. And some more bone meal. I need bone meal to make a bone meal farm. And now I need some moss. I know there's a shulker box. Okay, I don't need that much moss. Bone meal and moss have been acquired. Now all I need to do is right here above every single dispenser. Where is it? There it is. We have to do that. And all I know is this better work. But before I do that, I gotta make sure that I put my bone meal- Ah! One in the center. One on the top one. And I gotta do that for every single layer. Bone meal and everything is in place. Now what I need to do is power. I need to run power between every single one of these things. And I don't even have my piston and observer set up up there. What have I done? And I have misplaced a whole bunch of slime blocks. How did I misplace slime blocks? The most important and oh maybe they're over here no but this thing is just humming in with look it and we just cleared it okay well whatever ignore the fact that i just misplaced a half a stack of very important are they in here whatever because that farm's coming too let's set this up let's just pretend that didn't happen Remove these blocks here, and now all we need is a redstone torch up in between all of these. And it's gotta go like that. I'll probably swap all of these out for Prismarine, but... That'll be my fourth, maybe even fifth trip back. I'm not... Whatever. Look at the day. Okay, all of these gotta be on the same polarity. Which is off right now. Okay, all my power and my bone meal is run. <laughs> I just gotta connect it up to the switch now. Lever can go here, and... And I'm turning it to daytime. <laughs> okay, other than collection hoppers, I don't even care. Let's see if this bad boy's gonna work. Okay, so far these two floors are working. But what's going on with this one? I 
so far so good. So everything is working as intended. All of the moss is ending up down here, which is ridiculous. But that is okay because now that the wood farm is done and we know that this is working, all we need now is planks, chests, more planks, more chests, and I also need a whole bunch of, yes, composters. And with all of this, we can go back over here to the iron farm, which, which is another reason why we're already 50 days past. All of the villagers inside these beds for 1.18, I had to reset all of these beds for these guys. So I had to, I had to literally take the beds, give them to me, and then pop them back in in order for the iron farm to start working. But now, <laughs> We're back in business. So we have iron flowing once again, but with all of this iron, we are now capable of making an endless supply of hoppers. Don't stop there. And for every single one of these dispenser and dropper elevator things here, I need four temporary blocks with four hoppers going down into four individual composters that are all going to feed their outputs into those into that dropper system right there. And once that is all done, now we just need to go along the top and from the center, we are gonna split this each way. And that is it right there. We need to do one of those systems for each one of these little dropper, dropper, dispenser elevators here. Ha! Huh. Oh my, I ran out of hoppers. I ran out of hop. I ran out of hoppers doing this and I had to run the tree farm and go back to the iron farm and I still don't have enough hoppers to finish this. So more chests, more hoppers, and hopefully this will be enough to finish this because I have one more farm to make in order for my life to be a lot easier. Now we need a row of hoppers from this dropper to that dropper right there. Woohoo! And I still don't have enough hoppers. This, but that's what it's gotta do. And then I just gotta cycle all of the outflow into here. So you know what? I'm just gonna jump ahead and do that because this, this is a nightmare. More chests. I'll see you when this is done. Okay, final three hoppers are going in place, and we are officially, we're ready. We are ready. Now, any extra stuff is going to get thrown down into these hoppers here, bone mealed, sent back into the system here, and the system here, and system here, and any extra. So if we get more than 41 in these hoppers, it's coming back down and being sent down to the tree farm. And once that stops at 41, we are good. So now this is always going to stay at 41. These will always have bone meal in them. This system is 100% self-sufficient, but <laughs> I actually highly doubt that that system is even going to keep up with the tree farm because it just uses so much bone meal so fast. It's crazy. Those stacks look just, dis they look disgusting. They look disgusting. Okay, but let's see. This could all get put on one system if I wanted to, but let's flip this on. Oh, it looks like it's working beautifully. We don't even have to go back into a time lapse because this is just how it works. It pops, it sweeps, it disappears, and then it repeats. That rhymed, I And how is Prismarine on fire? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, but that's it. It looks like all the floors are working too in unison with each other. So one, two, and three. Yep, one, two, and three. Oh, uh, let's just see if we're even getting any bone meal down here. We are. Yep, we're getting bone meal. We're getting bone meal. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, because this right here, this is a little inefficient. I, ha I have to slow down, and I do not want to slow down. So what I need is I just need 30. I have a stack. I am using so many materials. But I need 30 of those. A repeater. I need a torch. We need daytime. 
But starting from right here on this one, that is exactly that long right there. That's what I'm doing right there. Now I need to take all of this and I need to power it. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take a redstone signal from here. We're going to run it out and around and we're going to power all of these in rows. And I have run out of wood for building a wood farm, so we're going with stone for now. Okay, and I'm no redstone engineer, but now if a log comes across, what should happen? Uh oh, we need repeaters. Okay, repeater is in. And what should happen is the whole thing fires. Okay, now what we have to do, we can't run this yet. We have to move this somewhere over like here. And then we have to visit the gold farm and get some more obsidian or even crying obsidian. Okay, TNT has been removed. And now this is how this farm is officially going to work. And that's 12, so that's going to be as much as it is allowed to push, or those pistons are allowed to push. So I can put the TNT now way out here, and then I can hook like a cobblestone generator up on the other side, have my little pit here in the middle, and we are good to go. What did I just do? And no, I can already tell you, I'm burning through more bone meal than this whole thing is producing. I might have to put on two more layers or even build another one right behind it. Oh, and that's why. Huh. Because I'm an idiot. idiot There's a, an entire floor of bone meal is not even getting there. Oh my gosh. I need a sign. There we go. Now everything from that floor can at least fall down and join the party. That's why it seemed a little slow. Okay, hey, this right here is the new water pit. We just need to add some water, put an obsidian ring around the outside of it, and we are good to go. Now for the dangerous part. Okay, TNT is in place. I am terrified because I'm underneath it. And I definitely need more prismarine. More prismarine. But now, let's just see. Actually, no. We need more obsidian. This might do us for it. This might do. We're gonna go and see. Okay, now these two... Right here. These are the holes of where the TNT is going to come through. So I need to build up and right there is where it should land. So from that, what we need to do is we need to protect everything that is here because this is oh so. And by all of this stuff, I mean me. I mean, I'm scared for me. You guys saw what happened to the G-Man. Okay, and it's time to test. Ah! Okay, everything is alive, including me. And my shulker boxes somehow. I don't even know how these things are still. Ah! Ah! Did I have another shulker box here? Did I blow up another? I hope not. Ah! Okay, so that's where the explosion can reach to, right? Oh, it can reach farther than that. Okay, it's ugly, but it's good enough. I need to run water now from there all the way down. If, if Gray gets a restart, I get a restart, right? Right? Okay, this is terrifying. All jokes aside, I am out of here. Run. Go, 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 go. Ah! Okay, all is well. Everything is working. Okay, I just need a sign. Okay, pack up some stuff and... 
Grab my saplings because, ha uh, the tree farm is officially done. And now I don't need any more logs, but now all I have to do is come up here, let this run, flip this lever, and I don't even have to stop. This thing could just rip and rip and rip. Until this thing runs out of bone meal, but I don't know if it's ever going to run out of bone meal because I am standing here for a little bit now. And... Yeah, I don't know if this thing's ever going to run out of bone meal. Oh, we're running low, but it looks like some stacks are still staying full, so... I don't know, we might run out. But oh my goodness, this thing actually produces an insane amount of sticks as well. And now, like I said, all we have to do now... Huh? <laughs> Put a cobblestone generator on the opposite side of this thing and we are good, but I don't need any stone right now. No, I have so much. Okay, let's clean up the mess here that we made from our other little water pit that we had going. We are back to square one with a nice pit that is half finished. <laughs> it is half a, I, obsidian. Okay, but look at what day it is. This farm has taken us this long to build. These next ones are definitely not going to take that long. No, no, but this one is a... This other one is an essential one. And this one is solely dedicated for these. I started this project with nearly a full shulker box full of fireworks. So this next farm with the creeper farm over there is going to make life... There it is. There is the ever so bright, the industrial sugarcane farm. Now, the only problem with this is you guys know me and my math. <laughs> Look at that. It is two blocks longer than it even needs to be. That's, ugh, I either be bad at math or I built it the wrong way. Either way, there is so much redstone down and under here. Look at, I decided to protect it. But what is going to happen here is when we switch this over to daytime, that triggers everything, and then look at when we go over here and it goes under. Once that goes under, or sorry, all the way to the other side, look at what it does. It sends out both mine cards to collect all of, to collect everything. See? It's collecting. But that's not the fancy part. Okay, whoop de doo. Mine cards collecting stuff. <laughs> What's fancy is when they get into that section right there. You can see they automatically stop and start unloading. But I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, well, Chapman, isn't there way more sugarcane probably still in there on the ground? There might be. There might be. So when this mine card comes back now, check out this little neat idea. There's no extra sugarcane, but if there was, look it. It would recognize it that there's still some in the system and then send it back out and send it down. So now this system is completely self-sufficient. It's just going to grow. It's just going to do its thing. Every single morning, it is going to harvest itself. And everything ends up in this chest up here, which I just have to run the water stream out and over to the item sorter, which is right on the other side of this mountain. So the inflow of the item sorter is literally right here, so... But with all that sugar cane, now we can finally just go and start to re-up on... Look, at I've already got a bunch. Sugar cane makes paper. And now all we gotta do is go over to the creeper farm, and we are officially good to go. Oh... The life of fireworks has been made so, so easy. Yes. What used to literally take me like an hour to do has now taken just minutes. This feels so good. Want to see something else that's crazy? Look at the freaking honey. Like how many honey blocks is this? 46 honey blocks just in the amount of time it took me to build a sugarcane farm. Mind you, that took a long time. But now we do one thing. Now let's just go run this all the way over into the item sorter. Because I don't want to have to come back here for sugarcane. We're going to break this down and then let's just see if we can get... Oh, there it's right there. Okay, and that is the chest that we are going to feed into right there. Oh, 
Okay, and with that, we should now have a simple flow that goes all the way down and into the item sorter. Uh-oh. Yes. Yes, let's go. Okay, now if I accidentally break those hoppers, which I do not want to do, that is going to destroy a lot of redstone, so I'm putting a gate here just to stop that. And there. We don't have to run hoppers from there to here anymore. That should cut down on some lag. Okay, now let's fall down here. We will put our sugar cane in place, and just like that, we are now sorting our sugar cane. We've got sugar cane coming in here. So we shall leave that to do its thing. Will you stop moving around over here like a ghost? Your other buddy somehow shifted 19 feet this direction. Doesn't even make sense. Okay, well, so far we've got three key things all sorted out. Our wood for our chests and hoppers, sugar cane for paper and fireworks. Gunpowder was done so long ago. We now also have honey, which makes life just so much easier. And the system just fired. Let's see if the sugar cane ends up where it needs to. And it's coming in. Look at this. I didn't think it was going to work, and it actually, it's working. I don't know why I didn't think it was going to work. It's just a water stream. But with those done, according to chunk base or whatever it's called, this right here, this is a slime chunk. This is a slime chunk. Sorry, Mr. Fully Gold Enchanted Armor. But Chunk Base also says that there is a double slime chunk side by side right here. So these two chunks. Hmm. But Chunk Base also says that if we go one, two, three, four, and five, right here there is three chunks on top of each other. One, two, and three. These three chunks are all, apparently, slime chunks. Mm. So there is a potential to build three slime chunks, or a tri-slime chunk here, side by side by side. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'll save the slime for the other project. So for now, what we're gonna do, we have uh, the lava bucket farm, and obsidian has become my nemesis. At the current moment, I have used up every single piece of obsidian at my bartering farm only has three and it's slow and I don't care. We're building an obsidian farm. We're doing it. We're building an obsidian farm. And the only real motivation for this is because I do have the lava bucket farm here. So, um, yeah, good to go. But now where do I put it? Where do I put it? This is where I get so indecisive with this stuff. Do you guys remember the old farming district? Yeah, that thing is like... Nice. I think this is by Mr. Cat. I'm probably gonna get it wrong. I'm gonna try and... Okay, and I think that's it. That's the core right there. But for Java, I can't waterlog a repeater. That's illegal. But what we can do is we can waterlog a stair. Okay, let's do that first. And then we'll remove that. Redstone. Okay, everything is in. We are now sorting buckets and the only thing left to do is I need a couple chests in order to collect the buckets and to put my lava in so we need one down here in order to collect all of the empty buckets we need a double chest up here that is gonna where our lava buckets are gonna go so now all we have to do is we have to just take oh my god look at my inventory how dare you Okay, and I'm forgetting one very important thing before I start this. I need to power this redstone. And now if we fill this with our lava buckets and we break this. That's what's supposed to happen. Oh my God, and it's working. I already have three pieces of obsidian. And just like that, we have now over a stack of obsidian. This is amazing. I have endless amounts of sugar cane and paper. If 
fireworks. I can make an endless amount of portals. Now what do we need? Let's go make sure the iron farm is still working. Okay, and it is. And it is still working. But now it's time for me to get ahead. Iron is all caught up, but I have used up so much of my wood. Just continuing to make this thing that I am now out. No wood. And I only have 17 hoppers left, which I'm going to use to clean up and catch a little bit more of the mess that falls around here. But that is it. I am literally, I'm not even joking. I am spending the remainder of this, this 1600 days. I am spending the remaining of this locked up. I probably can't do that. Locked up in solitude. And I am just going to farm so much wood, so much wood. And I am going to make 17 stacks of hoppers. Probably. I doubt it because that is expensive. I didn't even trap myself in here with a sapling. Power. Power. This box is expensive. Cow, that's probably not a good spot. Just letting you know. Okay, those farms are working. Yeah, we got bone meal, bone mealing. Everything is falling down and into place. Can anybody walk in here and get me? It doesn't look like it. We are free to just... It is so loud. We are free to farm. No, we're not because the pit is not big enough. Okay, now the pit should be big enough. Okay, but what is going on here? I need to get rid of this. Logs are just gonna sit on there. Okay, now that looks like a proper farm. Now I'm gonna go and just farm my hurl. I just gotta go farm to my heart's content. Okay, look at what day it is. And this moss farm, this cannot keep up with the bone meal that is needed for the tree farm. It is insane. But we have wood for days. Look at this. Wood for days. And can someone explain to me why bees like to disappear? Or why they're like dying off in here? Because this used to have so many bees in here and I spent so many days breeding these and they are all just disappearing. It doesn't make any sense. Anyways. And look it, I have fireworks for days, fireworks for days. In this video, I try to survive 1700 days, deleting absolutely everything in my hardcore Minecraft world. It was this easy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm completely joking. Or am I? I played Minecraft for 16 hours straight just to get this video done. Le it was insane. The burn fingertips. I also went through an entire shulker box full of totems doing this project, so I hope you guys enjoy. All right, in this next one, I need one more thing before we do the real boom boom, but I did say that this episode was going to be explosive, so just hold on, okay? Just hold on. Just hold your horses. And I'm also day... Yeah, look at what day we are. I know, and I ended the other episode two days early, but look it. I'm rich. I am rich. Let me turn it to daytime. I am scared. Okay, and oh my god, the creepers. Look at how rich I am. That's the new shulker box layout right there. Just those. Ignore that and ignore that over there. That's the new layout for the ender chest. Look at all the redstone. I'm so rich. We're four days. Look at this all. I need pistons. And this is what we're going for this episode. We need some slime. Look at the rails. I accidentally screwed up too and made uh. Those are all detector rails. Every single one of them. So we have our redstone all set up and ready to go. We have our main boxes right here so we can make. That's our fireworks box. Look at we got water. We've got fuel. Lighting. There they are. Wood. Emeralds. That is what it's going to look like in the actual ender chest itself. 
So this gives us five free spots. Actually, let's do this. Four spots to carry something, four carry-all boxes, and then a legit carry-all for like important stuff like string. See that string? That's where that needs to be. So that's the new setup now for the ender chest. Life is gonna be so much easier now. And we also figured out why I'm losing bees. I am still in 1.18. <laughs> I know, I need to go to 1.18.1 in order for these guys to stop despawning. We'll do that for the next episode. Cause we're doing all right. But in order to complete this next 100 days, I need some slime. I need lots, and I mean lots of slime. So we need a slime farm somewhere around here. We need a slime farm. Oh, I also got to do the terraforming. I said I was going to do the terraforming around here. But this slime farm, this one's going to be temporary. So we don't really actually need to put too much thought into this. I'm going out here to the plains. I'm turning it to daytime. Or is it maybe better that I build a temporary one in the ocean? Um, I don't know. I'm going to think about it, but I need one thing for sure. More sand. Let's see. Let's see. This one's got lava everywhere. Nothing. It's like the mountain has a butt crack. Excuse me, excuse me, yep, excuse me, excuse me, dangerous, danger, and it's got a giant opening in the mountain. The whole mountain is hollow. The entire mountain is hollow. I hope you guys can see this. Okay, where was my exit? And oh, really boys, don't mind if I do. You deserve it. Ooh. <gasps> oh. It had me for a second. It had me. Okay, sand has been acquired though. I hate it when I go exploring. I get way too distracted so easily. There's a torch there. And now with all of this sand, oh, grab all our gunpowder. Nice. Okay, and with that, I did say that this episode was gonna be explosive, so. And what the heck is that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot about the challenges. I forgot about the 1.18 challenges. These guys are just sitting up here. Bill, are you guys having fun? Are you terrified? This is terrifying. Oh, we've got some TNT. Now we need to find a slime chunk. And to be completely honest with you, it's probably best that I maybe find the slime chunk. Anywhere underneath where we see these beacons that used to be here. No! No! And I'll tell you why. Can we just ignore that I just fell to my death and didn't pull up in time? We're just, we're just, we're just going to ignore that. Okay. But everywhere down here has been mined and all of this is already yeah it's all torched it is all torched so all the way back here is torched all the way down there is torched this is where i did the early mining days but a lot of this is torched so much mining and there is so many beacons there are so many iron beacons down here there has to be no joke over 30 iron beacons just hanging out down in rows underneath the ground. So yeah, we're doing it directly underneath the end island. We've got the shulker farm right there. So we're doing it right here somewhere. As long as there's a slime chunk, I need to go find a slime chunk now. Okay, chunk base says that this chunk right here is a slime chunk. So I'm good with that. This is where the slime chunk is gonna go. 
Now what I need to do, I need to grab a beacon. Oh, I need to torch some more. Okay, and we are officially good to go. Now all I need to do is basically just dig down. And we need to bore a tunnel all the way. <laughs> that barely used any run. Nice. I actually thought that was going to do a lot more than that, but that's okay because I was just scared. I didn't want to die. Okay, wonderful. So far, so good. And now we need to just do one or two more of these explosion things. And we should be good enough to make this temporary slime farm. Minecraft is fun. Oh, God! Okay, we're almost there. We just need to do, it looks like, this corner over here. Okay, good enough. I should be able to clear that with ease now manually. Okay, the pit is dug. The pit has been dug. The only problem is... I haven't... I, did, I, haven't, I haven't seen a single slime spawn in here at all while digging it. It's, it's below Y40, right? Right? I don't care. The hole is dug. We'll see. We'll see if... Uh -huh. Look at Slick Pick. I just want to see one slime spawn, please. Please. I think I may have just made the most useless hole in Minecraft. <gasps> oh, I was about to have a panic attack. I was about to freak out. We had one spawn. This is a slime chunk. All right, well, now that we've got our chunk all nice and clear, should we do this portal base? I think we can probably get away with it being portal base just because I know the Shulker Farms portal is done by math, but then again, we do have these gigantic, gigantic portals right here. I don't know, but if we can get away with this temporary slime farm being portal based, I'm going to be amazed. We're going to try. Okay, let's turn all of this stone into slabs now. That might be enough. And I, I literally, uh, might is the big word there. If they don't see me, he hasn't seen me. Ah! Okay, so the test of portals before we even try this. That is going to be the portal layout for the farm. So let's try this. Is this going to light? It's not going to light. What's the max portal size? Okay, and it seems like that's the max portal size that we can go. Right there. I'll clean, uh... <laughs> I'll clean all that up after. Now let's just see where this... Let's see where this portal takes us. A perma loader. Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of this. I pulled the mine cards out from it anyway, so it's not even needed. Okay, now let's go back up and above. Not the sword!
Oh, I don't know. That's putting us pretty close to the... That's putting us very close to the Shulk reform. <laughs> very... Oh, I don't know, you guys. This might be... We might run into some issues here. Oh, no. I'm under siege. Okay, we're a little bit too close to the Shulker farm, which is fine. We're going to try and do a little bit of finagling here with these portals and see if we can get this to work. Okay, now the portal for the slime farm is the lowest farm in the overworld. So we are going to put this one here below this. So now what should happen if I could land... Okay, this is fine. So now Technic... What? So now Technic... What the f So now technically anything that comes through this portal, even if it's up there, should come through the lowest portal, and it does. Now that means that they're gonna come back through this single portal here, and it puts us in the lowest part of this Shulker Shell farm. So now let's go back down here. And now let's put this portal here, which is lower than that portal, right here. And now what should happen, hopefully, if Minecraft logic makes sense, everything that comes through this portal is going to end up in the lowest one in the nether, which it does. And then they're going to do their thing and all turn into little mini ones, and they're going to come back through. Cross your fingers. And we're exactly where we need to be. Okay. And I did that. I did all of that with no math. Zero math whatsoever. Okay, now I have the fun task of quite literally taking... What did I do with all my slabs? We got our slabs. Now what we need to do is we need to take our slabs and, without dying, one, two... Is that three? And on the top half of the third block, all around here, we need to make platforms literally every two and a half blocks. And we need to do that from all the way where we're standing up to no higher than Y40. So, um, yeah. Okay, final piece of the puzzle now for this is we need to just get our portals finished. Where's all my stuff? So we're going to have to snaggle some. We're going to be stealing some obsidian. And I can already hear slime. So this farm is going to work better than I thought. Four portals are lit. And now what we need to do is from right here in the bottom, I need to go up four blocks right here. And now I need some iron bars and some iron. And this is so that we can put some iron golems exactly four blocks up. Right there. So now that's where Mr. Iron Golem goes to stand. I have to put one more up four blocks above where that guy is. Right like that. Now the only thing left to do is to just clean up my mess down here so that way I don't forget anything. Okay, well, uh, I think we're set. Let's just go up and see. Oh no, we're not set yet. We gotta go over to the nether and finish the nether side. Look at all the slime already down there. Well, clearly my portal works. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I just need some signs and then two buckets of lava and we are good. Okay, that was a little sketchy, but I got my lava in. And now with this, let's just see. Do we get any slime? We do! 
I was just about to say we might need to add in one more iron golem because that top guy is not doing anything. Okay, but the slime are coming through. So now all I need to do is I need to just set up a killing chamber. Settle down, boys. I'm not quite ready for you yet. Why is this happening to me? Oh, and clearly I'm not the best uh, diamond finder because I left some diamonds behind down here. And some really dark tunnels for whatever reason. Okay, but everything is ready. We should be good now. I mean, look at all the slime I have already. But well, we should just be good now in order to just sit here for a few days and what the f Okay. Well, holy, with that all done now, okay. Our ugly little killing chamber is officially done, but look at all the slime we have so far just from making this. And I mean, they're showing up literally. Oh, I got to stop doing that. They started showing up right away. Like 19 slime blocks already. And two slimes heads. Look at those things. Now what I need to do is I just need to literally just spend so much time here till I got at least three full stacks of slime. Ow! And then we'll go from there. Oh, that's not a good idea. And actually, I don't think this is going to take too long. So I'll see you guys in a few days. And, are you guys ready? Look at three stacks, almost four stacks. We have, we have way more than what we're gonna need for this. This temporary slime farm is actually, it's not bad. It's really, it really isn't that bad. I was expecting to be here for at least another 10 days, but we're doing well. But this right here, this is equivalent to a 25 kill streak in Call of Duty, and we're about to now we need to grab this. I need to now find a location for where I am going to absolutely demolish the entire world. And I would say back here, but I am not removing all that water. Nope. So let's go down through the nether here and let's do a little bit of a hop skipping around and see exactly where we can end up and see if we can find some place that is super flat. Oh God. There goes the portal. That's the raid farm. That right there, we all know what that one is. Let's go out to this one over here and see what we can find, can find, can find. Oh, terrible landing. And would you look at this? It's my home sweet home. <laughs> look at what I found. More pandas. Just as I think I found the location for the thing. Look at this village. It is floating. How do they even do this? There's path box that are floating. What? This is the strangest village in the world. Thank you, good sir. Okay, I'm jumping ahead a little bit here. I got distracted, started flying around. Blah, 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 blah. This is the location. I have also set myself up a couple of beacons. This is the area that we're clearing out. Uh, I'm expecting this to literally take like probably 10 hours. We're gonna have to see. There's gonna be so much lava down there. So here's what's gonna happen.
Look at this. It's laggy, but I don't care because it is glorious. Are you ready? Are you ready? Look it. One. Two. Oh, <laughs> we got two going. Hang on. Three and four. We've got four going all at once. I've got a little bit of lava to remove, but we're doing well. Look at the little bit we've got left. This is insane. Woo! I know, look how laggy it is. This is just... This is glorious. I can fly right through now. Look at where we are. Look at one machine has already made it to the end and stopped and completely broken. It's just broken. <laughs> well, look it. We almost got a perimeter. We almost have a perimeter. I just have to run the two more machines. So that one up there and that one down there for quite for uh, just more hours. Honestly, this is so boring. This is so boring. And I hope so bad that the time lapse works because it is going to be like 15 hours. It's got to be like 15 hours. But look it. I have not been getting any diamonds. We have ourselves a 16 by 16 chunk perimeter. This thing is massive. I don't even know if you honestly need these things anymore with the new world height, but look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's ridiculous. And look at the size of this cave that we have in here. This is ginormous. This is absolutely ginormous. Don't mind if I do. But yes, I literally, I fell asleep. I did one giant lava pool and then fell asleep. And I came back and woke up and pretty much all the machines were broken except for these two. So this is what we're rolling with. Now the question is, I see more diamonds. But now the question is, what on earth do we even put in here? Do we do one of those crazy EO whatever the farms? It broke already. Oh, that's because for the third time, I forgot the walls. I've had to rebuild these things multiple times. And I have forgotten the walls. The most important. I've got to wait for that thing to get all the way back now. Look at how glorious this is. There is not a single block left in there. I can't wait for that thing to get back so I can show you this thing just raining. But well, you can see, this one clears this one out very well. Very well. There is, like, nothing down there. No spawns whatsoever. So I don't even know if I even have to cover this one once this one does get back into its thing. Oh, I need redstone. But now the question is, what do we put in here? Do I do one of those crazy... Do I do one of those crazy farms? I don't know. I might. You guys will definitely have to let me know, but I cannot believe that we have come this far. I am turning it to daytime. Look, look at how high up it. Look at where we started. Look at where we started and look at where we are. Look at that. And yes, you can tell we are way beyond. We are well beyond 1700 days too, but that is okay. Because I am rich and I have space. I have so much space. Okay, one wall, two wall. Okay, that one is set. Now we just need to get rid of all of this obsidian that is up here. Water plus lava can be extremely annoying. We gotta do it before this thing gets over, over here too. And just as the TNT is getting a lot closer, we have the obsidian done. Look at that was almost four stacks of obsidian. We also exposed some more lava too. So I'm going to have to go and get rid of that. And hopefully let's take a quick peek. Look at all the cobble. Look at all the cobble. Okay. It doesn't look like there's anything inside here other than some diamonds. And a cave. 
Now to just go around and finish off all of this cobble, which is pretty much a nightmare on its own. But oh god, look at we got more obsidian. We've got more obsidian to get rid of. But look at this. After like 20 hours. It's been like 20 hours. It's been so long. Just for this. We are so close. We are so close. I just got to clear that out. And then what? And then what? What are we doing here? Are we doing one of those weird farms where you like, where there's no lights? Is that what we're doing? What do you guys suggest we doing? All I know is that this hole is so deep. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. In this video, I challenge myself to break Minecraft. Oh my god. Because we need three major things for what I'm stuffing in this big hole. And all of it is borderline illegal. Ooh. I also need 5,000 obsidian, 10,000 terracotta, 2,500 power rails, 1,000 observers, 80 shulkers in the overworld, and I gotta do it all by 1,800 days. This video is straight hustle, but nothing compared to what comes next. So grab your popcorn, here's a high five, and enjoy watching me suffer. Also, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe. And yes, I've got fancy new wings. Enjoy the episode. Okay, the whole... The hole is done. The hole. It is done. I have a little bit here to remove, but I figured this would just be faster to remove with a beacon. Bruh. Oh, wait, maybe not. Okay, we'll set the machine back up. Ooh. I forgot. Uh, deep's late. But before we can do this farm that goes in here, we have so much we need to do. The materials list for this is insane. So before we can even do this, we need to get a couple things right because I need gold. I need so much gold. And the second thing that we're going to be needing, well, in order to build this farm, we got to build something dirty. Something real dirty. And another thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put together some sort of a light suppressor. What is that? I know, we're getting ridiculous. But hold on, because we also need an update suppressor. What is because that? Because in order to get this done, we got to we got to do some magic. Some Minecraft magic. Okay, but for now, I need to clean up. And we need to head to the gold farm, and we need to go there fast. Because I am running out of... Like, look at what day it is. Well, here's what we need to do. We need to optimize this thing a little bit in order to make it a little bit faster and safer for me to be here. So I need to uh, I need to tear all of this down, including all of these chests that are just filled with disgusting rotten flesh. Okay, item sorter system is finally in place. Now what I need to do is I just need to go around and put in every single... The last three are gonna be for the heads and then we'll set up and worry about... worry about all the flesh that comes from this afterwards. But we are finally... We are ready. Look at it. This thing is finally... I wish I did the tops a different color. Well, whatever. We could always change it. We could also always build a better gold form. But there it is. It is looking... like something out of Star Wars. But now we're just gonna run this and we are going to see... Let's see if I left any spots unchecked. Okay, we ran the gold farm for a little bit, not too long. And other than that, I think we are good. Now we can start to move on to the next step. I need some empty shulker boxes for this because this is going to be... I need all of the iron that I can get from the iron farm right now. And this so far, this is the start to the materials list that we need in order to get this big giant farm done. And it's not, I don't even think that's half of the obsidian that I need. No. How the heck do you make glazed terracotta? Oh, you just, you just smelt terracotta. I know where I can get lots of terracotta. Check this out. If we go this way and we go back to the perimeter and we fly. Hello again. And we fly way out this direction. Look at what I found. Double ocean monument. No, I'm just joking. I'm joking. But no, for real. Look at one, two, three. All within line. 
This is the weirdest world. Is that a fourth one? That's a fourth one over there. Ooh, hello there. Hi. Hello. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I pressed the wrong button. Look at there it is. Is that not terracotta? It is terracotta. It is. Okay, so we can steal all of this and just put it in a furnace. Well, all right. Okay, everybody. Look at this. Look at this little micro super smelter thingy. I have more terracotta now than I need for this entire project. I only needed, I think, six and a half shulker boxes. We have that. I even have orange. I think I like orange better than the white. I almost wish that I just grabbed all orange so I didn't have to dye all of this because this required three stacks of bone block. I repeat, three stacks of bone block to dye all of this white. It was absolute madness. But I need another shulker box because I have so much. We have so much terracotta. Oh no. Oh no. And wait a minute, what is this thing on my back? What is this? What is this? Why do my wings look like this? Whatever. It actually kind of goes with the suit. Okay, let's take all of this terracotta because it is so... Get away. Okay, I spam towards the cave to make it nice and safe. But I need to put some stuff here because I have so much materials. We're just gonna leave this stuff here for now because I need one more thing now. I gotta get my hands on 3,000. Yeah, 3,000 obsidian. I need 3k obsidian. And this right here, this is only 500. So that's definitely, that is, we're way off. And I could use the gold farm here to get it, but the problem is, is I only have four piglins. But well, four piglins is pretty slow for gathering up 3,000 obsidian, I would think. So uh, I'm just going to do a little, I don't want to kill him. Let's just do a test. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, it's been like 20 minutes and um, six. Six obsidian from those four. What? I need to set up, I need like, what? Ugh. Oh my god, what? okay, when I switched dimensions and came back, I forgot to hit. This is insane. Look at this thing just ripping away at that obsidian right there. And if we just go and check, this hasn't even been running long. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, I, th I already, this has been like 10 minutes running and I already have, I think, all the obsidian I need. I'm literally just gonna run this for like an hour, maybe two, and then tear it down. This is, this is glorious. Okay, this is insane. This thing is better than the farm that I am going to build in the perimeter. 100%. Look at how much obsidian is here. And every single one of these shulker boxes is full. Like what? Okay, we're back here. 
I had to battle the wither last night, but I was listening to music because I just got off work. So I just took him up to like literally Y1000 and just defeated him in the air. But we're back and we have, look at this. Look at all the obsidian we brought with us. I brought lots. I have, I don't know what I'm going to do with this much obsidian. I only need five shulker boxes for this EOL farm. But this next thing that we need to build, this is going to be, this is for the light suppressor. Uh, honestly, I don't really know who to give credit for this light suppressor to. This thing, you go to one guy, and then he leads to the next guy. And then this guy credits you to this guy over here. And all of it, all of it just leads back to this giant circle. And I mean, it's insane. So I'm just going to link all their names. But it's time. Not only do we need a mob switch. The dirty, dirty mob switch. We got to put together this light suppressor. So I need to go put my obsidian away. And I need stone. We got our stone. But I also need is a compass. Because I need to find... Where the heck is my compass? Got it. Okay, we need to find spawn chunks. And they're going to be right here. Dead ahead. Oh, we're getting closer. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's going to be somewhere right by this tree. I remember. I remember where the shulker came through. This block right here. This is the spawn chunk. And according to Minecraft law, it's like nine blocks each way. Nine blocks each way. So nine chunks this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is spawn chunks. And then the next two are lazy chunks. So I need to put the light suppressor somewhere in here. And then somewhere in the like 11th block, the ones far away, we need to put a mob suppressor. I know this is getting... Okay, but now I need... Uh -huh. Because I need to go all the way up. We need to go all the way to sky height. We need literally... Not now, please. And there it is. Build limit. Oh my gosh. This thing. What? Ooh uh oh. Get away. All right here. This is where I've got to put. Oh, I forgot my stone box. Stone. That's right. We can't build on top of this. But this right here. This is where we need to put that silly, that silly, silly stone contraption, the light suppressor. Ugh. I want every single one of these observers and pistons back when we're done this. Look at all those faces. This thing has been so expensive. Ah! This thing was so expensive. And if I turn it on while I'm anywhere near here, it just... The frames just bye bye But the light suppressor is done. And I've hooked up this little timer system here that's going to allow me to get away from the light suppressor. And for those of you that don't know what a light suppressor is, well, let me just grab a torch. But this is what a light suppressor does. Let's do... Let's just put two stacks in here. Oh, we gotta turn it off. Okay, it's off. Let's jump down and fly away quick. Okay, we're just gonna wait like a couple of seconds. This thing rips so we don't have to wait long. <laughs> it is... Look at this. It's working. But now if we come down and under here, excuse me, sir, you're just going to have to get away from me. And we place down a lantern or even a torch. Watch what happens when we crash the game and come back in. I'm sure some of you guys know about this, but if you don't. Look at those things. Look at them. They are putting out a zero light. Like I'm on top of the torch and look at that client light zero. And now that we have that, one of the other things that we can also do is let's just take like a roof 
Okay, and you see how it's like dark under there? Watch this. It's now bright under there when we log back in. So you can see it's like dark under here. Those lights aren't putting out any output. And when we go into our little cave here, we're still sitting at a nice bright client light even back here in this corner. And now the only problem is, is my timer system requires me to put more than just a couple stacks in. So watch this. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! I'm scared. No! What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> so, laggy, I want to make sure that everything is firing, though. And it looked like it is. Just, oh my god, the lag. This is why you've got to make sure that you turn it off. Because this just gets insane. Hit the no block, I hit it. Now we gotta wait for chokes to reload. But that's how the light suppressor works. So loading this sucker up is gonna give me 26 to 30 minutes. Of runtime, I could put chests above that and leave it for longer. But that's it right there. Now what we need, we need, we need that right there. The shulker farm. And somewhere around here, I think it's like right here. Pretty sure this is the 11th and then 12th chunk. 11 and 12. I need to build the mob switch right here. Clear land. So we got to do a little conversion. We got to convert this thing here. We need 75 of these guys. Look at this thing rip, though. But we need 70. I think it's 70. 75. We're going to do 80. We're getting 80 of these guys over onto this little contraption right over here. So I need to take a rail system. Hold on. So I need to run a rail system that comes from that block down to here. And then off and out to this cool little contraption that we're going to build. You guys aren't going to believe me, but I had a screaming goat over at the perimeter and I put him on a lead and had him by a lead and I blew him up with the TNT dupers. It, ugh. They're the ones that go like, Rah! right? Because if they are, then that was definitely, I definitely had a screaming goat. And then I went and just absolutely obliterated him. Okay, that's the basics of the rail system. Now I need to go in here before I bring any more shulkers into the overworld. And I'm gonna crack this open and I'm gonna make some more placements for some shulkers. Just to try to make this as fast and as streamlined as absolutely possible because this is gonna take a while too as well. I don't even think I'm gonna make it to 1800 days. I don't think we're making it to 1800 days for the EOL farm, but we'll, we'll I'll crank her out. Okay, our room has been expanded. We can now hold just a few more. Not too much. A few more. Yeah, the room and buttons are done. Now we just need to put a solid block under here. And that is so that way I can make sure that that turns. And now we can direct the shulkers out if we need them. Or back in the farm if the one actually dies down there. So this should be a pretty fail-proof system. Okay, this is all prepped and ready and good to go. Now what I need to do is I need to move on to the shulker. But with chunk borders on, this is the border chunk right here that we're looking at. I need to build the mob switch right on that. And this mob switch, this is a unique one. The only thing that I need for this is some soul sand. Which I just keep leaving absolutely everything up here. I need a bunch of walls. Not even a bunch. That'll do. And one other thing I need is iron trap doors. I gotta get my hands on. About that many iron trap doors.
Okay, and here it is right here. The dirtiest thing. The dirtiest thing you could have in a hardcore world. It's the mob switch. I got the trap doors wrong at first, but that is what it's supposed to do right there like that. So by the flip of a lever, it is going to put the mobs inside the lazy chunks and then outside the lazy chunks, turning on and off all of the mobs in a hardcore world. Might as well just turn it over. Hey! But now what I got to do is I got to load this sucker up with shulkers. 80 of them, but that's pretty easy. All I need is a bunch of mine carts. And then we just got to dupe. Yep. Dupe again. And every time we get a bunch of those, we just got to flick this little piece of redstone here. And then watch what happens. Hold on, I need a totem. Don't ask. And once they're back here in the overworld, all we have to do, this is so simple. It does require a lot of minecarts. But we just close this. Aim at that right there. And what that is going to do is it is going to go up and around. Collecting one of our shulkers. Sending it down the rail here. And then ending up down in our thing. This is nuts. So he drops down. Lands on the rail system. And then ends up in our little mob switch here. That's how simple this is going to be. And now with the flick of a lever. That puts him right there. Here, I'll even show you. That puts all of the shulkers inside one of the lazy chunks, which will disable all of the mobs in the world. It's so dirty. It is so dirty, especially for a hardcore player. Oh, clearly, I need to remove. Well, let's do this. So here's the strat. Every time we dupe, we send one over and go get them from the nether. Well, that's like four right there. There's going to be so many. And after every two presses, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out a minecart and send it off to go get one of the shulkers. So there, we've got another one. It is off and away. Yeah. Dropping, landing, and ending up right where we need them. So now all we need to do is grab as many, and I just have to do that 79 more times. Look at me, I'm Mary Poppins. Oh, oh, oh. 79 more times. Ow. Okay, here goes number two. Perfect. And off he goes. Now we just need to keep doing that over and over. It is done. We finally have, we don't even have all 80, but we have enough here. Just look at that. So now with the flick of a lever, these guys are going to be all outside the chunk. So that's enough right there. We should see mobs start to spawn now, especially look at what day it is. The EOL farm's going to have to be for the next video because we have, we still have the update suppressor and stuff to build. Well, let's go down here into the cave and see. Because we should be able to see some mobs spawning down in here. Okay, so there's some spiders right there. And we should see some skeletons because I heard them. Yep, so here's some skeletons and some mobs down in these caves. Okay, so now what we're going to do... Let's go back and I'll show you how this dirty little switch works. Run, because there's a creeper right there. And why am I not holding a totem? Where is... What chest did I accidentally slide my totem in? Idiot. But now what we can do is if we go back over here and we just flip this little lever, look at them all. With that little flip, now what we got to do is just wait a second. It looks like that is... 
Okay, there's only three on the bottom side, so that is definitely enough. Now let's go back to that cave, and we'll show you. This is so dirty. Let's go down here. And here, mobs. I don't see any. I just see so many bats. This is a good sign right here. But that's how it works, so it's probably best that I actually wait till nighttime to maybe show you guys. We'll do that, because I got a lot of cleanup to do anyway, so we'll wait till nighttime. Okay, nighttime is here. I've cleaned up my little bit of a mess here. And now we can see just how the mob switch works. It's illegal. Okay, here we are at the desert. As you can see, mobs. Mobs are everywhere. We got husks. We've got the skellies. We've got endermen. We've got creepers. We've got everybody. Ah! Ah! But that's okay because we're armored up and we're playing hardcore. And this is how... On. Let them all jump around. Let them all bounce around. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's go back to the desert. This is illegal! And there's not a single mob in sight. We just got bunny rabbits. There's an enderman, but that's because he's holding something. Let's just get rid of this guy. No mobs in the dead of night. Not even in a desert. On hardcore. This is illegal. See? You can't. You can't. <laughs> off. This is off for absolutely everything except for an EOL farm. Unless it's just like a little EOL farm. But if we're doing like a mega EOL gold farm, then we'll probably turn this sucker on. And this shulker farm, this shulker farm has just been... What a workhorse. Okay, I have some offloading to do. And that offloading has begun. Now where's my bed? Because there we go. 1800 days. The EOL farm's gonna be in 1900 days, but I'm cutting here to go grab some sandstone. Sandstone is a check. Look at this. One. Two. We got almost six. And then we've got sand. I need all of this for glass. This is so resource hungry and all of this. All of this is only like half of it. I still need to make like 2,000 rails. Powered rails. This is, this is gonna hurt my brain. Okay, but are you guys ready? I've got the TNT running here in order to try and clean up the hole a little bit or finish cleaning it up anyways. But the rest of the stuff we've got to clean up. We've got to get all of this out of the way. Every single thing there is useful to me. And I, I am gonna be so broke after this. Like, I don't even think these are enough amethyst shards. How much shards do you need in order to make some tinted glass? Because I need six stacks of tinted glass at least. <laughs> oh my god, we need so much. We have a lot of exposed amethyst though, so... I think we're probably gonna be good. Okay, but it is cleanup time. I gotta get all of this out of the air. Um, excuse me. Okay, we're cleaned up. We're cleaned up. Look at how nice and... Shh. Look at how nice and tidy it is in there. I clearly have some lava that I need to hide. But whatever. Because we're clean. Look at how... Oh my. Okay, we got like 100 layouts to do right now, so... And I'm not even joking. We have... We have like 17 portals to put in, and some of them are huge. Some of them are tiny. But they all require a very specific location. And for me, I need more... I need more room. A lot more room. Okay, area is clear. This little area right here, this is going to be... This is for the bad farm. And I know what you guys are thinking. Huh? But just you wait. Just you wait and see. Yeah, this is... This is all very specific, especially for a solo player. And we're not... We're not... We're not touching that button. We're not touching it. We're not spawning any Steves. We're not spawning any extra player. We're not even bringing in a secondary. Shut your mouth up there. Okay, but we got 7,000 portals to make. And the main one, the first one, this is madness. And how big can a portal be? I think it's 21. Well, that's one. 
Okay, and this is where the bad farm portals are gonna be. Now, believe it or not, we don't even have to slice these ones. And this is going to be... This is plenty. We still have to do... We gotta do the light update thing, though, so we can't light these yet. But, oh my god, it feels good to just be able to burn through obsidian and not have to care about it whatsoever. Okay, and that's it, right? We can... Yeah, we can light these. Okay, but like I said, we... We can't light them yet. We've got to suppress the light. So like I said, that's the bad form right there. That's where it's going to be. But here's what we need to do now. I need to grab, because I want to be able to see what is going on on the inside of this thing. So we need a full stack of tinted glass, because we need it to be pitch black in there. Thank goodness for this. But this is what we need to do. We need to enclose all of this and make it absolutely... We need to make ourselves a bat cave in here. It is light level. There's pitch black zero in here. But this is going to be the bat cave. We just can't... We can't light this yet. This, this one... This one needs to be light suppressed. But now looking out there, looking out into the abyss, I have three key portals that I need to set up. Three of them. And all of them are very important. Oh, and you can hear. You can see. We've already got bats in our little bat cave. This thing, this thing works like a charm. And we don't even have to portal slice it. Okay, now, there is one portal we gotta slice, so it's gotta go, like, right in the middle. And we also need the return for these guys, too. So I've got... I've grabbed my scaffolding. We've gotta build up. So right here, this is where the return portal for those bats right there is gonna be. We need to make a three-wide portal right here. Feels good to not have to cheat the corners. We have so much obsidian. And this one, believe it or not, we can actually just light this one. And then we need to enclose it in some glass, which should be plenty. Oh yeah, it's plenty smelted by now. Okay, not only do we need some white glass. And we need to build some sort of small little runway right on top of this little 3x3 three three here. We don't want to go through. I don't want to mess anything up. Okay, and that's the little runway right there. So this is where we are going to... Well, we'll explain it all after. That's the bad form. We need to build something up there. But now what I need is I need another portal above this one, way up in the sky, and that is going to be for a chunk loader. But that portal way up there, that is going to require us to have... We need some shards. Okay, then. Let's just see how much glass. Let's see. Eh, that's actually not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, but let's set up the second portal here. I don't know if it's been a while since I've slept, but I don't care. Okay, time to go up one more time. And this right here, this is where we gotta build. I think it's a 9 by 9 platform that I gotta make up here. And I didn't even have enough materials. But right here, this is where I need to build a nice little simple chunk loader. So we need a chunk loader to go right about here. And the redstone to go with it. Okay, that's the basics of the spitter system right there. Now we just need some repeaters running out from that torch. And with that, we are all set up and ready to go. Now all we have to do is just put some items in here. But for now, we can just leave this empty. Um, Yeah, we can light it. Okay, but with the bad farm done, that portal down there in place, and the chunk loader in place, now it's time for us to just move on over to the nether, because we gotta get the nether side in place now. Okay, over here in the nether, it is important that I now remove this portal completely and get it out of the way. And now we need to go down, and we are going to get a couple of these boring portals out of the way. Especially before we have to start doing all, all of the suppression. This is the area that I need to build the return system for the bat farm. It needs to be high up enough that it's not going to interfere with the other one. But it can't be too high that it's going to interfere with the chunk loader, so...
Okay, the two nether portals are a check. We've got them in place. Now we just need to make sure for all of the linking. We got to make sure that everything is linked up. And another thing I've done because this bad farm, it's a little ridiculous. So we've gone ahead and done something a little ridiculous. This took an entire Minecraft day and so many emeralds. Look at that though. This is all for flint and steels. Unbreaking threes. Oh my, so many, so many levels gone. But this should be plenty. This should be plenty for the bad farm. I'll show you guys. He tried to push me to my death. What a net. What, what a jerk. Did you guys just see that? He tried to push me to my death. Oh, he hit so hard. Okay, here it is. We need to load these up right here with all of these unbreaking flint and steels. We want these to try and last as long as we can. Okay, and with a little removal of that block, now what we should get is we should get a back and forwards motion here on these portals. Wonderful. Okay, now we need to go back to the overworld one more time. Okay, so what's supposed to happen here is we need to, before we light suppress this, we need to go down and into our little bat cave here. And we need to just light one for now and test and see if it brings us into our little bat farm thing, flip flop, whatever this is. Okay, and we're here. This is perfect. And now instead of waiting 30 seconds, here's what I'm going to do. Let's see if it brings us back. Okay, and we are in, we are in the perfect position. So now all I need to do is I need to just, I need to get down there and I need to close that portal. And this portal now, once we activate the bat farm, is where all of the bats are going to come through. So they will spawn in there. You guys are going to love how this works. Especially you nerds who have been telling me that this is impossible on solo player. Why are you blowing up all my stuff? Yes, fall to your death, please. Okay, but I got to break this portal. And now what we need to do is we need to get rid of these. Go away. Okay, we need to close that in to make sure that it is completely pitch black in there. And now what we need to do is we need to go and turn on our simple little light suppressor. Okay, so here's how we're going to get this. Here's how we're going to light suppress this. We have to turn our timer on. First thing that I need to do is I need to load up this bottom one here with like six stacks and then turn it off. And then I need to put four in here, turn it off one more time and go to the nether quick. We gotta go, we gotta go. It doesn't take long for the system to burn through four stacks. Now all we need to do is we just need to wait until some lag picks up, which will be a good indicator that it turns on and then we can start to fly out and see if any more chunks load. But for now we need to just stay here right here okay i just felt a lag spike let's go okay the chunks have stopped loading we don't want to go that far though because we don't want to despawn this but now here is what we are going to do now as long as this we shut this right okay yeah good okay we need to open this and sorry boys but you're going to the nether Close this. I don't care how ugly that is for now. And then all we need to do now is log out. Okay, I'm logged back in. I can't open that now. And actually, I wish I I wish I had a way to show you guys. But I can tell from the color of that 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 is a light level zero in there now. Those four portals have been light suppressed and it should be pitch black in there. Let's just actually see if we go like this. Let's see if we see anybody spawn in there. Okay, so it is a light level zero in there because we have mobs oh there and we have mobs here. So that is officially a light level zero enclosed mob farm. And when we turn the mob switch on, that is officially a bat farm. Now what I need to do is we need to, I don't know, we got the bat farm done. Which one do you guys want to do first? You want to do the boring layout or do you want to go do the portal of death? Let's do the portal of death. Okay, but the part of the portal of death I am going to need redstone I need to make a whole bunch of rails 
Uh oh, I need more gold. Oh no, I'm only halfway there. I need. Oh no. Okay, so uh, yeah, spend some quality time at the gold farm there. We can now definitely make our rails. Okay, that's all our powered rails, and I have to just keep remembering. I have to keep smelting glass. We're almost, we're gonna fill all these hoppers. But we have our rails, we have all the sandstone we need, and we have the regular redstone we need. The only thing we need now is I need to get some target blocks. I completely forgot that I need 200. We need some hay bales, which means we're going to every single, I need my hoe. Oh, villagers. Give me it all, that's a half stack already. This might not take so long. Oh, we got some here hiding underneath the snow. You can't hide from me. Okay, now for every target block, we need four pieces of redstone, which is ridiculous. So this means we're going to be burning through a lot of our redstone reserves, too. Well, let's see how many we can make. Oh, oh no. I swear I still had a few stacks. They've got to be somewhere. Because I don't want to dip into this. This is... We need this. Okay, but that's enough target blocks. That's more than enough target blocks. Okay, and over in the nether, this right here, right underneath these two blocks, this is where I've got to put the death portal. And all of this behind me is in the way. What did I do to you? What did I do to you to deserve this? Wait a minute, what? What is going on? Why am I being double attacked right now? Get away from me! What did I do to deserve this? Bring it on. I'm glad that happened though, because look at my pickaxe! I didn't even realize. I almost blew- Hey! Will you stop it? All this area for an update suppressor, and if I was smart, I would have carved the update suppressor out of the nether rack. Why didn't I go- Oh god. Okay, the update suppressor is complete. This thing is nuts. The rails. Okay, last little bit of redstone to put in though. And we are good. Um, I think we're good. Let's test it. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it's working. I'm pretty sure it's working, but there's only one way to test it. I got my obsidian. Where's my flint? Please don't tell me I forgot my flint and steel. There it is. Now what I also need is I need a couple of those right there. I need two magma blocks. And that's it. I just need to build myself a tiny little floor right here to just kind of sit from. Okay, and that is our layout right there. Now I need to go around. I'm just gonna go and double check. Before we try this, because I probably screwed something up. I have a lot of... I have so many... I have slime blocks left over. And I brought an exact amount. What did I miss? I don't know what I missed, though. Oh! That's what I missed. Okay, those are fixed and in place. Now we should be able to see... Hold on, let me go do a wrong... You just leave me alone, will you? Get away from me. Yeah. Okay, let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. Here's how we have to do this. This is death portal time. 
It did a double flick. Okay, it's working. But the only real way to find out if it's working is if we do this. Oh. It's working. We have officially... We have not quite sliced the portal yet. We're not there yet. We're just doing a little test right now. Okay, but I need to put that back because that is the wrong one to break. We actually need to break this one down here. Woo! And then we need to break this one here. This one here. Magma block. Break that one. Take that out. Magma block. And we're done. We're officially done. All of that right there for that. Just an, one of the meanest portals you've ever seen. Anything that goes in there is going to die, suffocate, and then the items are coming right back to the overworld. I know, isn't this amazing? You guys were expecting me to put some fancy giant storage system here. Nope. Everything's in the overworld for this farm, boys. Everything. What? But now it's time for me. I have to now enclose this. And we should be able to do that safely, even without the update suppressor. So if we take that off, we go like this. Close that in right there. And now the only thing I'm worried about is this right here, actually. I think we're actually going to leave that obsidian. You guys know how mobs and glass work. But that's it right there. That's the most dangerous portal in Minecraft. Okay, but all that for this right there. Now I have to tear this down and rebuild it in the overworld. I'm really tempted to do that to the bat farm portal. Because that would allow us. We wouldn't even need the mob switch anymore. We could just run this farm. No mob switch. Um, okay, but will you just shut up, please? Because it's tear down time. But it's also build a floor time because I am not... I'm not losing all these items. Remind me never to do this again. What a nightmare it is to try and weave in and out of all of those. Oh, this is a nightmare. Hang on, we're having a moment here. We're having a moment here. We're having a moment here. Hang on. Hang on. Just having a moment. Having another moment. Oh my goodness, remind me to do a base plate under the next one because this was a nightmare to try and clean up. Just a simple base plate would have made this clean up literally like five minutes and it's taken 30, 30 minutes. Run, run for your life. That guy's got one of my things. I don't appreciate that, sir. Anyways. We need to now go back to the overworld and we need to rebuild that thing for the return portal for this. For that right there. But that is it right there. That is our death portal. Oh god, let me clean it up. I literally just... But there we go, that is all three portals in the nether done. So we now have the bat switch, which is below us, the double thing that we built, the chunk loader for everything too, and now the only thing we have left to do is complete the overworld side. We have two portals to do and a sorting system. I'm literally just dumping half of the items into cacti or lava though, because yeah, I am a solo player. This is a lot of gunpowder. Okay, but we're back here, and now I have the debate to do. I have a big debate to do. Do I slice this portal and put magma blocks on the bottom, or do I leave it? Slice it or leave it? Slicing it means that we can just get rid of the mob switch, and leaving it means we need the mob switch. What do we do? What do we do? God, dude, just get away. Why do you guys do this to me every time? 
Slicing it also means that we might have to do the update suppressor twice. But we might be able to get away without it. I don't know. We're gonna see. Um, we're slicing it. So I gotta rebuild that silly little... And now you guys just watched me build this once already. So let's just do this. Now what I need is some signs or some banners. Okay, but now that we got everything, I need to now... I gotta twist this portal. See ya. Oh my god. Okay, portal is a check. Now we just need to come down here, flop this machine on, and hopefully as long as we've got this correct, let's see. Nope, I screwed something up. What did I screw up? Never mind, I just removed the wrong block. It was at this moment that he knew. Oh! Oh. They crashed the game. I can't do anything. Oh boy. Please don't be blown up. 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 Okay, let's just redo this. And let's try to be quick about it because I can't believe... Nope, never mind. Some stuff broke. I don't know what it is, but... Was it just that? It might have just been that. Yep, we're all fixed. Like a charm. Okay, there's a too high portal. Good enough for all the mobs. Now we are going to go magma. Magma. Surround this in glass, and that should be perfectly fine. I think that's going to be okay for now. But now what I need to do is I need to set up another portal. Oh my god, that scared the... That is exactly what we want right there. Just pure death. And see, the bats will now survive. So we don't even... <laughs> I'm giving too much away. We're spoiling too much before the farm is even near complete. Get out of here. And now this next portal, this next portal is down a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a few more. I'm going to make some more banners. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some water. Because the other portal needs to go exactly in line with this one right there. But it needs to be down. So it needs to be like around this area right here. So I need to grab some water. And we're going to do this the easy way instead of building up. Actually, no, it's probably just going to be easier to build up. I don't know if that's going to be high enough. We're going to have to see. No, definitely not. And you need to be careful flying around here. I don't know if I said this last video, but if you accidentally fly down into one of those little one by one spaces under bedrock, that is the end of your hardcore world. So if you're doing this, be absolutely careful. You don't fly into a little two by one area like that. That's the death of your series. Okay, and this, yeah, we are in line. This is right where the... Okay, so maybe my layout before, maybe I was off on my layout before because this is actually the dead center of the farm right here. This one piece of obsidian and we are in line with that. And that looks like we're pretty much in line with the center of the bat farm too. So I may have accidentally got this right. Okay, but now I am definitely, I'm definitely going to need more banners. Let's light this and let's take some banners and let's run them out from that block right there. Turn, turn. One more. And we need to run a row of banners that goes up and touches that rail up there. Oh, I need to be careful. Okay, one and two. Right, everything updated. All right, now we can drop down here. And I got to make sure that I get the right one. Oh, I did it. I don't have to build that thing up there because that takes half an hour to tear down and one hour to build. I am so... I am a... We just nerded out. Okay, now the next one. One, two, three, four. <gasps> that scared me. 
That doesn't though. Oh. oh, we're so close. We're so close. Okay, I had to make a few more banners, but with this, we should now be able to just jump one, two. Okay, there's our update. We're now going to jump down. And bingo. We have two slice portals ready to go. This one right here. You wait till you guys see what comes out of this one. This is this is crazy. Okay, and I'm going to leave the update suppressor on or up for now, just in case I screw anything up, because I have to now build absolutely everything on the receiving end right down here with this. <laughs> okay, and pickaxe, please don't die on me now because I need some shards. Okay, now under this portal, what I need to do is we need to create a water trap that comes over into a corner right over here. We also need a sign right there. Water flowing that direction, and now the rest of it, we should probably change that to packed ice, maybe? But this is it right here. This is the water elevator that's going to be leading into our storage system. I've got to put all of these shulker loaders in place now. I think these are by a guy named Borkin. I still have no idea how many of them I'm going to put in, but I'm just going to throw a bunch of them in. Okay, and here are the shulker loaders. These are, like I said, these are by Borkin. I've already gone ahead and torn everything down too, so now all we need to do, well, I stopped here because I need the redstone for below me. This is enough though. This, like I said, this farm rips. We're gonna have the cacti or the garbage chute here at the end. Um, yeah, everything's been torn down. Now all we need to do is we need to take everything and we need to build it on the bedrock below us. Because with these portals sliced and this all set up and ready to go, <laughs> it is time. Okay, we're jumping in here real quickly before I finish the roof because that's really the only last thing I have left to do. But this is insane. This is, this is almost five hours worth of placing blocks right here. Look at this. But we are pretty much ready. I just got to put a roof on this thing and then, oh, we can start suppressing absolutely everything. And I won't be able to do a time lapse for slicing the portals because... Yeah, I have to crash so much, so we're going to be doing this whole thing pretty much together. But this is bananas. I have had to make so many, so many extra, but we are set and ready. Look at the platform. Look at this solo player EOL farm. This thing's going to be insane. Okay, but I got to stop talking because I have so much left to do. I have to put the roof on this thing, and then we've got to slice the portals, and then I've got to replace all of these here with glass. That's right, some glass. And then we might even have to start chopping. We're going to see. I have to turn all of these into slabs now because I need multiple shulker boxes full of slabs. Okay, the shulker box plus my inventory. That might, that'll probably do. If not, I've got more. We've got more we can cut. And I'll admit it, okay? It's kind of nice having the mob switch. I'm not going to lie. It's, look at freedom. Freedom. Nothing but bats. Okay, here we are. The roof is done. I don't know if I'm going to hit you guys with another time lapse or not because this is going to be like number probably 19. But the roof is done. And as well, I've already gone ahead and tested. Yeah, so the, the compressor works. I haven't screwed anything up. But we are slowly, slowly running out of days here. Uh-oh. So we need to get slicing. Now what I need to do, we need to absolutely, we need to test this. Let's go over to the light suppressor. Actually, no, first. I got my gold. Hold on. I'm surrounding myself with haste beacons. 
because that is going to help significantly with trying to get rid of some of the obsidian because this is... <laughs> and the slowest thing about this is removing obsidian. Oh my god. Almost forgot. I also need to dye all this glass. So now these ones right here, these ones give us... Okay, so we need one of these. And that one flower is going to cover us for the red dye, but now we need blue. Which I'm pretty sure we can get from lapis, and I have so much lapis. Okay, and it turns out we are going to need so much more blue dye and red dye in order to make purple dye, so we're just going to set this up right here. Okay, we got a shulker box full and almost two, so we are almost... We actually might have enough in order to do this. So we might, we're, 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 I think we can get started. I think it's time. First thing we need to do is load up this suppressor and then turn it off. Okay, now we need to go. Because we don't got a lot of time before that light suppressor turns on. We made it. Light suppressor is on. First round of glass, obsidian. We can start to build this first portal. While we wait for the light suppressor to turn on, and now let's just do this. And let's go for a little fly and see if anything is loading. Which it looks like they have stopped. Okay, so let's go back and light this portal. Okay, that is one portal successfully sliced. The lag is starting to build though, so we might, this is gonna be insane. So now we need glass. Ho oh, ho 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 ho. Glass. Oh, ho ho And we gotta get this right. Ho. Oh. oh, it came back. I don't know what just happened there, but it just. You guys seen it. Do that again. One more time. And then we gotta fill these with glass. Oh. Now we just need to put some glass over top of these portals right here. Because what this is going to do, this is going to stop any Enderman from spawning. Turn the update suppressor off. Give this no block right here a flick. Everything should move. Oh no. That's okay, because we can now replace these anyways. That is no effect to how we do this. And we are good to do the next one. But the thing is, is that I didn't wait very long in order to do this portal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crash here just to see if it actually worked. Okay, we're logging back in. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it worked. Look at this, everybody. We have successfully sliced the portals and light suppressed them too as well. Okay, now if all is well, yes, the light suppressor is still working. So that means we can log out. Log back in. We have about 20 minutes time of the light suppressor. And we can just repeat that over and over again. Portal is lit. Portal is sliced. Portal is nicely cleanly cut and in place and ready to go. And believe it or not, that's all that row needs other than the roof. So now we flick this off. Move the entire structure one more time. We need to finish covering this entire portal right here, all the way down to the end. Oh. Glass at the end, and now we can do the other half of this portal. But now what I got to do, let's go and see if we do have some chunks loading. Because if we do, that means I got to go turn the light suppressor on again. I just got afraid because my timer, my timer went off. Oh yeah, we got chunks loading. Okay, we got to go turn the light suppressor on one more time and then we can continue that. This is going a lot more smoothly than I thought. Okay, I'm back here at the light suppressor. I can't decide. Do I, I mean, look at what I've done over there. Do I extend the timer or do I just run the hoppers around and let it go indefinitely? 
And I've changed my mind already. I am just going to reroute absolutely everything right back into the system. We're just going to leave this running and we're just going to get this done. We'll just leave these here as backups just in case the entire system somehow starts to despawn items. I have a system and a way of getting back here with the light suppressor on, but it does, it's going to take like 20 minutes of loading chunks. Okay, but now what we need to do is I need to take five chunks from here. And what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves, turn that on. Okay, light suppressor's off. I don't even know why those guys are spawning because the mob switch is on. I don't care because it is time to go. Now we just got to wait. I have everything, right? I grabbed my fireworks box. Okay, light suppressor is on because we have nothing. Oh, no. No, I forgot I turned down the chunks. Oh, okay, good. That scared me there for a second. And bingo, there's our third row done. Okay, I have been just concentrating so hard right now. I probably sound so monotone while I'm doing that because, yeah. I literally, I don't want to screw this up. But that is three rows done pretty smoothly. Um, we've only had to crash twice. Let's just keep this going. This one, this is where it gets a little scary and tricky. Because you got to make sure that you press the right one. Lava. I am so nervous doing this. I am, like, I am. It is incredible how... I don't want to screw anything up. Lava. One. Two. Lava. One. Two. Lava. I don't even have lava and it's working. Look at this. The things you find out when you start doing these... This, this farm is just... Okay, that's a lot of work right there that I did and I did that extremely slowly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. And we're crashing. I'm still here. We might have to legitimately crash the game. Okay, and everything so far is looking absolutely wonderful. Now, what is that, three? Okay, I gotta pick up the pace here, because if I don't, I'm gonna have to do literally over 100 and something crashes. I don't want to do that, because yeah. So enough of my jibber-jabber, okay, everybody? Buddy, we don't got time for your crap right now. He's selling a mini enchanted table, though. And a mini cartography table. Those are the one of the nicest blocks. Why you gotta come around at a time like this? Hey! Oh my god! <gasps> I did the wrong one! Now, what do we do about that? Do we redo the whole portal, or do we just call it what it is and fill it in with glass? I say we just call it what it is, but I have to remember to not do that again because if we do that I've only got 2,287 spawn spaces in here. So we need and we need them all We need them all all of them now. We only got 2,886 And we're done. We are officially... Oh, 1903, light level zero, standing right beside a portal. 
And because of the way the roof is set up, look at the light level as soon as we step one block away. One. So the roof around this thing is the perfect size. The perfect size. Okay, but before we can showcase this farm, I've got a bit of teardown to do. This is probably going to take three hours. No joke. Three hours in total. So we are definitely bleeding into 1900 days here. And we got a little bit of glass to do around this half of the thing too. But that doesn't actually take very long. This, tearing this down and tearing that down is going to take longer than putting this glass on. So... Okay, everything is all torn down and looking good. We're getting lots of lag from all the bats. But we're having an issue here. I do not want this. I don't want this right here. I didn't think about this. I have to go. I have to do my little hop skip trick here and get all the way back to the light suppressor and turn this sucker off. Okay, here's the edge. We just need to relog. Okay, and we're back here, but it's going to get really laggy really quick. And we had to quickly make a second. Yeah, we lost pick pick. But I need to try and see if I can correct that right there. And we need to do it before it gets too laggy. So I've got some torches. And now let's see what we can do about this. Because right now the game still thinks that there's a big, yeah, suppressor here. And there isn't. And it thinks it's right there. And this is essentially all we have to do to get rid of that. We just got to go along and replace the light sources here where this once was. And this should hopefully give us all of our light levels back here, our normal light levels anyways. Okay, but now let's see. And let's not try to do too much. Okay, that looks like it's updating it. Okay, but it's time for us to remove the rest of this floor. And uh, let's try to do it without sacrificing another netherite pickaxe because, yeah. Rip pick pick. It died doing this right here. Okay, there goes the floor. Now the only thing left to remove is the roof and the beacons. But this is it. And look at this. We've got so much lag that I could pretty much fly forever. This one block will not disappear. I can't stop. I can't stop. There's We're, we're probably at like three... Gotta get to the light suppressor. So I'm turning. Why am I not turning? Oh gosh. Woo. Okay, we're gonna have to log back out and log back in. But the roof is done. We are done. Okay. I had to shut this off though before. Okay, now to just turn this off for the final time. But now we just need to relog to let all of the chunks load back in, and then it's time. We've got two small systems to put in place. And the farm, the Eho farm, is completely finished. We are completely, we are completely finished. All I need is a couple of timer systems. One for that down there, which we probably don't even need. And then we've got one more small one, very small. And it requires a dispenser and an arrow. Thank you, light suppressor, for your service. I will be taking all these observers and pistons back, though. So close. Feed me more, please. Feed me. Why are you always out of stock? I know I could always count on you two. And oh my god, this thing was so expensive for like books and everything. Look at all. We have like no emeralds left from the raid farm. We are going to have to spend 100 days literally just farming. Just to recoup on everything that we have used up and burned up over 100 days of just grinding this out. 
Okay, but now, what do we need now? What did I come back here? Okay, this upper box, this is going to hold... This is going to hold the update suppressor. And any obsidian that might have to go along with our next farm that we're going to do. Because, I don't know, redstone is a big issue. What are you guys thinking? Do you think we do an end of light witch farm? I think so. But let's get going. All I need is a redstone box. I got arrows, right? But first, before we go back, let's set up the system here that we need. Even though we're probably not even going to need the mob switch anymore. I'm still... Let's still set up the system and I'll show you guys how I originally intended to have this working. Okay, now one of the first things we need to do is we need to just run some redstone out from here. To a simple pressure plate with a dropper on the back of it. That's it. Now we need to take that same redstone signal and we, can I hit this shot? Oh, I hit it! And now we need to take that same redstone signal and we need to run it out and down into another redstone torch right here. And this is where we are going to have one of those minecart chunk loaders. I don't know who came up with this minecart chunk loader, but this thing is like genius. Okay, and that's it right there. So just a dropper system. We'll, we'll talk about this in a second. Because now we need to go back to the nether. We need to rebuild the opposite end of this genius little junk loader right here. Oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. What is going on? I am under siege. Ah! And we need to build it right here. Somewhere around here anyways. This guy here is going to ruin absolutely everything. We need a simple redstone torch and everything should be connected, hopefully. Oh, the other side's not powered, so I wouldn't know. Yep, but it is where it needs to be. Okay, now all we need for this system is a simple button on top or anywhere on this dispenser here. What is this? It's a dropper with one single item. And that is that system done right there. I was gonna make it a little bit more complex, but like I said, we probably don't even need it anymore. So we're just gonna, that's what we're doing. Okay, but I still need the mob switch for a quick second here because I don't want things to get laggy and I don't want to, I don't want to spoil the reveal. Okay, now for the perimeter, the other system that I need is way up here. And again, I was going to make this a lot more complicated than it needs to be. So here's just what we're going to set up for right now. I need a little bit of my tinted glass. Okay, and these items right here, these are all we need in order to have this system work for us. Dispenser facing up. Temporary block. Obsidian. A button with a redstone torch. We just need a couple of arrows in here, so this is going to give us 11 chances. We can get more. And one more button, and with this, what we have is a simple one-minute timer. That's it. That arrow is going to despawn in one minute off of that button. And that's literally all we're doing for up here. So this was it. This is the last system right here. Check. Ready to go. The EOL farm is complete. All systems are now a complete go. The only thing I need to do, we just need items in that chunk loader over there. And I forgot to turn off the bat farm. So we should probably double check and make sure that all those flint and steels are good to go. I have a feeling they've all been burned through because I'm a dork and I forgot to turn it off. Oh, I still have a little bit of shadows to try and get rid of. You can see it there. Oh, you can really see them at nighttime. You know what? Whatever. I don't even care. Okay, now one last thing before we can. I have to light up this cave right here. Big time. This is bat central in here. I don't need this. Okay, that might be... That might be enough. But what is going on in here? We found more cave. Okay, it is nice and bright down there. Now all we need to do is we just need to go double check on the flint and steels. Nope, I see lit portals. How many did I burn through? Oh my god, if unbreaking three flint and steels lasts that long? That's impressive. Okay, we just need to put some items in this chunk loader right here because this one's been empty. Oh, crap. Wrong chunk loader. I mean that chunk loader. Okay, and we have items coming to and from, so that means the perimeter is being loaded. Okay, jumping ahead here because I'm sure you guys are like, Chapman, 
Just get to it. I've already put the cacti and the water over at the farm. And now it's time. I've only got 30. I got hardly any fireworks left. But it's farm time. What time of the day is it? Okay, we're midday, so we're good. It's farm time, boys. And for this barbaric system, all we need is one item in here. And we need to press the button with one redstone torch. Yep. Now we need to throw down our rail. And hopefully it comes back. Our minecart, I should say. Okay, we're in business. Now we've got five minutes. We've got five minutes to activate the farm. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, are you guys ready for this? Because this is insane. Now, step one for this farm is we need to fly up and activate the bat farm. Which is as easy as this. Especially with the mob switch on. We just gotta land here and press this button. And when that redstone torch turns on, it's time to go. Right now, all of the bats are isolated into that farm. Ah! Oh, uh, we'll just press it again. But all of the bats are spawning inside that farm right there. And there should be no mobs because the timer right now for the mob switch should be on. Now we just wait for that. It's time to go. Okay, and with our hitboxes on, you can see we've already got some bats in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually just wait until we get a second wave of those guys. Which should be any second now. Within 30 seconds, anyways. And there they are. Okay, there is definitely enough bats in there for us to run the farm. And the beautiful thing about this bat farm is, is these guys won't despawn because they're within a certain radius of us standing down here. And now let's go down and see. It hasn't quite been five minutes, so there shouldn't be any items coming through. But are you guys ready? Cactus is in place. That's all in there. Hitboxes are off. Let's just wait for the glory. Any minute now. All our bats are still up there in the bat farm. Any minute now. This is the longest five minutes of my life. Oh! 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 Look at all of those items coming through. Oh no, we've already got a screw up. But look at this, it's working. Look at all that gunpowder. Look at all that rotten flesh. Look at all of that bone. Look at all of... Oh my gosh, what have I done? Oh, idiot. Oh, that's why I didn't put a block of ice in there. Most of it, we should probably change that to packed ice, maybe? Packed ice, maybe? Why did I not put a block of ice down in there? That's okay. And I need another one for underneath there. That's what's going on with those. But look at this, everybody. The farm. Are you ready for this? Can you see it already? It looks like a Christmas tree down there. Look at it. Oh, no. And it looks like I made my platform one too low because those guys are not despawning. They're not even going in the holes all the way. So I'm going to have to add in some trap doors, but that's okay. There it is, everybody. Chapman's solo player, EOL farm. You don't need a mob switch. You don't need anything. All those bats are still there. They're not going anywhere. But this is it. I'm going to have to make a backup of this world in order for you guys to see the nether side of this because <laughs> it's so simple and it's so insane what is happening over there right now. But I can't show you because I can't open to land. Yep, I got my platform one too low. See how when I'm up too high here, there's nobody spawning out at the edges? It's all kind of towards the inside. And when I come down one block, they're still out at the edges. I made my entire platform one block too low. But that's all right. I can feel the lag already starting to build up. So we need some blue ice. Two pieces. All my bats are still there. But so are all these items. So are every single... Look at all the... Like, look at just... Houston, we have a problem. And this is why I made the roof up here out of tinted glass. So that way we're able to see down and we can place items up here without messing with the light level below us. Because if this was just plain glass right now, even removing that block right there would update the light level down there and would ruin our farm. So this is another reason why also right here, I'm actually just going to confirm first.
Yeah, I put tinted glass underneath here, so I should be able to correct that without messing up any light levels. Okay, and let's jump in here, and let's just go... Okay, that's one ice put in place. And yes, if we wanted to, we could even run the farm down here. Look at how insane this thing is when we're even down here. Okay, both of our ice are in place now, so we've got one and two. I get so nervous placing stuff around here. Why is it so laggy? Oh, I fell down. Yep, all my bats are gone. We need to go. We need to go. We got to restart the farm. I fell down and we now, and I killed all my bats. That's one thing about this farm is you can't fall down to the bottom because if you do, then all your bats will despawn and the farm is, why am I not going? Oh my God, it's so laggy. But that's all right because since it's daytime again, let's see if we can actually run this farm and start this farm and see if it's actually going to be a success because I want to, I want to run this farm. I want to be able to use this farm without a mob switch. Because if I can get away with this, this is next level. This is seriously next level. Okay, but right now the mob switch is off. So we should be good. So now let's see if we can run this farm without the mob switch. Okay, everything is good. Everything is loading, which means all of the bats that were in the nether have been despawned. Let's see if we can get away. Let's see if we can get away with this. Let's see if our little slice portals... Let's see if they actually work as intended. We'll give you one minute. It should be a mob farm in there right now. Spawning absolutely everything, including Enderman. Including Enderman, which we don't want in any of our spawns. Okay, it's time to go. There is our mobs. I hear bats too as well, so that is absolutely perfect. But now the moment of truth. Oh, we've only got two. Let's see what we get on the second wave. Okay, in the second wave, we have a bunch of items that came through, but it looks like there's a number of bats up there. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. So let's go up and run that one more time and just see. I don't care if it takes a couple of tries in order to try and get some stuff down there. Here comes a torch. Let's go down and see. Okay, there is our mobs. We can also hear bats again. But I can't tell how many is there because there's actually items in the portal too. So we're just going to have to... There's going to be another wave coming through. There it is right there. I wonder if that's going to be enough. It looks like there is plenty in there. Let's drop down and see. Let's see if it gets laggy. Okay, items are coming through by the thousand. Are we getting any hold up this time? No hold up because of the ice. No hold up there because of the ice. I haven't even started to arrange my item sorters yet because I need so many. We need to fill all of these with shulker boxes, so we're just letting it run and kill everything right now. We just had another wave come through up there, which means we have even more bats up there now. So it's looking like we might not even need a mob switch in order to run the EOL farm. We could just simply run the bat farm, kill all the mobs with our little deadly portals right there. And we are, <laughs> this is fantastic, but I'm cutting it here. I still have so much work that I need to do with this. And I want to do something over there too as well, but we got to recoup on a whole bunch of materials. So I'm cutting it here, 1918 days. And we have ourselves one of the silliest farms in Minecraft. Does it look like that input matches that output? They look like they match, don't they? I have a problem. One problem. I built this insane mob farm and I am completely out of shulker shells. I have a problem. So in this episode, I try to survive 2,000 days in Minecraft. 2,000 days trying to solve this ridiculous problem for this absolutely ridiculous but also amazing farm. Can I do it? I don't know. But look at what I found. Well, for one, the safest village in Minecraft. But look at 
This is just a teaser. This is only half of it. I tried. And we're back. Welcome, everybody, to the EOL farm, the end of light farm. And on this episode, we have got to expand this storage right here. Because, yes, this is just extremely underwhelming. And we're going to be trimming down a little bit of this stuff right here. Because I actually, like I said, I don't even think I need to be standing up there in order to activate this farm. So, yeah, we might be able to clean all of this up right here. Get rid of maybe some of this platform is what I'm thinking. But we're going to see. Right now, all I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for bats. You guys can hear them. I'm not sure how many are in there, but I'm sure this wave right here, this is going to give us enough in order to do what we need to do. Okay, and bingo. There's the farm running and ready. But now it's time for us. We've got to expand this storage because, yeah, this is definitely not enough. And we're going to be turning it this way because if I go anywhere beyond, I forgot what these markers here were for. I put these here because if we go anywhere beyond these right here, that is when the bats started to spawn. So we got to stay within this range. And I got to remember to go down there and put another trap door inside each one of these holes. I just need to put one of them because for some reason they don't want to walk around and pathfind into the other ones that are down there. So we're just going to have to go and put more. But other than that, this farm rips. Uh oh. And you guys got to remember, I know some of you guys were talking about the roof in the comments down there. You've got to remember, I have an Enderman farm. I don't want Enderman in here. And um, when it comes to a farm like this, you've kind of just got to ask yourself what is acceptable and what not. This is unacceptable. It is 100% unacceptable. But when it comes to a farm like this, you've just got to, I mean, this is what this farm looks like on the nether side right now while it's running. But can somebody tell me, please, what am I going to do with two shulker boxes? I had more. What are we going to do with two shulker boxes full of arrows? Um, okay, but the light suppressor's running. I've got to get... i got to set up this storage system and get this thing expanded. I don't want to be on this backside here for too long. Otherwise, all those bats are going to disappear. Ah! And look at how fast they despawn already. We lost a whole bunch. Oh, well, I'm going to start to lag here in a second. Whatever. I'll deal with it. Oh my god, look at the leg. Look at me try to eat. This is insane. There we go. Okay, I'm just reloading the system here because the storage is done. I have actually, we've extended it. The only problem is, is I am completely out of shulker shells, so I'm going to have to run the shulker farm, and you'll, you guys will see. But you can see, we have extended and turned the corner now, and to be quite honest with you, I kind of stopped right there. I was going to put another turn on it and bring it back and just completely surround myself with shulker boxes and shulker box loaders. Oh, excuse me one moment. Get away from me! But the amount of full shulker boxes that I already have is literally, it's insane. It's kind of insane. And I wanted to change all this glass and get all of this done too, but I just, I mean, you guys gotta see this. You really do. One more wave, please. Okay, but everything is done so far, and right here is where I can load up all my shulker boxes when I get more, but I am completely out of shulker shells. And above me here, what I've set up is I've set up some storage, because yeah, this is, like I said, all of this is just insane. This is all gunpowder. I'm pretty sure that's enough gunpowder to last me, I don't even know, like four seasons of survival Minecraft. And then we have bone. All of this is bone right here. And there's two more gunpowder already. So I don't even know how many is that, because that's... Now, the only thing I'm actually missing from this is my redstone and my string and my other stuff, but that stuff is coming in because it'd be nice to get a full shulker box full of redstone from this. The only problem is, is I jammed up all the hoppers on the back like a duh. I don't even want to explain it. Look how much gunpowder, rotten flesh, and bone I have dropped. Look at how much I have dropped just cleaning out the hoppers on the back. Just cleaning out the hoppers on the back because I was a goof and I broke a bunch of hoppers. And then they all filled up and I was wondering why nothing was loading. So it's literally been like two Minecraft days of me just standing back here and picking items out and then dropping them just right here. I don't even want to talk about it because I wish I had those days back. But this is it. We are officially fully loaded and ready to go. How Do we have another one? We already have another one. That's how fast the gunpowder is coming in. I already, I just heard one pop. It was bone. I just heard another one pop. Please be redstone. It was more bone. 
But this is a good thing because with all of this bone, I gotta, we're gonna keep farming bone. I just heard another one pop, but we're gonna keep farming bone because now that we've got all this bone, I am gonna do a massive expansion on the skull base and I can finish the back. So I'm actually kind of excited for this. I'm, I'm more excited for the bone, basically more than anything. And just that right there from that shulker box equals four stacks of bone. This is huge. This is huge, everybody. This is huge. I can almost build a full dragon. A full dead dragon. Another gunpowder. See, some of you guys were worried about the rates, but uh, I mean, let me tell you. At what point in time are you okay with like, you know, whatever? But it's like I said, I'm not upset with these rates. I'm not upset with those rates whatsoever. But you can see here, I've got the glass, we've got some more shards, and we've got a bunch of extra shards right here too. I was, like I said, I was going to expand it, but honestly, even if we do take down the roof, because I just heard two pop right there. See, we've got more gunpowder, more bone already. I'm literally, I'm good with this. I'm good with this. Even if we do go down and remove though, can you guys please give me some peace? Okay, but what I am going to do is I'm going to tear down all of that roof. But you can see, if we just build up three blocks, I think it's three, or is it four? It's four blocks. If we just build up four blocks, we completely shut this farm down and still keep the bats up there. So what I'm thinking is get rid of this big giant platform that is above the thing and makes it really hard to see. And let's just build ourselves a nice little area over here that's high enough to turn off the farm, but still within range for us to turn on the bat farm over there. But I need the light suppressor for this, so. Okay, light suppressor has been activated. We need to... Don't even think about it, you... I have been set ablaze. Okay, now we just wait for the light suppressor to turn on, reload the bat farm, and we are good to upgrade our little platform down there. Okay, here is all I've done so far is we just tore down all of that crap up there and added in this section right here, this tiny little platform. I was going to decorate this more, but I got to I got to remember we got to keep the spawning spaces down to a minimal, right? You guys are already mad at me for putting a roof on down there, even though in the amount of time that it took me to tear that down and build that tiny little platform. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 15 shulker boxes full of materials from this farm. 15 in the amount of time it took to tear down some glass and build this tiny little thing. Okay, but we are ready. And now since this basically, I mean, we're blocked off here and I was gonna put a storage system on this side to kind of block us off and then, yeah. But we're not doing that anymore. So I'm just gonna tell you, we're, we're gonna have to just live with that right here. But what I was originally gonna do on this side, because this is the side where we kind of have to stand and look, I figured now is the perfect opportunity, if any. I mean, look at that drop right there. What I'm going to do is I am going to grab a whole bunch. Actually, not a whole bunch, because we can just bone meal it. We're going to grab a couple pieces of bamboo while Pan Man just goes down there and feeds away on them. And what is this? A phantom episode or something? Like, will you guys just please? And let's take these items and let's go back here and grab some water and let's see what we can do with this nice little portal that we got here. And now, other than taking down the beacons to get them more... I guess just moving these ones over and getting them more symmetrical. What we need to do now is we need to decorate this portal a little bit or try to hide it and make it look like it's part of the landscape. Because the rest of that while we're here, while we're down here, is all pretty much hidden anyways. So let's just see here. It has been a while, if ever that I've ever made a giant waterfall. So let's see what we can turn these two giant water streams into. Look, everybody, I tried to do my own version of biome blending. And honestly, I wasn't going to go too crazy on this thing because I have been out of builder mode for so long.
And then I ended up building a serpent. I don't even know. But everybody, look at the amount of materials that we have. Look at all of the bone. And look at the gunpowder. I have enough gunpowder to make... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm out of shulker boxes, though. Or they're on their last one, so... I gotta go run the shulker farm for a few hours just to be able to keep up with this thing now. But hopefully this is enough gunpowder. I mean, that's enough gunpowder to last me for quite a while. I would refill my health, but it is nearly impossible because of the lag and all the bats down there right now. Oh, we got one. But that is it right there, since that's pretty much the only thing that we got to look at at this farm. There's our little serpent boy. Look at his tails even poking in the bottom down there. Can you see it? Okay, but it is cleanup time for me because I have something that I want to go and put over. Oh my god, I hate it when it gets this laggy. And to be completely honest with you, I just want to- oh my gosh. Pick it up. I just want to get out of here because of the lag. This farm is so player specific that if you are anywhere but there, bats spawn there. And I uh, like... We're just flying forever, look at this. We're just flying. We don't even have to do it all. like, okay, now we're dropping. Unloaded chunks. We don't want to go to unloaded chunks. This is what 3,000 bats does to the system. Wait for it. I know, we're still waiting. And we're in! Okay, now we gotta go despawn these bats because nothing will load. Go! Go! But there we go. I'm out of shulker boxes, so... We're pretty much on our own from here on out. Okay, and finally, everybody, we have enough bone that we can finish the back of the skull. We can actually put the back of the head in here and the top and finish everything else that we need to do on this thing because, yeah, we finally have some bone. Oh, and I have a couple of enchanted golden apples that I need to add in. Either down here or at the base. You guys just spawned. Will you leave me alone? That's the second one. That's the second. Those, these bowls are so expensive. That's an insane amount of shots that I just took there. And never managed to once repair my bow. Uh, this is ridiculous. Okay, but there's our bow. I don't know what I'm gonna name this one. But I need this for one thing and one thing only. I forgot to put buttons all over the slime farm, and it is way too close to the shulker shell farm. I gotta get rid of all these guys, and apparently I am way too close right now. Get out of here! Get out of there! Okay, but now I gotta get this thing out of the way, so that way I can run the shulker farm without a loss, because we need... I need so many shulker shells. But with that all cleaned up, now what I could do is I have something that I want to do. We need to get rid of these guys. We need to re- we need to make this a lot better too. But I have something there that I want to do to the shulker farm because right now the shulker farm, yeah, it's manual. I have to stand there in order for it to work. And I don't want to stand there anymore. We are way past manual farming at this point. So I've got a couple of upgrades that I want to do to that right there. But one of it's going to require us to get- How did that require us to get- How did that- We need some snowmen. First, I'm going to duplicate a couple here and send them over to the nether because we only had two over there. Okay, and that's like five right there, so we're just going to call that. But you guys can see, in order to get this sucker to work, I had to actually just kind of stand here in order to get- We're going to change all of that, but that is going to require me to actually go in here and remove a lot of this redstone and clear it all out. Because I am not standing here and farming any more shulker shells. We can do this all manually. And that is what we're going to do in order to get this done. But we need to reconfigure a bunch of this redstone. So we need to take these droppers out. The portal and everything here can stay the same. Actually, I'm not sure. And the newer design that I have is a lot more efficient than this anyways. And there's... I mean, we could use rails or minecarts with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just... We're going to do this.
Okay, and so far, this is what I've done. We have completely upgraded the shulker farm so that it is 100% fully automatic. This system right here, this is the one that goes back to the nether and brings back the shulkers so that we can have them here in the overworld. So we're going to store three, maybe four here in the overworld. And we're going to be storing four in the nether. So we're going to have plenty. The only problem is, is I've only got one guy left. I'm sure you guys see him by the time lapse and he's taking some damage. And what I've also done... <laughs> We've gone ahead and we've got all of the snowmen in place and we put in some turtle legs so that way we can start collecting gold. We just need to put the collection system down below. But now it is basically time. The only thing we need to do right now is get the shulker back into the overworld. So we're going to press this. We're going to send that over. Everything should come back here. Yep, there's our minecart. We're just waiting on our shulker. Oh, there he is right there. Okay, now we just... I don't even know. I didn't go around and do a final button, so I'm gonna make sure that let's hope that we've got all the buttons that we need in the right spots. And we do! Okay, here is this is the last shulker that was in the overworld, other than the ones that are down there in the mob switch, but I really didn't want to have to build a rail system all the way up here. But there he is. Okay, now all I'm gonna do. Uh, let's go over and I'll show you guys the nether side and what I've done. Okay, and on the nether side, this is what I've done right here. So we have like a minecart collection system that sends it back to as well and a small section here for the, all the shulkers that when they do get kicked off by the activator rail this is where they're going to sit and then teleport back to the overworld and down here what we've done is we've just got yeah this little simple system right here the only thing i have to do is i've got to put my boats in place yeah we've got to go make some boats because that's the killing system right there and believe it or not that's sending all of the shulker shells back to the overworld and we're going to collect them <laughs> this is going to be but that means I'm not done yet. I still have to put the item sorter system over there, but that's okay. We can do that. We'll do that quickly. But that right there, that's the hopper that I've got to put the item sorter on right there in order to sort out the shulker shells. Okay, but final thing left to do is just to put these boats in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these extended like this. I'm not going to push them in yet. Because it's very important we get our four shulkers into this little loading area right here. So that way we always have them. And we should never run out. Okay, and let's just see. Let's see if this will just even work without doing the glass on the outside. Okay, minecart. Here comes the shulker. He has been loaded in place. And we've got one duped already. I've seen it. Now let's try to get a few more from these guys. There's another one. That was a third. We might not have to put the glass in. I still might, though. Let's go over to the nether and see how many shulkers we have over there. Because we need one more over here in the overworld. We need him to be right here in the minecart. And then we need our three right there. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And we are through. We have many. We have so many. Okay, we've got our four in place and we've got a bunch there. So now what I've got to do without getting shot up too much, I need to push these boats in and right away we should know. Okay, and right away I was going to say we should see shulkers getting sucked in. Oh, these stupid things. And it's working. I've just got to push that last boat in place. This one right there. I missed it. But look at how many shulkers we are collecting right now. The only thing... I know you guys hate me. I don't care. But with all those shulkers... Uh oh So this is working wonderfully. Now what I need to do is we need to actually bring a shulker back. We need to bring three, maybe four back. And there's one right there. And bingo, he's teleported down. So now let's do that a few more. Oh, I forgot all the shulker shells are coming through. That's okay. There's another one. We've got 12 already. Okay, that's shulker number two back in the overworld. Do that one more time. 14 shells. There's the minecart. And there's our third guy. So now that we've got three in place, just waiting on him to get in position. 
Okay, and he is in the spot. So now we just need to close this one off. And I've grabbed the minecart that was over there on top of that piston. And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to manually load one in place. Right like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime this one more time. So, oh boy. And now all we have to do is just wait for him. And the system is fully primed and ready. We should never have to come back to this thing only to collect the shulker shells. We just need to put the chunk loader back in place. Now what I'm going to do is right in here, you can see we've got these buttons. I'm going to remove these buttons. I'm going to send the minecart over one more time. Load one guy up into this little chamber right here. And that is going to be like the fail safe shulker. So if something goes wrong and all of the shulkers somehow die, we'll at least have that guy up there that we can use to recharge the system one more time. Okay, items are sorted. I'm just going to use my leftover flower pots and we should be good. So now any shulker shells that come through should go right in here. Let's test it. Yeah, they're being filtered down and into this shulker. So now all we need to do is just put a double chest here. Cover everything here that doesn't have anything connected to it with buttons. And we are good to just clean up everything. And we can just come back here and check on the chest, grab our shelf shells, and we are good to go. Just went and checked the nether side and everything is good. So now the only thing left to do is we need to set up this chunk loader, but we need to set it up a little bit better than the one that I had here. Okay, that's the overworld side done. Now we just need to repair that. And there we go. Okay, the boats are working wonderfully. Nope, never mind. I am jumping ahead here because this thing, we are having some issues. We're having problems, but it's an easy fix. I, uh, I accidentally put my rail system on the wrong side this is supposed to be on this side so yeah we're having a little difficulties with the rail but it should be no problem to fix so this right here this is getting a little sloppy but it really it doesn't really matter and now with this little rail system right here this should fix our problem the minecart comes out this way i can't believe Ugh. I built this entire thing on the, oh, the wrong side. I did it on the wrong side. It's ridiculous. Okay, but Mr. Shulker, I've already sent Mr. Shulker over there into the overworld. I am worried that he is taking enough damage that he might just get killed by the snowman or even from his own bullet. So I'm going through this way and we're just going to cross our fingers. He is the last one. We have one reserve. We've got one reserve on the top, but he is the last one. Our little hiccup here has cost us. Okay, but our minecart is here. We just need to get this guy down and in the system and get him duping, hopefully. Okay, is he coming? Yep, yeah, he's coming. I've got to get out of the way of the rail. And hopefully he doesn't die. I think I've seen a dupe. Yep, yeah, he's duping. Okay, we are good. We officially have some, and this thing is, well, now it's flawless. Okay, and we've got one back here already. Now I'm just going to hit the button, and we're going to do that again. Minecart. There's our shulker, and we are good to go. I can finally actually wait. Now we can leave. The system is primed and ready. Okay, let's just... I'm just going to sit here for a little bit and make sure that this thing actually is as flawless as I think. Look at all of these shulker shells. I can't believe the amount of work that I had to just do right there in order to get... In order to sustain the shulker shell usage here. This is ridiculous. Okay, that's the final wave that we should need in order to load the bats, and then we are set. Look at here it comes. Feed me items. And what is that? Is that an Enderman? What is that? Oh, these Endermen. Whatever, the items are here. Now what I need to do is we need our wood box, and we need all of these shulker shells. Because it is time. Okay, wood, 
I'll take those. Okay, and nearly two tack words and nearly two stacks of chests. That let's see. Nope. Okay, we gotta. Oh, we we need more inventory space. Off you go. That right there is load number two going through. That is load number three going through. Number four. Okay, and that's the last load that's going all the way through right there. I'm out of shelker shells again. I mean, we're just ripping. But you can see, we're already starting to fill up this barrel very quickly. The only thing that we are waiting on is some shulker boxes from those other three items. The string, the spider eyes, and the redstone, but they're not even really... Oh, and I just seen some glowstone dust go by. Should probably maybe collect some glowstone dust too, just... But you know what? We're good. We're good, because what I need now... Let's actually just go and check and see. We've only been here for like one Minecraft night. I'm curious to see what the shulker farm has produced. Just in the amount of time it took for us to load up that farm. Already a stack and a half from just this one night. Just from one night over at the... This thing is absolutely insane. I mean, it's all right. When I did the testing, you get between 430 and 500 per hour. But now while we wait for more shulkers to load from that. And after doing all that reorganizing, I have made one discovery. I need redstone. That thing up there, plus the combined redstone for the update suppressor, has completely made... It's just... I am... Uh... Oh, and it came with Unbreaking 3. Oh, I love it when they do that. And ta-da! We are good to go. Okay, I can't believe it. That little adventure took three Minecraft days. Okay, here we are back at the raid farm. I had to spend a day or two literally making a brand new sword because I forgot. Well, I completely forgot, but we made ourselves a new sword. It took all of our levels and multiple days. And then what I did was I spent an entire Minecraft day decorating this place and trying to make it look a little bit nicer. I still got to remove this giant water column, but I was doing that so that I could do this right here. We are phantom free for three days. Now let's quickly go grab some bad omen and then let's run this sucker and see how much redstone we get for, I don't know. Let's just see how much redstone we get. I'm on a redstone mission right now. I want instant redstone as soon as I need it. Chests are clear. We have our bad omen. Let's just step in here and hopefully we get a decent amount. This, this is absolutely nuts. For one, look at what day it is. And we have a shader on. But I fell asleep during this raid farm and for whatever reason, I don't even know, it stopped working. Huh? I mean, you can see at the end of the time lapse, it just stops. I don't get it, but I have a, <laughs> I have a six hour, a nearly six hour time lapse of me sitting here at this farm. And you wanna know something? It's absolutely pitiful. Look at the amount of redstone. This is just, this is embarrassing. I mean, even the emerald, all I have is this. This is really like six, six hours? Six hours? You suck. I think that's it. I think we're calling it, boys. I think we're, we're shutting down the raid farm and we're building another raid farm. Okay, but after that little pitiful 
waste of time. Let's go see what the shulker farm produced because I know for a fact that that thing is gonna have produced. Oh, and that would be, that would hurt to eat. I'm out of Gambu, but let's go see because in six hours, I don't even know. We only have a single double chest on the bottom of this thing. I, um, okay, all our shulkers are here, but they're shooting at me. So that means they're gonna end up killing each other. What the? And what is going on here? This didn't produce any either. That in six hours? Did my, it looks like the chunk loader stopped working. Oh my God, this last six hours have just been a complete disaster for me. We get absolutely nothing from that silly raid farm. And for whatever reason here, the chunk loader stopped working. So after six hours, we have nothing from the shulker farm. Oh no. And I don't see any minecarts down there, so that means it probably got burnt up in the lava. This, what a piece of junk. I literally just glorified that thing over on the Discord saying that it never breaks and that it never lets me down. And then it just went ahead and broke and let me down. What a piece of junk. You wanna know what? I'll bet you one thing for sure though. Yeah, this one's not broken down. And it looks like this one's still firing, so that one's not broken down either. You know what? I am forever using my own chunk loaders. You guys suck. Whatever. Okay, I am on death's bed here, so I need to... I need to go get some bamboo. Running around on half a heart because these stupid chunk loaders broke. Okay, well, let's see if this thing will function again, at least for now. Okay, well, we'll put that back in place. And we'll just see how long that lasts before it breaks again. But for now, it looks like everything is good and... We've got enough shulkers to last us a little bit anyways, a little bit, but this is gonna be nowhere near enough. And this redstone that's up here, that is gonna be nowhere near enough for what we need either. I mean, that is absolutely pitiful. Six hours, six hours and we've got 48 blocks of redstone. This is ridiculous. 